on right now. Dave Aranda, uh, his Baylor Bears, picked by some, including the media, to be the team to beat this year in the Big 12. Here is the coach of the Bears. This is a brand new team. You know, I was talking earlier of after, you know, every Sunday during the season, we would meet as a staff and talk about, you know, we have ourselves a brand new team today. And so with football being a game of random events and setbacks, our ability to, um, um, to uh, address what's real and to not take into to a reality, you know, preconceived notions or maybe, um, you know, wishes or any of that, I think it's just so important, you know, to get where you're going, you have to start where you are. It, it is harder. It is harder to handle expectations, and now they're the one with the target. Well, and to me, the Big 12 is the most unpredictable conference this year as far as who's going to win that championship. And Four or five deep. One of the most surprising you know, programs in college football last year was Baylor coming off that two-win season to go to winning 12 games and winning a Big 12 conference. Um, that was impressive. Yep. And so that's uh, Big 12 Media Days. I believe it continues the other half of the league uh, tomorrow as well. So really a, a fun day there in Texas. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe they're all going today. I don't know. Um, final thought, though, is the British Open, the 150th at St. Andrews. And is that the place we call the birthplace of golf, yep. or is it just the country? No, this is it. St. Andrews is widely considered. And you see, uh, as you're watching right there, they're showing Jack Nicholas. you know, his final Jack is almost synonymous with Augusta National, but the final shot he hit as a professional golfer was a birdie putt on 18 at St. Andrews. That's wh how much that place meant to him. And I think you're seeing this in Tiger Woods now. One of the reasons he was he's almost scheduled his whole season around playing at Augusta and playing at St. Andrews, making sure he's available for both those. So, yeah, it's the birth, birthplace of golf. And uh, So who wins it? Who's got a shot? You know, again, I said this with Wimp. I feel like I picked McElroy in every major, and I'll own that one. I did pick Cam Smith to win the U.S. Open. He missed the cut. Rory has never finished in the top ten in all four majors in one season. He's already got three top tens this year. So he's going against a little bit of history there, but I think this play suits Rory McElroy. He's playing very well this season. I'll take Rory in this. You'll I feel like I pick him a lot, though. Um I, you know, I don't, I don't want to make the live bigger than it really is for this event, but is there a, is there a, a path to victory for anybody that's on the live tour? Um, you know, Dustin Johnson, obviously Brooks Kepka has been the best major player over the last, you know, five or six years. Uh, Louis Oosthuizen has a, has a, uh, uh, an open championship in his back pocket. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, it wouldn't blow me away that one of the lives live guys win this. You know, I was reading an article earlier today. They shut them out of all the press conferences. None of the live guys have done any of the mandatory press conferences. They haven't been asked to. I'm not saying they've they've said right. no. The the Royal and Ancient, the RNA has not scheduled them for any. So they've, they've, they've not had the podium in the press no, room. Not, not one time have they had the podium. They got crap tea times by and large. Like they're looking at some of the world rankings. They're like, how is this guy not playing in the TV window? Um, so the... The RNA much, is sending, sending a message. Very much sending a message, much more than the USGA or the PGA of America did. Wow. I, I didn't know any of that, so that's yeah. good information there. Um, it, it, it was one right, right, Justin Thomas, just after 5 a.m. Central? I think that's right. I don't have it in front of me, but I think that's right. Yeah, you'll have to get up early to see the, the TV guys. Yeah, uh, This has coincided with the SEC media oh, days before. I'm so and, thankful it's not. And I like it better when it's not. So yeah. we look forward to that tomorrow, the 150th Open over in uh, Britain, over at St. Andrews. It should be a whole lot of fun, and we'll uh, try to wake up uh, the echoes of old Tom Morris tomorrow morning when they get on the old course. Uh, that's our show today. We are back tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing like a teleprompter for that <laughs> Inside joke between Brown and me. Yeah. If I see it on the screen, yeah, I'll read it, bro. Read it, yeah. I'll read it, man. Uh, when we come back, old Tom Morris and us live tomorrow, 9 a.m. Central Time, right here from Birmingham, the Birmingham Racecourse and Casino Studios, brought to you by our friends at Bud Light Next. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America.
Take the next round anywhere you go with official next round gear. Buy yours today at nextround.store. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Great night last night at the Hoover Met, the World Games for the USA softball team. We'll talk about that gold medal moment later in the show, but we're 44 days away from the start of the college football season, wrapping up Big 12 media days. We're heading to Atlanta on Monday, actually Sunday, but we go live Monday in Atlanta for SEC media days and a lot of college football to get to. Later in the show, for one hour in studio, Charles Barkley will be with us at 12 noon Central Time. He'll be here for an hour. You guys bumped into him briefly last night after trivia. So Charles is in town for a Redmond Vodka World Game celebration as he's here for the uh, final weekend of the World Games. Charles loves this event. He was one of the people that helped bring it to town, and, and Charles is coming in to celebrate the last few days. Yeah, look, he's one of the ambassadors of this city, and uh, obviously he's got uh, Redmont Vodka, which is the official vodka of the World Games. So they're doing a celebration. They're going to have, you know, parties. There's a block party Saturday. Um, I guess it's open to the public. Yeah, close. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a block party. Hard, hard to close a block party. Yeah. yeah, closing ceremonies are on Sunday, so we're wa- winding down. And uh, last night, though, an exciting night uh, with Team USA in front of a huge crowd out at the Hoover Met. The weather held off. Uh, we missed the weather forecast yesterday. I didn't play golf because I thought storms were coming. Never rained at my house. I don't know about yours. Uh, they only had a brief rain delay inside the. Uh, bronze medal game early and then the americans beat japan 3-2 including our friend montana fouts who got a gold medal afterwards the final out here look at that crowd last night uh, they said sold out did yeah. i read that right yeah because you know this the where they try not to sell the seats past the outfield fence right but a pop-up to end it here and a little overview of the americans celebrating there out at the the hoover met and a great time for the city of hoover and the World Games and the Americans get to dance over Japan, the two best programs in the in the world when it comes to softball. Haley McClenney, local girl, played at Alabama, part of that offensive uh, part of the uh, Team USA. And then Montana Fouts, who helped close out the semifinal game, didn't pitch last night, gets gold medals afterwards. You know, I didn't know what to expect with these World Games. And somebody was asking me last night, how have the crowds been? Sumo was sold out. Breaking was sold out. Um softball was sold out and there was and lacrosse yeah i mean just great crowds yeah Bar- barbers had great crowds for the para sports and uh it's been it's been really a uh, an uh, interesting event so three two the americans win it seeing montana get the gold medal last night we've sort of become close to her and we'll catch up with her before she uh, packs it in and gets ready to go back to school at alabama also yesterday was the big 12 media days day one today we get oklahoma and texas the outgoing members of the big 12 the biggest news yesterday came from mike gundy um who you know i heard him a couple of his interviews yesterday and i thought they were both you know just a very interesting dude gundy is uh and he's matured a lot and but you know he's got a little you know red ass when it comes to you know his his uh, his rival oklahoma leaving the Big 12 and going to the SEC, Oklahoma and Texas, uh, because it's going to impact Bedlam. We've seen it with Texas and Texas A&M. And we all, as college football fans, we didn't like to see Texas and Texas A&M leave, right? We, lo- we love that game. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that was one of the great rivalries in all of college football. And we'll get it back now. But it's been gone for how many years? Um, A decade? Yeah, I want to say when Texas A&M left to yeah. come to the conference. So, you know, I mean, yep. we're, we're going a while back. 2011, 2011 I think. Yeah. 2011, I think. So yeah. it's been a while. I don't have the same kind of love for Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. I have for Texas and well, Texas A&M. Bedlam's not a rivalry. That's yeah. why. Because Oklahoma wins it so much? Well, they've won, I think, 90% of yeah. the games. That's not a rivalry. That's Alabama Vandy. And, and really, that's what's kept. And I don't know how you guys feel about Gundy. Uh, to me, when you when you look at the overall record and the opportunity in 2011 to play for a national championship, I mean, they were right there if they don't blow that Friday night game against Iowa State. Last year, they would have gotten into the college football playoff if they could have gotten one yard down on the goal line against Baylor. To me, he's a B-plus coach. 
He's that, the best coach in his conference, though. He is. Yeah, that's that's a tough, tough job, or a it tougher is. job well, than a lot of people it, it historically has believe. Been, yeah. um, but if he could have beat Oklahoma a few more times, I think he'd be in that A category. Uh, no, real quickly, you say he's the best coach in his conference. Yep. So if if uh, take take past performances off of it right now, if you were hiring at your school only from the Big Twelve pool of coaches, you would hire Mike Gundy over. Brent Venables over Steve Sarkeesian over anybody else in that conference. I would hire him over Venables and Sarkeesian. You you I, started with a bad spot there. I I, 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 I think Matt Campbell is probably yeah. X's and O's a better coach. Well, you said he's the best coach. I was just wondering, what do you mean by being the best coach? Well, I think you look at his record and what he's done. Okay, so if if I'm a new coach in a league, you can't really judge me yet. That's I, if no, I, I can judge Sarkeesian. So I, he, I can't yeah. judge Venables. I haven't seen him coach. He's going into year seventeen. And he has had one losing record. That was year one. Yeah, I think he he's made you forget how tough a job that was. Who, yeah. Oklahoma State? Yeah. I think we've gotten lazy on Oklahoma yeah, State. Yeah, I think you've forgotten yeah. how tough a job that was. Uh, I thought him. Les Miles won seven games a few years, beat Oklahoma exactly. more than he has, or at least beat him once, which is about what he has. Um, Jimmy Johnson did okay there. I don't and, think and they ever had a pretty good coach. They never had the years he had, though. Oh, no, not at yeah. all. Not at all. Not at all. They uh, also but, didn't But have, I see what you're saying. They didn't I, have the facilities or anything. We never give – if we start naming best coaches in college football, we go a while before anybody says Mike Gundy. Oh, you're absolutely. Right. But look at the rest of that conference. When, when was the latest list that we had? Because I know we discussed it. We, we um, literally did this oh, yesterday. Yeah, you get one every year of list. Um, but I'm talking about how they rank ago. the best coaches. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was Saban, it was Dabo. Ryan Day, Lincoln Riley. I just wonder where they had Gundy. Um, I can go pull it up. We had it earlier this week. I just wonder if he's even in the top 20. He deserves to be, but, you know, he's an interesting guy. You talk about who would you hire out of the Big 12. He's still relatively young, but there's something that comes with Gundy. A mullet. Yeah, that, but he does have that attitude. I mean, we remember with Mike Holder, his athletic director, he got sideways with that guy. He did. He seems like he would be a difficult personality to deal with. Wasn't always on the same page with Boone Pickens either. Yeah. And he's upset yesterday at, uh, at Big 12 Media Days when it comes to uh, the discussion about Bedlam. Here's the question yesterday uh, on the, uh, in, at the Metroplex uh, in Arlington as they, uh, the Cowboys played host to the, the media days for the Big 12, day one yesterday, and Mike Gundy had the podium. What do folks at, in Stillwater think about Oklahoma's move to the SEC? How has that affected your recruiting with, with an SEC school uh, trying to recruit the same players you want to go after? Um, and what do you envision of the future of, the, of Bedlam going forward? Well, the, the future in Bedlam is uh, is a year or two left. I mean, that's the future of Bedlam um, <clears throat> based on somebody else's decision. You, you, you might be able to take a poll of the top 250, 300 recruits in the country and ask them if they know, for example, you could throw out um, what conference is Purdue in or what conference is um, Wake Forest in. and. I would say there's about a 50% chance they might not even know what the conference is. Um, Young people live in certain worlds today and um, essentially they want to know what you as a university and athletic department as a football team and a coach can do for them. That's that's what they're interested in. So other than that, our recruiting hasn't really changed since since the uh, conference realignment. Um, Do you believe that, A, that that their recruiting hasn't changed since Oklahoma and Texas announced they're leaving. And two, do you think if we polled the ESPN 300, how many people would know that Oklahoma is a Big 12 school and will one day be in the SEC? Uh, first question, I think recruiting has changed. I mean, if you're Oklahoma and Texas, you, you, your selling point is we're going to the SEC. I, I think it helped with Arch Manning, you? Yeah, I, I, I definitely think it did. I think Arch Manning wanted to be a part of a conference that his, his whole family was part of. Um, I don't think Arch would have signed with Texas if they weren't going to the SEC. I, I would really agree. Don't. Yeah, I think he would have gone to Georgia. Yeah, I tend to agree with you on that. I don't uh, think that's wrong. The second question was? Was, do you, if we polled the ESPN 300, how many uh, of them would know Oklahoma is on their way to the SEC or in the Big 12 right now? I would say the majority. Yeah. I would say 80%. He was making it sound like the conferences don't matter to to kids and recruits. And and I disagree, Brown. I think there is – I think there is – 
Um, I think a lot of people who are the best recruits right now look at the SEC and the Big Ten and say, you know, I want to play. I want to play where the best players are playing. I, I want to play. And I, I, I think the Big Twelve right now they have a, they have a problem on NFL Draft Day. They have a problem. They, they, yeah. None of their players are getting drafted in the I, first I round. I don't know. I tend to think it's more school specific than conference specific. Um, does the conference factor into it? Maybe. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't pretend to know how 18 year olds think. Right. So I don't, I don't know if I went to an eight year old and pulled them and said, can you name the 14 SEC institutions that they could get through all 14 of them? Could they tell me, hey, but do you think is Alabama and the SEC? Yeah, it is. Do you think conferences matter to them? Only that... because I think geographically a lot of players like to stay close to home. Well, so, yeah, the SEC matters to a kid that grew up in Florida because I kind of want to stay close to Florida. So I can go to Alabama, I can go to Georgia, I can go to Auburn, I can go to Florida. Those are all SEC schools. I didn't necessarily pick them because the SEC is great. I picked them because I'm kind of close to home. Yeah, but you have a lot of people from California going to the Big Ten and the SEC now. Quarterbacks are coming out of well, California I, all the time. They do, but I think a lot of that is school-specific. Like, Bryce Young didn't go to Alabama because it's in the SEC. Bryce Young went to Alabama because Alabama is the best program going right now. And he likes Steve Sarkeesian. You know, did did it? Is Alabama the best program going because they're in the SEC? Yeah, that's one of the reasons. So it's a little bit of chicken and egg. Kids come to Ohio State. I don't think because they're in the Big Ten. I think they come to Ohio State because they pump people into the NFL and they're yeah, a great program. That's all these kids want to do is get into the NFL. And that's my point. Yeah, and uh, if, the Big Twelve's a problem right now in getting to the NFL. I mean, just going back to this latest draft uh, back in May, sixty-five players out of the SEC were drafted, twenty-five out of the Big Twelve. I mean, you break that's that down. Difference. If you if you break it down the first round, it looks even worse. Oh, it's it's not even close. It's yeah. a whitewash. I can't remember the last time Oklahoma State had a player selected in the first round. Barry Sanders. No, <laughs> Justin Blackman was. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was uh, the quarterback. Brandon Whedon. Brandon Whedon. Yeah. yeah. Hey, back to Mike Gundy. Can you pull that picture, Rocky? Does he look like a guy that owns a string of nightclubs? Uh, somebody on the chat room said, "How did his wife let him leave the house looking like that?" Well, I mean, look, he's got a tanning bed at home. There's no doubt. But he think, looks. Yeah. But, I mean, would he look like the guy he, that owns a bunch he, he of nightclubs? He needs a gold chain with a medallion, Lance. That's yeah. all he needs. And he's a nightclub owner. Well, when he dyed his hair that color, I'm not sure he knew the backdrop was going to be the same matching color. <laughs> it's unbelievable. His, his head disappears. <laughs> hey, so. But, I mean, it's like he called up the Big 12. What color backdrop are we using? Are we using black 172? The right. code 172. So he walks into his stylist and says, I'd like my hair di dialed black 171. I just want it a little lighter than the background. I mean, that is raven black. But you remember Cash's back in the day, yeah. right there on Okaloosa Island, Fort yeah. Walton, billboards all over the place. I never saw what Cash looked like, but that's what I would imagine Cash in the 80s looking well, like. Well, I feel like if I'm a made man, you know, put Gundy back up for me real quick. If I'm a made man, I do want to leave a little gray in my sideburns. Yep. That tells me that uh, Polly Walnuts. I could I could be trouble. That's yeah. right. Uh, now, yeah. So you're telling me Mike, Mundy, uh, Mike Gundy at age 54 can't have hair that dark? Is that what you're trying to tell me there, Jim? Well, I, I always think... Um, I, I mean, mean, Nick Saban colors his, so there's... You I know. mean, you see how my beard's coming in, right? I did, uh, I did. It's I not know, a beard. I, I just haven't shaved all week, but it's a little gray, right? And so if my hair was... It's, it's a lot of gray. It is. It's a lot of gray. So if my hair was jet black, what? I'd, I'd be coloring yeah, my yeah. hair. Yeah. But see, so you colored your hair the right way until you Easter egged at that time. Yeah. You got you to blend it, and that's what Nick Saban does. You can't go jet black like Krzyzewski yeah. Yeah. or Gundy. Or Gundy. Yeah, it's just <laughs> super obvious what you're doing there. Technically, I didn't Easter egg at one time. It was someone else. Yes. You, you didn't make that choice, right? Yeah. It was pink, though, right? It, it was. It was 100% pink, yep. Yeah. I was riding home. I remember looking at it going, is my hair pink? <laughs> is it pink? And then I got home, and Maggie's like, why is your hair pink? Yeah, that's a good question, Max. Yeah. I, I, did think, I did think Gundy made a, a great point yesterday on why are Texas and Oklahoma allowed in these meetings? Yeah. I don't blame him for that. But there was a lot of butt hurt in the one we just played because of somebody else's decision. Yeah. I mean, that, Bedlam's one or two more years because of somebody else's decision. Yeah. By the way, uh, don't, don't get lost in the fact he said one or two more years. Uh -huh. uh, it's a oh, growing, that, a huh? growing belief that uh, there may be a way – a way out the gate uh, after just this one more year for Texas and Oklahoma to come to the SEC. Well, Open for that. negotiations. Yeah, sooner sooner rather than later. Part of the show being brought to you by our friends at Gutter Cap. Um, biggest investment in your house for most people. Got to take care of it. One way to do that, make sure your gutters are exactly right. 
and gutter cap keeps you off that ladder for the rest of your life. Yeah, look, it's a dirty, dangerous job. You get on the roof, you slip, you fall, you snap the neck and die. You're no good to the wife or kids. Cap it, don't snap it. It's a patented aluminum cover system. It fits over most existing gutters, keeping that debris out. Eliminate gutter cleaning forever. Right now, call Chris Stewart, 823-2212. That's 823-2212. 45 percent off the retail price for the next round viewer and listener for more information guttercapbirmingham.com all right before brown gives us a vulcan tire leaderboard update um, from over at the british open we are off and rolling there we will tell you that the braves lose yesterday on the getaway game that was going on as we we're wrapping up the show so so they are two and a half back as they go and play the nationals and the mets head and play the cubs uh, so should be a couple of gimme games leading into the All-Star break for the two leaders in the National League West. You'll see that game tonight, 6 o'clock on Bally's. For all you Braves fans out there, the Barons are back home tonight as well. It is Thirsty Thursday for our friends at the Birmingham Barons, barons.com for that. But the Open is underway. It started, um, I think, just after midnight local time for round one over at St. Andrews, the 150th British Open. And we've got a leaderboard update, and it's been an interesting day over there, Brownie. It's brought to you by our friends at Vulcan Tires. He'll tell us about Vulcan Tires after you tell us who's killing it on the old course. Oh, Cameron Young. The Sounds United like an old guy, leader. Cameron Young. Cameron Young, young kid. Eight under today. He uh, had a dazzling 64 to start his action uh, there at the Open Championship. I told you earlier, he was seven under with an eagle putt from about 20 feet and three jacked it for a par uh cameron smith the other cameron the australia uh, australian end with a 67 and five under roy mcelroy on the course at five under par tiger woods has just teed off and caught a horrible break on the first drove it in a divot caused him to hit it in the uh, burn the water short of the green and started with a double bogey so a tough start for tiger sounds like a lot of excuses there brown hit him the divot caused him to divot. drive it into a burn it's not a the excuse. wind did this uh, did, blah blah did i see where an amateur is four under you did see that Lance. already in the clubhouse uh, pull that back up that's, um, that's pretty amazing barkley brown no relation that i'm aware of four under par 68 today for him wow no relation to you or to barkley who'll be with us later either i would imagine is that, is that is that man-made? I'm looking at uh, TV3 in here, that little ditch that, with water. Do they man-make that? That's what they call a burn. Yeah, I think yeah. it's to relieve uh, when the tide comes in. Yeah. No, I think it's man-made like hundreds of years ago. But that oh, wow. course is on the ocean. So I think they have to have some sort of runoff for when the uh, tide comes in. To yeah. keep from flooding the course? Yeah. Do you think Gundy would stand out in that crowd? I mean, every, everybody's pasty white over there. Oh, yeah. The shepherd says he looks like, and I've never seen Kill Bill, though we had it on the viewing menu a billion times. Says he looks like the nightclub owner in Kill Bill. I don't know if you can I re- can't recall that. Memory. You know, I haven't seen Kill Bill in probably 15 years. Good now, movie, I, d- I don't know if the shepherd is just playing on the history of our show by bringing up Kill Bill or if legitimately he looks like that nightclub. Owner. Our leaderboard updates all week long on the Open Championship is brought to you by the great folks at Vulcan Tires. Yeah, four great locations for you, locally owned and operated, soon to be a fifth location in Pell City. Uh, get a look at the brake pads, wheel alignment, tires, and more. They can do it. Bumper to bumper for you and your family. Stop in or go online, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Final thought in the opening segment. We'll talk to Trey Wallace, a little college football with him from OutKick in the next segment. Again, Barkley's with us at 12 noon for a full hour in studio with us. Uh, And then LT later on will tell you what he's doing with Barkley after the show. A lot lot of fun there. Um, But this interview happened in 2017 on the Stern Show, Rockstar. Um, but I didn't see it until today. The big lead had put up a link to it, three minutes and 34 seconds. It's Stern with David Letterman. And I did not know until today that Letterman was in on all those bits that Andy Kaufman and Joaquin Phoenix pulled on his show. But I watched that uh, clip that was put out uh, today, and Letterman says that Andy Kaufman would always sort of clue him in on what he's going to do. And on that night when Jerry Lawler slapped Kaufman, uh, Kaufman told Letterman, and it's in the interview, he said, um, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and don't get upset when the wrestler hits me. I, and that sort of takes away a little bit of the mystique for I, me. I think it waters it down. Um, there's no authenticity when it comes to that. Well, this, and, it's the same thing with the Joaquin Phoenix interview where that was all staged. Yeah, it's, it's yeah the one that was like, super awkward. It seemed like he was yeah. checked out the entire time, yeah. wasn't answering, took gum out of his mouth and put it under Dave's desk and just like stuff like that. And Dave's like, well, I wish we could have seen you today, Joaquin. And it was yeah. like, that was so funny. But then like, that was all staged. Yeah, yeah. it was a great line until you improv, knew they, they had yeah. a chance for, for it to happen. And I didn't know that until today. And then I saw 
you know, at first for a moment on the morning rounds, if you were in early on it today, it was the top read because it was the most interesting thing of the day to me. And then I moved it to the bottom. But you can still see the links at ne- the link off of that at nextroundlive.com or the big lead today. But I, it sort of ruined that whole thing to me because I'd always heard that Letterman, every guest that went on, he did not talk to him before, that it was all ad lib questions. There was no pre interview or anything like that. And to know that some of the iconic moments, we're almost technically staged. That sort of takes takes all the fun out of it. I always respected his interview skills. I was never a Letterman guy, though. I, I was in the minority. It. I didn't like it. Um, I loved I guess, it. I guess yeah. I was right. I liked Letterman. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Now, now the hit was legit. You know, they Kaufman and Lawler admit that the hit was legit, but uh, you know, I just never knew that it, that Kaufman had clued Letterman on, in on it that it was going to happen. Was the Drew Barrymore thing staged? And where she flashed? She flashed. She right? jumped on top of his yeah, desk and flashed him. So. Well, well, I don't know. It was uh, again. That Dave, was a top five do. moment. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I think Dave wrote that script. <laughs> so Harry says, uh, may, it "May have lost the authenticity, but there's no way you would allow a guest to act like that." Uh, me on this show? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't care. It'd be fine with me. We let them roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if Drew Barrymore is going to stand up on our desk. I'd help her up. I think she hit her head on the ceiling. <laughs> I mean, we let Steve Gutenberg act like that, right? <laughs> Steve is a great guest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Harry Harry thinks he knows me. When's the last time you hung out with me, Harry? Boom. Roasted. Wow, <laughs> I heard the chuckle back there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dunaway has such a weak game when he tries to clap back. You when's the last you know time me? you hung out with when's me, When's the man? last time we had dinner together? That'll <laughs> shut you up. I'm free to not accept it, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bud Light next behind us. They bring you the show. Zero carbs, 80 calories right there. Wherever you buy beer, drink responsibly. When we come back, trade Wallace from Outkick. Stay with us. Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. This hour of the next round is presented by Culver's. Now hiring full and part-time at the Tattersall Park location off 119. Health and dental insurance and $14 to $16 per hour for full-time hires. Apply in-store or online at Culver's.com. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says, something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback. From concussions to sprained ankles, our experienced team is ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. The new location of Walk-Ons is now open at Stadium Trace in Hoover near the Hoover Met. And just like the location off Highway 280, you get authentic mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch every day. Walk-Ons Happy Hour is 2 to 6 Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons off Highway 281-19 and now at Stadium Trace near the Hoover Met. Golf season is in full swing, and you know what that means for me, my favorite time of year. Ryan Brown here for the next round, inviting you to enjoy 18 holes of great golf at Ballantrae Golf Club. Just off I-65 in Pelham, Ballantrae Golf Club is one of my favorite spots in Birmingham. 18 great holes of golf designed by one of my favorite designers, Bob Cuff, and they keep the golf course in superb shape. They treat you like family when you're out there as well. Go enjoy Ballantrae Golf Club for yourself this spring and summer. 620 Golf for a tee time, 620-4653, Ballantrae Golf Club. Summer weather is finally here. Make sure your air conditioner is ready for the Alabama heat. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the ones to call for all of your HVAC needs. Hemphill Services is a locally owned and operated independent train dealer, and the team can service all makes and models. Get the guys at Hemphill Services to make sure your HVAC unit is ready to help you beat the Alabama heat this summer. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, do what I do. Call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205 229 2090. 
Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations. But we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from. Great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sale section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com. The latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Trey Wallace is standing in queue, ready to go 44 days away from the college football season. But right now, crazy times in the mortgage business. Our friends at Mortgage Right can uh, navigate the waters for you. Yes, inflation is out in full force now more than ever. Rent costs are skyrocketing, even though interest rates have risen. Buying a home is proving cheaper than renting one. Stop throwing away money on rent. Turn to Mortgage Right with a variety of loan options, assistant programs, and dedicated mortgage experts. Mortgage Right makes buying a home in the current market as easy as possible. And they know the financial hardships that are coming for renters, and they want to help you make the best investment for your future. Rent has risen 149%. There is no sign of it slowing down. Call Mortgage Right locally today, 205-815-9200, or visit mortgageright.com slash TNR. All right, Trey Wallace is the senior SEC reporter for OutKick and Fox. He is on Twitter at Trey Wallace underscore, and he's with us on the johnstonrvcenter.com hotline. What's up, Trey? How are you today? Guys, good morning. Uh, just getting ready for, you know, media days in the next four to five days. And uh, look, the craziness never stops with college athletics. So I'm sure something will go down before Monday starts. Yeah, there's no doubt it will. But beyond the talk of Nick Saban versus Jimbo Fisher, which appeared to be what would dominate this, and conference expansion, what is a storyline that interests you starting Monday from SEC Media Days? Is there anything that you could see that might be a consistent storyline other than those two things? You know, I, I think the biggest thing to me is I want to hear if these coaches go further in depth on NIL. Uh, we, we heard Mark Stoops recently talk about the problems that are going on in Lexington. Uh, does Lane Kiffin, you know, continue to, to kind of ruffle feathers with his comments to some? You know, I, I think that's the big one because the Nick Saban Jimbo thing to me, it's kind of died down. It'll pick back up once they get ready to start their game during that game week. But right now I just feel like when you look at this thing, you know, quarterback competition, you know, NIL, how that looks right now. I think realignment is going to be a conversation that every coach is going to get asked about. They're going to – Oklahoma, Texas, how much are they involved? That's going to be a conversation. But I think the biggest thing right now is is outside of the things that are going on, uh, the, the main topics in the conference shift is going to be NIL. And, and does somebody come out and, and complain about it further? Uh, do we get, you know, some kind of numbers? Does, does somebody get up on stage like Mike Leach and just go off on it? I think those are the kind of things that, that you're going to have to look forward to next week um, just because I think a couple other storylines have kind of died down a little bit. You know, I think Tennessee fans pleasantly surprised year one under Josh Heupel coming up that 7-6 and six with Hendon Hooker. Uh, what are your expectations for Tennessee in year two? Man, I look at Tennessee, and I think offensively, you know, they, they've got the talent there. So they've got the talent running back, quarterback, wide receiver, um, along with Cedric Tillman. You're going to have Jalen Hyatt back. 
Um, you, you add in Brew McCoy. Can you get some work out of the, the slot position with some guys like Squirrel White or, you know, even Walker Merrill? But I, I look at Tennessee overall, I think they take the next step. I, I think this is a squad. You can't go backwards here. Looking at their schedule right now, you know, go take care of business at Pittsburgh. You know, easier said than done, and I, and I completely understand that. But if you're, th- but this is also the big thing too. This is the year where you you got to beat Florida. You can't mess around. You know, Florida. Yes, they're going to have Anthony Richardson, but they're kind of lacking at other spots right now. So if you're going to beat them, you got to do it now. So I, I think this is a. I think this could be an eight win team. I do. I, I honestly also think that they could shock somebody. Uh, with this offense, I, I really do. But it's going to come down to guys, and you know this. It's going to come down to the defense. And Tennessee defensively, they struggled at times last year because they were on the field so much. How does that progress from last season to this season under Tim Banks, defensive coordinator? What can they do to keep their guys fresh and ready to go? I know it's difficult with this type of offense, but Tennessee has been stacking up some depth. So. I, I like Tennessee. We'll, we'll, we'll see what they do towards that first week of October. Trey Wallace is with us from OutKick uh, College Football, and uh, he's on the johnsonrbcenter.com hotline talking a little college football with Trey. And uh, SEC Media Days will have, I think it's seven quarterbacks. If I take Bryce off the list, you were just talking Tennessee. Give me your second and third best quarterbacks that will be in Atlanta. It sounds like you like Hendon Hooker. Is he number two? And then who would you put into the three slot? Oh, you know, I really so – like, Here's, like here's the Hooker. list, if you don't remember. Stetson Bennett's there. Uh, yeah. Hendon Hooker's there. Will Levis is there. Um, Anthony Richardson's there. KG Jefferson, KJ Jefferson's, Jefferson's there. there. Yep. And one other. I can't remember the other one. I, I honestly – I think it's a KJ Jefferson, Hendon Hooker type deal. And then for 2-2, two, two, for 2-3 two, to me. And then you go with Will Levis. Um, Spencer Rattler's in there, okay, but we got to see what he does. I, I think to me, I really want to see what KJ Jefferson does this year. I loved what he did last season, his ability to get outside the pocket, scramble down the field. You know, running into that Georgia game last year, all of a sudden he just started getting railed up. And, and, and when you take that many hits, it takes your game off. I think this year you take the next step underneath that offense with Browse and what they're doing with Sam Pittman. I think overall, you know, look, Hendon Hooker, KJ Jefferson, and then I think you, you got like a second tier there. I think you've got Will Levis uh, that that is hanging around right there. You know, besides the 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 obvious one, Anthony Richardson is to me who I want to see play for let's just say six games in a row for four quarters. I want to see how he's going to react in those games, completely starting, going forward, being the guy. And then maybe he turns out to be something that, that we look back in the, you know, before the preseason and we're like, okay, this guy was legit, which I think he has all the talent to be. But, but right now, to me, it's can Hendon Hooker take the next step for Tennessee football to be good again this year in a sense of maybe eight wins? And also, if Arkansas is going to make some noise, you know, what does K.J. Jefferson do? Because, guys, there's so, there's so many different types of quarterbacks in this conference this season which makes it a lot of fun because you can go right down the road to Starkville and look at Will Rogers and he'll sling the ball around. Or what are they going to do at Texas A&M? Is it going to be Haynes King? Is it going to be Max Johnson? So there's just so many different layers to this SEC quarterback thing this season. I, I, I think something good's going to come out of it. And you're going to see some stars kind of overperform. Trey, in your mind, a successful first year for Brian Kelly at LSU would look like what? Not necessarily just record, but just just give me something tangible that you would say, okay, uh, Brian Kelly was successful year one at LSU. Beat the teams that you're supposed to beat. Um, you're not going to beat Alabama. Uh, I, I, I don't see that happening. Um, I look at that schedule. You know, Tennessee comes down to Baton Rouge. That's going to be a big game. Uh, the the I think it's the second week of October, October 8th. You know, to me, eight wins – would probably be good enough right now for, for Brian Kelly in this first year. LSU fans are going to like that, and, and I completely understand it. You know, you're going to want to be fighting for an SEC championship every single season. Um, but it's almost like he's got to come in and potentially do a, a not a Texas A&M rebuild like Jimbo was doing because they've got players at LSU. They really do. But I think when you look at it right now in the quarterback situation, okay, how's that play out, especially at running back? 
Okay, if they can get past and they can get enough production out of them, I think you get to eight wins. But it's all going to rely on what this defense does. And I'm interested to see Brian Kelly in the SEC. And I, I think LSU fans should probably be satisfied with eight to nine wins, even though they're not going to be. And they're going to complain about it, and that's okay. But uh, but I, I think overall that's what you have to look at. You know, for me, Jimbo Fisher, you mentioned him going into year five, has not earned his money. He's making a ton of money. He's getting paid as an elite yep. coach. I know he's won a national championship. Where do you think Texas A&M fans are right now on Jimbo Fisher? It's kind of agitated. I mean, they're, they're agitated and excited at the same time. I, I don't – you know, it is what it is. You see the recruiting class that they brought in. You get excited about that. You're like, okay, the future looks bright. But what about right now? That's the biggest thing with Texas A&M. We can't keep talking about the future. Like, he's been there long enough now where you want to see, you know, more games like they had against Alabama last season. You know, where Zach Calzada just comes in and the guy's phenomenal and, and Texas A&M beats Alabama at home. You know, you want to see more production out of that because then you have a game where you drop off and you lose to Mississippi State. You can't have that at Texas A&M, not with what they're trying to build right now, and, and especially with the amount of money that Jimbo Fisher is making. I want to see more consistency out of the Aggies this season, and, and it's going to start with what they do at quarterback. I think they're going to be fine at other positions on the offensive side and even defensive side, but we can only talk about recruiting classes for so long. You're going to have to do something on the field and, and, and make a run towards Atlanta. So, uh, you know, speaking with a couple of folks in, in College Station over the last three to four weeks, you know, they, they, they know what they expect in a sense of, okay, we should be fighting year in, year out with Alabama, with LSU. We've got the resources. Let's just see if they actually do it now because we can't go into five – Year six and Jimbo and them, they're still putting up eight, nine wins. Can't be happening. When we get to uh, that Thanksgiving weekend, the end of that regular season, will you be more impressed with what Shane Beamer accomplished or what Mike Leach accomplished this year, in your opinion? If you've got to crystal ball, who do you think will impress you most this year, Beamer or Leach? Shane Beamer. I, I, I think that he is going to have multiple weapons on offense. I love Austin Stockner at, at tight end that they brought in. Spencer Rattler, obviously. You know, and, and here's another thing a lot of people forget. You know, I don't think they forget, but they really don't take a, a deep dive look in. You know, for Shane Beamer to do what he did last season, playing four quarterbacks, you know, you can, you can even count a fifth if you roll in the bowl game. So the, the fact that they were able to do that last season, with playing so many different other guys. And the, and the story was Zeb Nolan, you know, coming off the coaching sidelines and putting a, a jersey back on. And you had, you know, Jason Brown at quarterback and it just so on. And, and so I look at Shane Beamer and I think, okay, if he can get consistent play out of out of Spencer, you know, your, your wide receivers um, I, I think are good enough uh, to, to win you some games and get downfield and stretch it. I think that's a big thing for Spencer Rattler is getting outside the pocket. So – I look at Shane Beamer, and that's nothing against Mike Leach because I know what Will Rogers is going to do. He's going to come out and he's going to sling the football around. Okay, that's fine. But I don't think that when you look at the situations, I think they're completely different because Beamer was having to deal with so much last year playing so many quarterbacks compared to what Mike Leach was doing in Starkville. I I just feel like South Carolina is poised to, to continue trending in that upward direction. All right, you can read him at Outkick at Fox. Senior SEC reporter Trey Wallace. Go follow him on Twitter as well, at Trey Wallace underscore. Don't forget the underscore. Trey, thank you for the time, man. Always great talking with you. Guys, be good. Be blessed. Talk All right, buddy. soon. Thank you. See you in Atlanta. Trey with us on the Johnston RVCenter.com hotline. And the show being brought to you in part by our friends at Precision Sports. They'll always get you back in the game, and they'll be carrying us over to SEC Media Days. They're our title sponsor of our coverage from Atlanta. Hey, whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says, Something's not right. Let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you. Make your greatest comeback today from concussions to sprained ankles. Our experienced team ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. Yeah, all right. Looking forward to our trip to Atlanta to see Trey and all of our friends in the media and all the folks that will make their way over there. Um, One thing uh, to look at as we uh, get closer and closer to this college football season is um, those quarterbacks where we have a lot that'll be at SEC uh, Media Day, seven of them. 
Um, I the, think the one you forgot was Stetson Bennett. No, I thought I said Stetson. No, you said Stetson. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But there is seven, but I only counted six. I can't remember the other person. Um, if anybody remembers who the other person is, let me know. Was it not Will Rogers? I don't remember you saying Will Rogers. I, I didn't say Will Rogers. Is he going? I yeah, got it. I, I bet he is. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not certain about that. I did not say Will Rogers. Yeah. I didn't know if he was going or not. Um, but there was seven. But there, there's been times where, you know, we've had one good quarterback or two good quarterbacks in this league, and we haven't been very strong at the quarterback position. And, you know, you look at other leagues. I mean, there are times the Big 12 has had a great quarterback league or the Big Ten or the ACC or the Pac-12. Um, right now, I think it's the SEC and the ACC. I mean, C.J. Stroud is C.J. Stroud. But if you go conference top to bottom deep quarterback pools, I think it's, the, it's a debate between the SEC and the ACC on who has the better conference for quarterbacks this year. That's how... That's how well the, the K.J. Jeffersons, the Hinder and Hookers, and all of them have progressed in bringing in Spencer Rattler. It's a pretty good-looking quarterback group. No, it really is, and I agree with you. I think the ACC is probably that next conference when you look at Tyler Van Dyke and you look at Devin Leary, you look at Sam Hartman. Uh, the funny thing is we don't even talk about a Clemson quarterback. But back to the SEC, I don't know where you guys would go. Obviously, Bryce Young would be 1A. It's not even close. There's a big drop-off. But if you had to have one quarterback start one game for you out of all of the other guys in the SEC, who would it be? Do I have Georgia's defense? It's Stetson Bennett. Well, do, look, I, have, do I have a normal team? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah let's say you have Georgia's defense this year. Georgia's defense. I, I honestly, based on the way the season ended, would probably go Hendon Hooker. I like K.J. Jefferson more than you do. I like him. I think yeah. he's still raw. Um I think I would go Hendon Hooker. Well, the chat room wants us to say Will Levis. I'm not ready to do no. that yet. Stetson Bennett would be really close for me. He would be. Yeah. I mean, just because I've seen him in big games. Yeah. Got to make mistakes. But I, you say that he did he, against he, Alabama. He did. He, yeah. made, he made a ton of mistakes in the national championship game. Yeah. They just couldn't take advantage yeah. of it. I, I would go. To me, it's a debate between Hendon Hooker and KJ Jefferson. And I'd put the other one third. And then I would probably go to Stetson Bennett just for. You know, you hate to say the old game manager, but I would game manage it with Stetson Bennett before I would get to Spencer Rattler. I think Rattler's ceiling, I've seen Rattler be better than I've seen, you know, some of those quarterbacks, but I've also seen him be a disaster. See, I think Will Rogers is really underrated. I know, but he And would. everybody talks about yeah, system. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. That's it. Yeah. You know, Will... I mean, but if I dropped him in Tuscaloosa, you don't think he'd put up good, good oh, numbers? Yeah, 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 of course he would. I mean... Yeah. This is a fact about modern day football, NFL or college. It's it's not everybody does it now. Everybody throws more than they run. In the past, you know, it used to be crazy when it would be like, oh, they actually throw the ball more than they run. Nobody's really 50-50. And, you know, no in the old days you would run the ball before you know, it was a rarity if you threw it more than you ran it. Now everybody throws it more than they run it. And they throw it, I would say, Brown, I don't know what the stats are, I would say it's 60-40 on average, the throw to the run now. In all of college football? In all of college football. If we average it all out, I think it'd be 60-40. That it's it's a pretty big number. So, yeah, yeah, I think Will Rogers would work in a lot of places. All right, uh, when we come back, I'm going to, because it has become impossible to figure out what is true or not when I see stuff on Twitter, I think this is true. But I want to at least try to confirm it in the break okay. of something that has just ha- been announced at Big 12 Media Days. Okay. Is, does it involve a, a prince or a princess who needs money from the Big 12? No. Okay. So it's not an email. Is so it big news, schedule. though, if it's legit? Uh, I wouldn't call it big news. I would call it confusing news. Okay. Right. Uh, that's when we come back. Don't forget SEC Media Days is Monday. Big 12 Media Days going on. Part of our show today being brought to you by the great folks at Hemphill. Uh, LT will tell you that if you're looking for somebody to handle your heating, your cooling, or your plumbing, Hemphill's a great place to start. Hemphill Services, remember that name, LT. Yeah, for all of your plumbing, cooling, heating needs, trust the name Birmingham is trusted since 1954. Call today. Adam, Chad, Andrew, the team at Hemphill, the ones I trust to fix it right the first time, always at a fair price. 205-229-2090. That's 205 205- Two two nine twenty nine. So when we come back, Brown's got that uh, weird or true or not true story. Plus, we will talk 
with Rockstar about his four downs to start the 10 o'clock hour. All that straight ahead today and later today with our friends at Hemphill. We've got a specialty show, 4 to 5. We'll be at Axe downtown in Trustville. Come hang out with us or tune in. Have those alerts set up on all your video platforms. We'll be with you on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter, 4 to 5 Central this afternoon from Axe in downtown Trustville. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Just ask our team member, Marcus. Let's just say you can't take America's Dairyland out of Culver's. Like the real Wisconsin cheese on our juicy butter burgers. The farm fresh dairy in our fresh frozen custard. Even our crispy golden Wisconsin cheese curds. It may sound cheesy. (laughs) Cheesy. But we love where we come from at Culver's. Almost as much as we love sharing it with our guests. Welcome to Delicious. Summer means cookouts and spending time with the family and friends in the backyard. Ryan Brown here. Nothing can ruin a party like mosquitoes. Wayne's environmentally safe Mosquito Plus solution safely and effectively eliminates mosquitoes. Plus, they provide protection against fleas and ticks, helping keep your outdoor entertainment spaces safe, comfortable, and pest-free for your family and your four-legged family members. Wayne's has turned my backyard oasis into my happy place. They can do the same for you. Give them a call, 866-WAYNES-1 or callwaynes.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michelson and laservision.com. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hey, it's Jim Dunaway. Let me take a second to talk about my friend Greg from Pell City and his company, Storm Restoration Roofing. He's the owner and has been locally owned for over 20 years. Insurance companies love Greg, and that's going to benefit you, the customer. Storm Restoration Roofing is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they'll give you a free no-cost inspection. No obligation, no cost. 205 542-3531, 542-3531, or look up Greg from Pell City on Facebook. It's Greg Nelson and Storm Restoration Roofing. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Conquer whatever summertime activities you want to take part in, all while wearing the perfect shoes. Our fit specialists take precise measurements of your feet and analyze how you walk and run so that your shoes fit perfectly. And we haven't forgotten about the kids either. We'll get them equipped for summer camp or whatever adventures they take on. Stop by the New Balance Birmingham store today, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. New Balance Birmingham, experience the difference a custom fit makes today. When you have questions about your urological health, count on the healthcare experts at Urology Centers of Alabama with 16 locations and a team of specialists across Alabama. You can find help you need from a trusted UCA physician. Get started at urologycentersalabama.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at New Life Art. Daniel A. Moore has completed his original full-color oil painting honoring Bryce Young, Alabama's fourth Heisman Trophy winner. This painting depicts the memorable Heisman-worthy go-ahead pinpoint pass to John Mechie in the corner of the end zone as the Tide dismantled the Vaughna Georgia defense in the SEC championship game this past year. Use code TNR for 15% off. You can order online at DanielMoreArt.com. The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Pate Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's Trackman Driving Range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. 
Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. That's nextroundlive.com. I have a theory that things shouldn't be created when we're out drinking on the town. <laughs> I didn't. So, yeah, in full disclosure, we're supposed to have uh, some Olympic Games uh, in lieu of the World Games this weekend that I didn't create. Our social media director, Taylor, came no, up no, with No, no, no. Yeah. She did. I'm not suggesting you created it. I'm just saying your level of excitement and buy-in is a lot more than the people you're trying to sell to buy-in. I'm just saying you're not getting a whole lot of buy-in on this. Well, no, I get that. But, you know, it's all about content for our viewers and listeners, and I think this will be really good content for us to roll. It's all about content. It is. Is it not? No, it's not all about content. Well, I mean, look, we want to have a good time on Saturday, but we're going to have some Olympic games and we'll have uh, some footage from it. Uh, don't forget our friends. This came after we spent the uh, the entire afternoon and evening with the Barons the other night. And you can have uh, those kind of wild ideas about your place of employment with your friends, with our friends at the Birmingham Barons. Tonight is Thirsty Thursday. Uh, the gates open at 6. First game uh, for uh, the first pitch uh, goes at 7.05. Of course, the team that's in town is the Biscuits, uh, the AA affiliates of my Tampa Bay Rays. Barons and Biscuits tonight, 7.05. And it's Thirsty Thursday. That means you get uh, great domestic beer prices and drink prices at the concession stands there. Uh, Barons.com for tickets. Barons.com for tickets. Hockey night is coming up on Saturday night there where hockey jerseys will be given away to the first 1,000 fans through the gate right there. That's on Saturday night. The old great Barons hockey jerseys happening uh, this Saturday night. So a couple of big events with our friends with the Barons, Barons.com. Uh, Brown, I guess this is real. I don't see how it can uh, be, but go ahead. This is a legitimate media source that is reporting this from the Big 12 Media Days. C.J. Vogel, who is a recruiting analyst um, for uh, Texas and Oklahoma, and he is at SEC Media Days and reports that there is a new Big 12 rule, which I'll just call a timeout. I did not know conferences could just make their own rules. Right. I thought we were all governed by the NCAA. Yeah, right? I did too. New Big 12 rule, a ball caught in the end zone by an airborne wide receiver who was then driven out of the end zone by a defender before he can land will now be deemed a touchdown. Yeah, there has been an update to that. Greg Burks, who is the director of officiating, has added a clarification to this ruling. It will only apply to receivers catching the ball coming out of the front of the end zone right? back into the field of play. It does not have anything to do with the out-of-bounds line. So basically... They must have done a poor job in explaining and they've had to come back and clean this up. So if I'm standing in the end zone and I jump to catch it and then I'm driven out yeah. of bounds? No, no, it has I, nothing to do with out of bounds. It is driven back into the field of yeah, play. Back to the which, one yard Which I thought was a touchdown already anyway yeah, because right. I had caught the ball and I had broken the plane. I thought it was a touchdown already. You know, so basically what they're saying is if this is your goal line right here yeah, and I'm in the and, end zone and I catch the ball in the end zone, my feet's in the air and I'm driven back to the one yard line and tackled there, it will be a touchdown. And that is the Big 12 saying that I thought that was a touchdown already because I've caught the ball and I've broken the plane. But I guess they're going by where you catch. It has nothing to do with out of bounds, according to the clarification. Yeah, you know, Greg Burks. I'm just trying to work that ruling out through my head because so if I'm a ball carrier and I launch from the one, hold the ball over the plane, it's immediately a touchdown. I don't even have to land in the end zone. That's right. In fact, once it breaks the plane, you can hit me and drive me back to the 10, right? Yeah. And it's a touchdown. This, this so, is like an unnecessary thing for them. To yeah, bring I think up. it's already a touchdown anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in right. my opinion, I think they're clarifying a rule. Of asked. I don't. I don't know what is happening there that caused that tweet to happen and then the clarification, but it upset a lot of people. Uh, to start with. They've got to have some news coming out of the Big 12, I right? guess so. But, that, that um, was but text old... our buddy Steve Shaw and see if this is them okay. having – I mean, conferences can't have their own rules, I don't think. I don't Steve think Shaw so, is our yeah. friend. Yeah. Text him. Yeah. When that, you, see. When, that was an old-school NFL rule. Yeah, you guys that's right. Remember, I, it was I, I, an, I, I hated that rule. It cost the Minnesota Vikings a playoff spot against yeah. the Cardinals. It was it, week 16, and yeah. they just had to win that game, and it was a uh, last-second play. Guy got pushed out of the end zone, ruled it a touchdown. Yeah, Washington scored one oh, against my Dolphins in the Super Bowl. In the NFL? That yeah, that was I'm an old-school see- NFL rule. No, I thought it was old-school college rule that the NFL, you actually, that you could be pushed out mm, without no. touching. I know. Uh-uh. No, I, the NFL, if, the you, NFL. If, you, if you pushed out, 
it was deemed a catch. They had the now the, you can push out. Well, the, in the NFL, the way it was worded, I remember this is the referee. It was a judgment call by the referee on whether or not he would have come down inbounds right. had he yep, not been pushed right. out. Now, if I'm running and I jump, that it's not the same thing. But if if the referee ruled no, 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 if he had not been hit, he would have come down inbounds. They could rule it a catch. Yeah, but again, this has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with out of bounds. Yeah. Nothing to do with out of bounds, back of the end zone, any of that. This is just whether or not you're breaking the plane when you're catching the ball. And yeah, I know Harry that you you, you don't establish your feet, you know, a possession until your feet's down. Um, but as Brown is pointing out, you've got to, you've established your end play when you're running the football already. It's no uh, possession at that point when you're diving over the end zone. But that does bother me a little bit what Harry is saying. I I know what you're saying, but if I've jumped up and I, I haven't established possession yet, so. I don't know. It's a weird rule to me. Yeah. Text Steve in the I'm break. Let's too. get some clarification on that. Uh, part of our show being brought to you by Cowan Equipment. Poll questions coming out. It'll be a good one. Should should conference have the right, conferences have the right to have their own rules and their own games? I say no. Hey, if you're having a hard time finding that new plastic on the seat piece of heavy equipment, check out Cowan Equipment's rental fleet hit list for a wide range of well-maintained equipment from our rental fleet for sale. Now visit cowan.com slash featured used equipment or call 800-239-COWAN for more information all right looking forward to our specialty show today we'll do another ask us anything congratulations to the americans who win softball yesterday more of the world games going on you can get your tickets twg2022.com when we come back lt wants to talk a little bit about the orioles who won again and just uh, an overall picture of franchises who who are you know haven't done well lately who are doing well again the orioles surprises that they had done well recently and we had forgotten they had done well that's how bad they've been that and rock stars four downs all in the next segment right here on the next round call the next round now at 205-734-0923 this hour of the next round is presented by culver's now hiring full and part-time at the tattersall park location off 119 health and dental insurance and 14 to 16 dollars per hour for full-time hires apply in store or online at culver's.com at Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, you can now drive the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia TI, the Italian sports sedan of your dream, starting at $499 per month plus tax with $4,999 down, plus first payment and title due at delivery. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, 1837 Grants Mill Road, or Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com. A life at least 10,000 miles per year. WAC MSRP $51,490. Stock number Q0059, Q0068, or Q0074. Wayne's Pest Control has taken pest control to the next level. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Keep your home pest free and rodent free with Wayne's proprietary smart system. Smart is a digital, eco friendly rodent monitoring solution that tells Wayne's you have an unwanted mouse or rodent before you even know about it. Wayne Smart Service Professionals will proactively set up an appointment to take care of that problem, keeping your family and pets safe and healthy. And right now, get $60 off Smart Pet Service with the offer code TNR. Let Wayne's create your happy place. 866-WAYNES1 or call waynes.com. The new location of Walk-Ons is now open at Stadium Trace in Hoover near the Hoover Met. And just like the location off Highway 280, you get authentic, mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch every day. Walk-Ons Happy Hour is 2 to 6 Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons off Highway 28119 and now at Stadium Trace near the Hoover Met. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at HydroLive. Mention next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. HydroLive's got three locations, Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. Done building your family? A vasectomy is a safe, simple, effective option for birth control. When it was my time to take the SNP, I used my friends at Urology Centers of Alabama. And there's no better time for a vasectomy. It's a great reason to be off your feet and be on the couch during the game with the wife's approval. It's a quick, in-office procedure covered by most insurances. Urology Centers of Alabama. 16 convenient locations. Call 205-922-SNP. That's 205-922-7647. Hey, it's Jim Dunaway. Let me take a second to talk about my friend Greg from Pell City and his company, Storm Restoration Roofing. He's the owner and it's been locally owned for over 20 years. Insurance companies love Greg and that's going to benefit you, the customer. Storm Restoration Roofing is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau and they'll give you a free no-cost inspection. No obligation, no cost. 205-542-3531. 
542-3531 or look up Greg from Pell City on Facebook. It's Greg Nelson and Storm Restoration Roofing. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Want more of the Next Round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, the Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Hour number two of the show, Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, Rockstar, Forrester, Lunsford, all here today. Uh, Taylor Korn out there managing uh, marketing and our social media platforms. Um, we, we were live the other day when we started joking about director of marketing, but that's her title. And uh, I don't even think she knew she was director of marketing. I didn't know she was. It was yeah. in, it's in her Twitter bio. How does she not know? She, <laughs> she, wear, she wears a lot of hats. Uh, she, uh, she does. She does a lot of great work for us. The people that were viewing that Ask Us Anything thought it was hilarious that the three of us are co-owners of this company and couldn't give you her job. I had no time. idea. Yeah. She's going to be bartending later today. <laughs> Director of marketing, bartender yeah. later today when Charles Barkley is in uh, studio <laughs> with us later on at 12 noon. He'll be with us for one hour in studio. A lot to get to uh, with Barkley. That's all coming up right now. Let's start this hour off with our headlines, which are brought to you by our friends at Odie's. Last night, you guys were at Trivia. Uh, my question last night. What came first, McDonald's or Harrison Ford? Oh. If you listen to our show, you had a bit of an advantage knowing yesterday Harrison Ford turned 80. Yeah. You at least knew he was 80, if you happen to know the age of McDonald's, which I did not. Well, I mean, I, they had that whole movie about the origin of it. I, I just, never saw I, the I Ray Kroc movie. I didn't watch movie. it. Who then played, it was, then who, it was really good in it. Who was, oh, yeah, it was Michael Keaton, wasn't it? Yep. Did uh, he play Ray Kroc? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I thought he played the businessman that bought McDonald's. Oh, it was Ray, Ray Kroc. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That would be Ray Kroc. Yeah, he did play that guy. Um, I am going to say slightly at this point, at 80 years, by one year, Harrison Ford older than McDonald's. Do I think agree, we just celebrated Rocky? 81 years. I think Harrison Ford by far. I think by McDonald's over. 1940, Harrison Ford 1942. Really close, though. Wow. That is close. These wow. are the little factoids you learn at Odie's. Get in for lunch or dinner. Enjoy the great food, award-winning wings, delicious burgers. My personal favorite, the Diablo sandwich. Odie's team trivia every Wednesday night, but live music this weekend. And coming up, you and Will Haver will be playing together, right, Rocky? We are on the last day of July, Saturday the 31st, I believe. We yep. are at live at Odie's, Rockstar and Haver. Yeah, it's a Birmingham institution right there, Crestline Village, Odie's Tavern. Okay, before Brown gives us a Vulcan Tire leaderboard update from the Open, the British Open, which is underway, other stuff that is going on. Um, Moody's three-star wide receiver Davion Dozier picks Arkansas over South Carolina and Tennessee, local kid who uh, chose to go to Arkansas yesterday. Um, the SEC media days are next week's big 12 media days wrapping up today, two days out in Dallas. Uh, yesterday, Neil Brown said that JT Daniels would be part of a four person quarterback battle at West Virginia, that he was not looking for a quarterback going into the spring, but he's got all sophomores, redshirt freshmen and freshmen. And then after spring decided he needed uh, maybe some veteran leadership in that quarterback room and JT Daniels became available. Um, I think it, uh, West Virginia was the choice mainly because of Graham Harrell. That was his OC when JT burst onto the scene out at USC. It, it was. They've got a relationship, and, and there is no way JT Daniels is not going to be the starting quarterback at West Virginia. Can you imagine going from having a really 
Well, a really solid first year at USC being the starting quarterback there. To transfer into Georgia, you're the starting quarterback. You lose that job. Then transferring to West Virginia and not playing? Neil Brown says he has never lost his job. He's only been injured twice. That at USC, That's true. That's he true. was the quarterback and would have never given it up if he hadn't got hurt. And same at Georgia. He said he would have never given it up to Stetson if he hadn't got hurt. But, but the difference is when Keaton Slovis came in, I mean, JT was done for the year. So it was a season-ending injury. And Keaton played that well. I don't know if he would have gotten the job back or not. But JT was able to come back last year. And Stetson, I think it was a chemistry thing. Would you guys agree with that? No. Because there were so many Georgia fans saying JT Daniels is the more talented quarterback. You don't, you, don't, you don't break up the streak, right? They were winning football games and playing well. And, and Kirk, you know, hats off to Kirby Smart. Stuck with him after the loss to Alabama in the national championship game and stuck with him in that game because there were a couple of moments where he looked rattled and they end up winning the national championship because he played spectacular down the stretch. Uh, Braves lose yesterday 7-3. Charlie Morton gave up three home runs and uh, to, to the Mets there. So they get out of that series winning two of three, the Mets do. They lead the Braves by two and a half games there. And um, they now go and play the Nationals tonight, 6 o'clock on Bally's. All right, while we're talking baseball, before we do the leaderboard update, Orioles... Is there breaking news or anything? No, no, no. I do have clarification on that rule. So anytime you want to come back to okay. that. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we'll do that before we do the leaderboard. But while we're talking baseball, the Orioles, uh, they won their 10th game, as did the Mariners. And you in the in the office yesterday or this morning, we were like, man, the, uh, this Oriole thing becomes more and more amazing with every win. Well, look, this is a team that had just lost three consecutive seasons of 100 losses or more. And now we're talking about 10 consecutive wins. The last time they won 10 straight games, 1999. Yeah, you don't win on, you know, 10, I mean, for anybody, 10, 10 in a row is a, it is. a number. It's a lot, but, but 1999 is a long yeah. time Yeah, ago. I mean, your starting third baseman was Cal Ripken. Um, your starting right fielder was Albert Bell. Yeah, well, so how about that? So it's been that long. But now they've, so that was win number 45. Last year they got win number 45 on September 8th. And this is a team, wow. somebody brought it up the other day. Trey Mancini is the only guy I can name on the Orioles roster. Oh, I, I have not watched the Orioles play all year. I can not even name their manager. Yeah, I was going to say, do you know their manager? I couldn't name it. Buck Showalter. No. <laughs> he was. Brandon Hyde. Oh, yeah, Brandon oh, Hyde. Yeah. Don't, the the don't Brandon know. Hyde. But right? the crazy thing is they've got the second best ERA in the AL. They had the worst ERA in, in Major League Baseball three of the past four seasons. I can't name one player. I can't name one player. I know they brought up a catcher, their big star who was a catcher. They brought him up from the minors. He's a rookie, and he's supposed to be a stud, like the best catcher in baseball. Well, normally this is your your go-to as a Rays fan, lowest payroll in baseball. It is the Orioles, right? and $23 million of that is being paid to Chris Davis, who retired last year. Oh, how about that? That's fantastic. I mean, it's really – this is an amazing story. You know, if they were in, uh, you know, Forrester's division in the AL Central, they'd have a fighting shot. Yeah. yeah. Crab cakes and applesauce. Uh, and by the way, I don't like well, black. Apples. I don't like black and orange together as I really a color don't scheme. Either, yeah. But I think the Orioles have got a really good uniform, and maybe it's yeah. just that logo. People were raving about Oklahoma State that helmet. Oh, I hate, hate that it. scripted Cowboys helmet yeah. that Oklahoma State has. Yeah. I'm, I'm with Lance. Part of it is because, and I don't know if this affects you guys, but growing up in Sacks, our big rival was Alexandria, who was black and orange, and that does kind of hurt it for you. Like if you grew up a Bama fan, you probably hate orange and blue teams. If you grew up an Auburn fan, you probably hate a team that's got you know a dark red or a crimson with a white. I, I'm not that way. I, well, who was your I, big rival growing up at um, Thompson? At Thompson was well, it wasn't Pelham because they never beat us. <laughs> but then, some shade. Yeah, shade. Yeah. I mean, I think seriously, I don't think they ever beat Thompson until Dabo and Tyler were there. Yeah, is this like Bedlam? Um, yeah, it, <laughs> it was. Really was. It was. It was. They called I it. You their coach had a mullet. <laughs> they called it a rivalry. <laughs> um, so they were green and gold. That didn't bother me. Um, God, I, I mean, I don't know. But do you like the black and orange scheme? I, I, I like the Orioles old school uniforms. Yeah, I, I like them. That's a good uniform. It really is. It just reminds me of Halloween for, yeah. for yeah, whatever I'm reason. with you. I'm absolutely with you. Those are your Halloween colors, black and orange. And, you know, you Bear fans can say what you want. I know that is a deep, deep blue. It looks black. But to me, yeah. it has always been black and I'm orange. And I've always liked the Bears uniforms. Mm, I never have. I never yeah. have. I don't nope. like that C. I don't either. It works for the Reds. It doesn't work for the Bears. Yeah, I've never liked the Bears uniform at yeah. all. And I do. I like Hoover's uniforms, Patrick. They've got a good orange and black They're combo. Black and orange, I yeah. like that. I like that orange. I like that Buccaneer flag. 
So I've never had a problem. There's really no color scheme that I dislike. San I mean, Francisco Giants, another reason I don't like it. Oh, see, it's another great, yeah. that's another that great uniform. That is a good uniform. uniform. I'll give you credit. I don't like color, that color scheme, but that is a good uniform. That's another Giants great uniform. It's yeah. just a traditional uniform, and they haven't yeah. changed it no, over the years. Nobody in the NFL's got that, though, uh, or NBA. Yeah, I mean, outside of Chicago, who looks black and yeah. orange, but it's navy and it orange. It is yeah. navy. Yeah. But it does look black on I don't TV. even think it's navy. It's a darker darker color but that's you know the the oreos just real quick um that organization was so good in the 60s and 70s you know they've won three world series they've won seven al pennants um the bears is kind of a good comparison on where these organizations are though i mean that was a great organization at one time and it's just disappeared that's what i said ken i know it's a deep 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 blue but, but it, it looks, looks black. black. Yes. Yeah. I actually said that. Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Let's go uh, to an want? update on the rules. All right. Uh, from hopefully our buddy Steve Shaw it is or somebody. From Steve Shaw, NCAA Director of Officiating. Okay, our direct um, line to Steve Shaw. He picked up the bat phone and told us what. Explain to us what the misconception was if you're watching this as a standalone hour. All right, so we'll start with the initial report was that a receiver that catches the ball within the end zone and then is driven out of bounds without touching down it will be ruled a touchdown. I don't know if it was presented improperly or if this reporter heard it improperly. But in a clarification, this is only if a receiver is standing within the end zone, jumps to catch a ball, is driven out of the end zone, lands and maintains possession. So his feet at one point was in the end zone. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let me, um, so what this is though, is a, a bit of a, it's a, it's a an interpretation. Well, it's, a, it's a contradiction too, because let me just throw this as you're pulling that Brown. If I'm on the five-yard line and my feet are there, but then I ultimately have possession of the ball on the seven-yard line, they're going to mark it at the seven. No. Not right. if you catch the ball in the five and they're driven back to the no. seven. If your forward progress is deemed to have stopped at the five, yeah. you get the ball yeah, in the five. If, yeah, if yeah. I mean, progress all, is. All we're doing is doing, making it consistent with the end zone as we are in the field of play. Well, but here's what's interesting. I did not know this from Steve. The rule last year that we played all year with and years before that we didn't even know about, right? I don't know that I've ever seen this rule. If a guy's in the end zone, jumps, catches the ball, is driven out of the end zone and lands on his knees, that was ruled a touchdown. If he landed on his feet, it was not ruled a touchdown. That rule existed in college football, and we were unaware so of it. So if he landed on his knees like at the one or two. At the one or two, that was, was ruled a touchdown. He left the end zone, jumped, caught the ball, is driven out. What if he lands, lands on, on his, his knees? Um, knee, knees going to equal a butt, I bet. Butt, elbow, knees, all the same thing. But if he landed on his feet, not a touchdown. Not a touchdown, because I guess the way the rule worked, he could have still run into the end zone. Uh, this is going to be a super controversial rule. The way these things happen, when a rule's clarified like this, it gets challenged pretty quickly. So there'll be a big game where this is challenged, and the fans are not going to be aware of this rule, and they're going to go crazy. Like, oh, he never landed in the end zone, but that's the way the rule was. But it was just, I guess if you think through it, you know, and he was down when he landed on his knees, so they've just made it, hey, no matter what he lands on, it's a touchdown. I, I still have a difficult time making this rule make sense, though. Because I'm, I'm with what Harry said earlier in the chat room, I've never established possession until I come down on the ground. So, in theory, that's where the possession should start, right? But, but, but I'm right, though. If I'm going out and trying to catch a pass, let's say the 15 yard line is the yard to gain for a first down, uh -huh. and I jump and I catch the ball at the 14 yard line, and I'm driven back to the 16. And then my feet touch ground for the first time at the 16. Where are you marking the ball? Are you marking it at the 14 or the 16? I think they mark it at the 14. Because that's right where I went up yeah. and jumped, right? Yeah. So we're just making but, it more consistent so, on the field. So here's the thing, though. I mean, I have refereed one college game. I feel like that's the way I would call the call it. Okay, so so think through this with me. Let me just talk this through real quick. Okay. You hand the ball. Let's demonstrate it. We got right. room. You hand the ball to the runner in the field of play. He jumps, breaks the plane, never lands in the end zone. No part of his body touches in the end zone. That's touchdown, touchdown right? Touchdown, yeah. All right. So what they're ruling is the catch is not an official catch until you come to the ground and maintain possession. All right. Well, now that you've come to the ground and maintained possession, it was an official catch. So in the process of that catch, you broke the plane with the football. That's right. That's what they're ruling, yeah. right? Yeah. They, so it's, it's it a makes reverse, sense to me. It's but a I, reverse of diving into the end zone. But I always thought that was the rule. Yeah, as Brooks says. Well, it was on your knees, not on your feet. Basically, this is a forward progress breaking the plane rule. That's right. All in one motion. But you don't, you don't complete the catch until you come all the way to the ground and maintain possession. Right. So what they're saying is, all right, now they've come to the ground and maintain possession. The catch started on the other side of the plane, they've broken the plane already, so it's a touchdown. Boy, I hope we have better news at SEC Media Days. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that that to me sounds like 
That's right. That's the way I would no, have I, called I, it anyway. Yeah. I would have called it wrong if I'd been on the field and had to make that call. I would no have doubt. said, oh, that's a touchdown. Yeah. Well, he, he landed at the one it's on a, his feet. Like many, like many college football rules, there are a lot of rules that go into one play, right? And, you know, completing the catch is one rule, breaking the plane is another rule. you got to marry those up somehow. That's right. Those that's have right. to marry somehow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for that update You're welcome, there. welcome, Jim. You want the uh, scoreboard now? No, nah, let's push the British <laughs> right. Open leaderboard update because we need to get to Rockstar's four downs. It is time to do that today. Brought to you by our friends at Vulcan Tires. Vulcan Tires, five locations now. Pell City is on board, and we're rolling towards dominating the free world with Vulcan Tires. And look, just great guys. Uh, sent a uh, buddy of mine, Mick, came by to uh, see us on Monday and had an uh, issue with the tires. Sent him over to see the guys at Vulcan Tire and Automotive, locally owned and operated. As Dunaway mentioned, soon to be a fifth location in Pell City. For more information, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. First down. What is something that is almost impossible to look sexy doing? Blowing your nose. Okay. Eating corn on the cob. Eating corn on the cob is 100% one. Uh, drinking from a straw? I, you know, I'll go ahead and tell you, like, eating a hot dog with a lot of stuff on it. I mean, I, at, at the, not that I was trying to. Have you to not look. seen that viral video of the chick eating the hot dog, though? Uh, I was speaking to me specifically, but I, not that I was trying to look sexy the other night at the Barons game, but I went hot dog just with mustard. I left all the crowd and everything off because I knew I was going to be eating it around you guys. And I was like, well, you guys have seen me eat sloppy food before, but Taylor, Taylor's friends, the Walls family was there. Reed was there. I just like. How are you eating it? I didn't want to. Oh my God, how big was your hot dog? It was it was a big dog. Was it the one I got? It's a two-hander. Yeah, yeah, I will say it was not the easiest thing in the world to eat. Yeah, now, I thought uh, nothing about what he was thinking about because I was thinking this is a daggum good hot yeah. dog. Yeah, but I when really they told good. me everything on it, I was like, yeah. just give it to me naked, man. Just give it and to I'll me tell naked. you, I got it. Like uh, I saw somebody that I hadn't seen in a while, and I had to go talk to him in the middle of eating my hot dog. And all I was thinking during the conversation is, I want to get back and eat my hot dog. Mm. Uh, I, was it the one I had? It's a yeah, great hot dog. Yeah, it really is. Uh, me personally, I know there are some people that can, but I can't. I can't work out. I, I, I there's no way to look good working out for me because I am struggling are so you much. A, are like you a I can't watcher, do a, the guy that's in front of the mirror. No, I can't do a burpee and look sexy. I can't. I don't. I don't look sexy when I run because I'm struggling running. Um, I can't lift weights and look sexy because I have legs that are flailing everywhere trying to get the flailing, weight up, the bar, trying to get the bar yeah. up. Uh, there's just nothing sexy about me in the gym, so yeah, working is, out for me. This is good naked, bad naked, like opening a pickle jar bad naked from Seinfeld, right? Yeah, flailing. I, I want to watch you work out. No, but there, I mean, some people can look good working out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was just going by me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's that, uh, God, I forgot her name, and she's the one I always write to. No, uh, the Peloton instructor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, That's technically working out, yeah. What is her name? I don't know. Patrick's Second good. down. Patrick's got a good one. Sitting on the commode. Well, I don't know. There's some. I've seen oh. some pictures. What, what size do you look at again? Wow. <laughs> you see photos of people sitting wow. on the commode? Well, no, like there's, a famous, uh, there's a famous picture somewhere. I think it's an old Playboy. Was it Jenny McCarthy? Yeah, Jenny McCarthy did do it because she's crazy. I'm crass, yeah. and I'm, yeah. not, I'm yeah. not your typical girl. Well, she yeah. got on my nerves. Yeah, yeah. Kendall, Jonathan Perry is right. Um, hey, so if we had to look at somebody's Google history that would have the weirdest Google history on the show do you think it would be done away <laughs> mine's people's ages and net worths on this computer yeah. oh yeah. i have to look up porn stars and stuff like that for uh trivia, for stuff. So trivia? there's gonna be yeah. a bunch of stuff like what and we did talk about his search yesterday didn't we we talked about my search no 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 you were uh, like if you search for that you could find it oh yeah oh yeah the, the, the parking garage yes we yeah. were looking for that yesterday and <laughs> we weren't looking for it but lt don't, says don't well, i don't want to go into that i don't want to search it on the, on the computer and i was like it's our computers now. It's not like yeah. HR is going to walk in and fire you for searching for that on the computer. Second down. What is something you prefer to eat raw rather than cooked? Hot dogs. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah, I, did, I did that as a Vienna kid sausage. sometimes. I know you did that you know, sometimes. I like being a sausage. Oh, I guess that's the same thing. No, no I water. took tuna definitely, 100. I, I don't like seafood really, but I love tuna. And you like it raw. That I like is, it raw. Tuna is what I go to when I'm at um, sushi places or salmon. I Ta do one Taco of Mama, the tuna, like yeah. get it in the bowl. It is unbelievable. Um, but you you have to cook tuna for tuna salad, though, see? And I like tuna salad. You like a tuna salad sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot. I went to the uh, commissary this morning, and, and I, I created the line downstairs because mm -hmm. I couldn't scan the bar mm -hmm. code. 
because I was getting a chicken salad sandwich, the last one. How long do you think that thing's been in there? You bought a sandwich from the I got a drink vodka at 1 o'clock. I got to absorb, <laughs> absorb some liquor. Uh, DoorDash would have helped. I, I say cookie dough. I enjoy cookie, cookie dough. Cookie dough is amazing. Yeah. But, but cookies are just as nice. I like it better cook, but, though, but yeah. yeah, can't you get worms from that? Like if they have eggs, raw eggs in them. Yeah. Or if you're a dog. Um... I really couldn't think of one. I like most of my stuff cooked. I mean, I mean sushi, but I don't, I'm not, but fish, I like fish that's cooked too, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, I like a raw tomato, you know, just a sliced tomato. Yeah. I don't like those. In fact, yeah. I do not like them when they're stewed tomatoes or whatever you do they with get the tomatoes. Slimy, don't but they? you know, yeah. a, an apple is better baked. Um, yeah, like uh, like apple pie. Yeah. You mean? yeah. Well, I mean, it's got a bunch of sugar and stuff on it when you know, bake it, but. but. But underrated I'll tell you, bananas are good in pudding. Like if oh, I if if we're so like gonna dice some potatoes and you know put them in the oven or something, I'll go by and I'll throw a couple of raw potatoes in my mouth. Oh, I God. enjoy that. You oh, don't like you a raw kidding? potato? Oh, you don't like a raw <laughs> potato? No. Oh man, you, you never lived till you put a little How salt on a raw is potato. a raw yeah, tomato? It's pretty crazy. That's a toothbreaker. How about the people that eat raw onions? Oh, you know, I and if, I, you, if you're from the country, you know this. Um, there was, you know, a time in my life that the meal, the meal of the night would be a plate full of big butter beans, slice of cornbread, slice of purple onion, slice of tomato. That was the meal. That was I'll, dinner. I'll take the cornbread. I'm out. You're out on the rest. Yeah. I mean, there's I mean, big... butter beans I probably would oh, eat. Oh, butter beans are phenomenal. I mean, I don't even see those butter beans anymore, but those big yeah. butter beans that were about that size, they're all in there, and you have that, what is it, ham hock that's oh, cooked in there. Done away. My great northern beans. Do you like great northern beans? My grandmother yeah, used to It probably tastes the same. Yeah. But it just looks different. With a freaking ham hock in there and some yeah. cornbread. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Third down. What was ruined because too many people started doing it? This is going to be weird for me, but uh, the on-cloud shoe, I've never had any, and um, I was actually... A guy was trying to sell me some yesterday, and I'm like, I can't wear them. Everybody's got a pair of on clouds. Like out on the street, he was trying to sell. No, no, no. I was it. I uh, so that, you, you know the re- place. Did you give thought to that though? Like, oh, everybody's got. Yeah, them. really. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I, I'm going to say over the next year to five years, people doing what we're doing now. I've enjoyed the last year of being. I better not ruin it. <laughs> I've I've enjoyed being sort of, you know, not that we're the first to do it. I'm just sort of being us being unique and i feel like everybody will be doing this in the next five yeah, years it, well if they do because like people have done this before but not exactly the way we do this yeah, you know uh the difference though they'll be doing it for a major corporation and we'll be doing it for us yeah but i'll be flattered if people do it Absolutely. this way yeah I, I in a lot of ways social media rockstar like i think the concept of facebook was really good but um we, we probably needed a little better gatekeepers on facebook First of all, I agree with Lance. I just looked it up. I do see those shoes everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Tell, yeah. A lot I of people have them. Everywhere. I see, I, I, the mini meteorologist is married to Jay Pear, right? That's right, yes. Yeah. I think him and I get along. No, I think you would yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never got to hang out. He interned with he us He interned at Jogs. Yeah, but not for our show. Oh, no, no. no. Yeah. Right before us. Yeah. Well, I think he stuck around some one time. He was the person that was holding Barker's door on his way out. Everybody back! Everybody back! <laughs> Get out! Dude. Autom- automatic start. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, but I'm saying I'm nine fifty eight. We're gonna I've clear never the area. gotten to hang out with it. Kitchens, can you uh, hit that uh, montage. montage rollout? <laughs> and you just you just walk away and leave it for Rockstar. If you don't mind. <laughs> there was a montage once a week, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, once a week, yeah. Rockstar would walk into a completely empty studio and he'd be like, "What? What's what's going on here?" And well, there was a, ten minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> and, and oh, by the way, it's not going to time out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fourth down. I just thought of this last night. I don't know why. You have to be booked in jail by 9 p.m. tonight. What are you doing to get there? I, I really couldn't think of anything, Rockstar. I mean, eh, it could be public intox for me. But yeah. how, do you get, how do you get there? Like, you got to taunt a cop? Like, how do you, you got to get noticed somehow to be booked? Oh, I've got to be. Uh, I, th- yeah, you're I thought booked. you were telling me that I've got to be at the jail at 9 no, no. to start serving my sentence. What am I going to do to no. lead up to that time? No, I'm so going to need a meal. If you assault a cop, you're in trouble. Like, yeah. you guys are like, well, something I can do that's minor, though. Put me in jail for, like, a couple hours, and then I'll get let go. Something that wouldn't yeah, I, I really, I, could, I couldn't uh, think of being. Yeah, I think public intox yeah, would be public the way to intox, go. Yeah. But how are you going to? Are you going to just like try to no like in front of police? So I've got a dinner downtown tonight after our specialty show. Well, okay. you, have, you have a schedule today. I do. God, I'm glad I got a lot of sleep last night too. Oh, I what know. time did we get in? Uh, I dropped you off around midnight. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I got a dinner downtown, so I could probably 
run across the street, see a cop, yell a couple of yeah. things. Yeah. I'd be out in a couple of hours. I'll tell you hours. what it will not, not be for Lance is a DUI. That dude is no. not going to drive. No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I would um, I would say just do what we did coming back from the 2012 National Championship. Get a little tipsy, get off the tour bus, and throw a full beer can at a, at a traffic, uh, not a traffic light, but a, a street light. That was coming back. Yeah, that was after we did that appearance in Huntsville. Huntsville. Yeah. Oh, it was Huntsville. Yeah. I thought it was coming back from Miami. Yeah. Didn't we t- randomly? We took a bus. We took a limo sometime. Do you guys remember that? Was that not the Huntsville trip? We were in a limo or something like that? Maybe it, one time, but we took a yeah. bus the time that I threw the uh, beer at the light. Yeah. yeah, it was a party bus up to Huntsville, I think. Yeah. And, and and it partied back home. And we Lance was like, I bet I could take out that street light with a beer. Like, Lance, you can't do that. And I mean, by the time we got it out of our mouth, that beer was exploding <laughs> on that street light. But you know, the crazy the street light did it, 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 the street light did it bust? Yeah. I think so, yeah. It, it never well, worked I mean, again. It probably and was still, not working before. But. Yeah, still wasn't repaired. No, it was working when he hit it. As of a year ago, it was still not working. Yeah. That's our uh, four downs today brought to you by Vulcan Tires. Uh, four great locations, soon to be a fifth in Pell City. Get a look at the brake pads, wheel alignment, tires, and more locally owned and operated. For more information, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. If you're audio only and you're not watching the Open, we'll do a leaderboard update. It is an interesting start to the 150th British Open over at St. Andrews. We'll do that when we come back. Rockstar's venue, viewing menu and a lot more. And uh, Forrester is keeping an eye on Big 12 Media Days. So when something happens there of note that doesn't involve a confusing rule change in tweet, uh, he'll pass that along to us as well as the show is being brought to you in part today by our friends at Nichols Outfitters. Nichols Outfitters getting you ready not just for the rest of the summer, but also rolling into the fall. And fishing, man. If you haven't seen their fishing department in a while, you need to go check it out. You will not recognize the place. All the brands, Ducket Fishing, 13 Fishing, Rapala Lures, True Bass, Shimano, Daiwa Fishing, Sixth Sense Fishing, everything you've been asking for, and a new fishing department, Nichols Outfitters, I-65, right there in Pelham. All the stories important to us are in one place. Catch the morning rounds each weekday at nextroundlive.com. Let's face it, a home is one of the most powerful assets you can have, and our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today and start living. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. Summer means cookouts and spending time with the family and friends in the backyard. Ryan Brown here. Nothing can ruin a party like mosquitoes. Wayne's environmentally safe Mosquito Plus solution safely and effectively eliminates mosquitoes. Plus, they provide protection against fleas and ticks, helping keep your outdoor entertainment spaces safe, comfortable, and pest-free for your family and your four-legged family members. Wayne's has turned my backyard oasis into my happy place. They can do the same for you. Give them a call, 866-WAYNES1 or callwaynes.com. Summer of 2022, it's time to do something new. Ocean City, Maryland. And our friends at Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City is ready to welcome you. Kayak from Bayside Beach, swim in the Atlantic, dine at Bayview Bar and Grill, local golf packages, great restaurants, and a lot more. See everything online at residenceinnoc.com. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Do something different this summer. Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City, Maryland. Witness history at the closing ceremonies of the World Games with an all-star celebration featuring Alabama's favorite son, Lionel Richie, performing at home for the first time in decades. Joined by Alabama, Jamie Johnson, Bo Bice, Taylor Hicks, Blind Boys of Alabama, Pastor Mike Jr., Ruben Stutter, Young Blue, Martha Reeves, and Worth the Wait. An epic celebration. The closing ceremonies of the World Games at Protective Stadium July 17th. Tickets are limited and going fast. Get yours now at TWT2022.com. When it comes to choosing a dentist, two things are critical, trust 
and comfort. Ryan Brown here from the next round. It's why I tell you about Stone Creek Dental Care. Dentist owned and operated and Stone Creek Dental Care is the Southeast premier provider of comprehensive dental care with more than 20 locations including Birmingham, Chattanooga, Huntsville, Trustville, and Montgomery. Stone Creek Dental Care is able to provide a level of quality care you will not find anywhere else. From your basic cleaning to restorative dentistry, cosmetics, and endodontics, Stone Creek Dental Care covers a wide and comprehensive range of dental services for patients of any age. Stone Creek Dental Care's mission is to provide the highest quality dental care to every single patient in an environment that exemplifies the highest ethical, personal, compassionate, and professional standards, and to provide the best patient experience possible. Stone Creek Dental Care is currently accepting new patients at all locations, and new patients get a free Chick-fil-A gift card at your first appointment. So visit StoneCreekDentalCare.com to find a location nearest you. StoneCreekDentalCare.com. Major League Baseball, the NBA, when the time is right, we may do a little Canadian football too. There's always some action for you at Lance'sLog.com where we have my top picks for you in every league every single day. All it takes, $3 a day. $90 monthly subscriptions get you everything. No confusing packages or any shadiness. It's all simple and 100% transparent. Try it out and win with me. Go to Lance'sLog.com. There's a free play every single day. Again, online, all your winners every day. Go to Lance's log.com. The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Payton Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's Trackman Driving Range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. Won't read any of the responses over in the uh, chat room, but three former interns, including Lunsford, over there uh, re- remembering being interns over at our old location. I, I forgot about some of that stuff about the uh, throwing the quarters on the. Uh, no, I, that's, it's my takeaway. Yeah, I remember. I remember it now. I don't I'm, remember that. Uh, well, we never saw it, but it was a pretty regular thing. You had to walk past the vending machine. Uh. Yep. I do remember to that. To give quarters to somebody to get a drink for you. Uh, to go back I, to the vending machine you just go, passed. I just walked past it here. Get me a Mountain Dew. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, now. wow. Right. I yep. don't remember that. Every week. I was told that happened all the time. All right. Part of the show is being brought to you by New Life Art. They bring you Rockstar's viewing menu uh, every day. And remember the Crimson Connection, the great print with Bryce Young. They've got that NIL deal. He has signed that uh, great work from Daniel A. Moore. Uh, for more information, DanielMoreArt.com, our friends at New Life Art. Uh, I'm going to give you 6 p.m. on MGM tonight. Lance, if you can nail this one, I'm going to give you credit. I'm going to give you the name of the uh, description of the movie. A tough Alabama cop is blackmailed by the FBI into going undercover in a violent Mississippi biker gang. Stone Cold. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Is that right? Starring who? Uh, Brian Bosworth and Lance Hendrickson. Yeah. It is 1988. No. Uh, 91, I believe. Let's see if I can find the picture. So the Boz was in a movie. Was it, He's got they, a great haircut. They didn't film it here in Alabama, did they? Uh, uh, maybe a little bit. Really? Yeah, I think it's 1988, Rocky. Wow. I didn't know. Uh, I was Boz out of the league in 88? No, he was still. Oh, I was at 91. Okay. I stand corrected on the uh, the year. Brian Bosworth. He this jumps. Gold. Hey, a motorcycle oh. comes out of the courtroom. You remember that? Yes, but I, was gonna, I wish I could play the trailer because it is so over the top. It's over the top. I actually went and saw that in the theater. I, I rented it on VHS. Yeah, pull pull that back up, Rockstar. Um, the that's for Barkley. Later. Oh, <laughs> that's for Barkley later. Uh, I mean, a little Patrick Swayze, Swayze uh-huh, I can and see Brian that. Bosworth. I don't disagree with you, Jim. Yeah, yeah. And yeah I like I like bit. how in the credits he's Mr. Brian Bosworth. Yeah. Not just Brian Bosworth. So the Boz didn't, his acting career didn't take no, off? No, that, that was one and done for him. Yeah. I, I can't remember anything else. Look at him on the Capitol in Jackson. Just <laughs> at, just all the, uh, the chaos. 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 It really is. Oh, cold. If, if it had white uh, Blackhawks in, it would have been Blackhawk down. <laughs> right there. Who was the girl in that, though? Uh, oh, please say. He stole, he stole her from the biker gang. Please say it's Sandra Bullock. 
Arabella Holzbog. Yeah, oh, yeah, she hadn't done a lot. The Arabella yeah. Holzbog. William Forsythe was in it. I forgot that. Oh, well, looks like she's in a uh, yeah, uh, an interesting that. scene there in the video on the right. She's, right? she's right. in her uh, rim cycle, right? <laughs> yeah. So, All right, there you go. That's her from 300 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also tonight, <laughs> 9:30 on True TV. There's a new show called 101 Places to Party Before You Die. Accidental travel host. Adam Pally and John Gabris are given family-sanctioned three-day weekend escapes to venture across the United States to different destinations and experience everything they have to offer. The first episode is in Denver. So I guess you get a three-day stay in the best places in all these cities, and that's their job. 101 yeah. places to party before that, you die. That's actually the job I wanted before this. What? So from, from acting, uh, you know, wanted to be an actor, and then I came back. And I sent a bunch of videos to entertainment television of me interviewing people. I swear I was doing local TV, and I think the show was on. I was at either in college or it was right when I was out. There was a call, a show. There was a girl named Jules Asner. Yeah, Jules Asner. I remember that. And yeah. then Art Man took over for her. But that's what I wanted to do. But when Jules Asner did it, and I would watch that show. It was like a 30-minute show, and the internet wasn't huge yet. And I would watch that show, and I'd be like, what a great job. You'd Best pay her to go on vacation, and she would go to these great places around the world, and she had a crew, and she'd just walk around. The best thing to do when you're in Mikos is to go to this restaurant, blah, 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 blah. And she'd have dinners and drinks, yeah. and she'd be out dancing. Then she's at the pool the next day and at the beach and on a yacht. And I was like, my God, that's the job you want right yeah. there. What do was you, the name of that? Do you guys well, I remember, but even I I knew, it. Even, even I knew when I was watching it, I was like, I don't have the personality yeah. for that. <laughs> I just did that before Art. Harry typed it in the chat room. So, so Art Man, <laughs> so when, when HD just came out, like in the early 2000s, they had HD TV, uh, that, that channel, Mark Cuban's channel. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it was wild on with Art Man. And he yeah. would go to all of these crazy things. Um, and he would, uh, I mean, he would party with them. Yeah. It just looked like a, so I guess it was wild on. With on Jules uh, Asner, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. That, that's what it was. Wild on with Jules Asner. I remember it. Yeah, I do too. And, God, I had a crush. I love how you called it entertainment television because that's what it was called before they yeah. just went to ETV. And Brooke Burke took over. Yeah, yep, Brooke Burke. I remember that. Yep. But yeah, that was to me, in my opinion, at one time, the best I job of the world. I had forgotten all about that show until you just brought it up. Wild yeah. on. I used to watch yep. that. I remember I went to a, uh, um, a widespread show and interviewed people. It was one of the tapes I sent. And uh, our buddy uh, LT from Atex was there. And these two dudes, these hippies I was, I was interviewing, they were like, that guy's a cop. He's an undercover cop. <laughs> yeah. Boy, an LT. I mean, Wild Owen would have been the forerunner to Girls Gone Wild, right? I mean, that was probably, uh, it, was, it, was, it was basically a cleaner version of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know if I meant forerunner. I just meant a cleaner version yeah. of that. Yeah. It, yeah. They, I, I was down at the beach when, when uh, the Girls Gone Wild thing was going on. And those guys, you would see the camera come in the bar. And they had, um, they had their, um, what am I looking for? Attorney. I would hope. No, their uh, authorization where you would sign. Yeah, a release. consent form. The yeah, release. consent form. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so these girls, you know, blackout drunk, they're signing yeah, these releases. Well, you also yeah. got a T-shirt. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a hat, Rockstar, yeah. if you really got into it. And you got to be on a video. Yeah. <laughs> that's, on, <clears throat> that's what's on tonight. Is that what's on tonight? <laughs> Lawsuits pending. All right. Uh, time for a leaderboard update brought to you by Vulcan Tire over at the British Open. Uh, Brown explained to me that Lynx's, true Lynx courses, are the pieces of land that link the city to the ocean or mm -hmm. a body of water. I didn't understand why we called it Lynx. That's why it links yeah. the city to the sea. Uh, Cameron Young navigated the Lynx quite well at St. Andrews. Eight under par today, 64 for the American. Gives him a two-shot lead over the guy I picked, Roy McElroy, 66. Rory in his first round at St. Andrews, normally very, very good, by the way. Cam Smith, the Australian, at five under par. Uh, best round going on the course right now is Scotty Scheffler. The Masters champ is at four under par. What a year he's having. 10. He is having a heck of a year. But if I was rating golfers, I'd probably, if I had a ranking system, I'd ha probably have him number one in the world. Number one in the world? Yes. Um, the, as is customary here, the afternoon wave getting a little bit tougher weather than the morning wave. So the score is quite a bit higher right now. But they expect that to balance out tomorrow when they well, flip flop yeah, the Yeah, the schedule. afternoon guys play morning tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Tiger is uh, not playing well, trying to get a birdie here, Oof. but plus four through, is that five holes? Yeah, this through five number holes. Six. He, he got an awful break on number one, made double bogey, and just really has not recovered. He's plus four through four, but he's hoping to turn that around. Yeah. Um, obviously, he'll need to. Is he on 13? Did he start on the back? 
No, no, no. Okay. Everybody starts on one. Yep. Uh-huh. It's, it's the old course. Nobody starts on the back, Jim. The, what ba- it, the back's like a mile from the – two miles from the clubhouse. <laughs> what, for one day, yeah. what a dumb question that was, Jim. I mean, the, the one thing about it is it stays daylight until like 1030 at night there. I mean, they can play. You which can I play would love. all day. Which I would love. Yeah, it's nuts. What is the temp well, the in the 60s? Stinks. That's probably pretty – yeah, pretty cold. Everybody's in sleeves. Your uh, boy JT was in uh, Joggers. You did not get to see it earlier. I wondered uh, – did Scott have it? Scott texted us something. So he yeah. wore joggers in his round? He did. Yeah, there you go. This is it right here. Yeah, he wore joggers. Yep. Justin, Th- the tweet is from, from someone that says, Justin Thomas uh, should join the Live Tour if he's going to wear those playing golf. Yeah. Now, I think they're probably not sweatpants. I'm, I would imagine yeah. they're more like, you know, normal trousers, but they are the jogger cut. Yeah, I mean, I like joggers, but I wouldn't wear them St. Andrews. You wouldn't? What would no. you wear? I mean, I'd wear a pant. Wife beater. He'd probably have it under his golf shirt. Yep. And I told you I was going to do the uh, the specialty show the other night with just wife beater. Do it. You got a chance this afternoon. Might do it. With the, yeah, throw axe with a wife yeah. beater. You think anybody's done that before? <laughs> yeah. In fact, I bet you don't stand out. <laughs> <laughs> Four to five, Axe downtown, oh. trustful later today with our friends at Hemp Hill. He's a pro. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from him. Yeah. Don't let him take your quarters. All right. We roll on here. When we come back, uh, we'll jump back to Big 12 Media Days. Mike Gundy and others have a thought about the expansion in the Big 12, what's going on there, and more college football news as uh, we get ready for SEC Media Days on the other side. That leaderboard update was brought to you by Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Yeah, four great locations, soon to be a fifth location. Anything you need bumper to bumper for you and your family, they can handle locally owned and operated. For more information, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. And also up next, we do our 40 and 40 today. We're at number 31. Make room for the Hawkeyes from Iowa next on the next round. Follow John Lunsford on Twitter at JLunts. Hey parents, is your son or daughter moving to Tuscaloosa this fall? Consider investing versus paying thousands in apartment rent. Lance Taylor here to tell you about our friend Tyler Bigby. Tyler is an award-winning realtor that helps parents find properties to save them thousands. Tyler also specializes in game day condos and residential homes. Find out today why Tyler is rated number one by RateMyAgent.com for Tuscaloosa County. Call 205-826-6476 for Tyler Bigby, the Advantage Realty Group. Once again, 205-826-6476. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Done building your family? A vasectomy is a safe, simple, effective option for birth control. When it was my time to take the snip, I used my friends at Urology Centers of Alabama. And there's no better time for a vasectomy. It's a great reason to be off your feet and be on the couch during the game with the wife's approval. It's a quick in-office procedure covered by most insurances. Urology Centers of Alabama. 16 convenient locations. Call 205-922-SNP. That's 205-922-7647. Summer of 2022, it's time to do something new. Ocean City, Maryland. And our friends at Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City is ready to welcome you. Kayak from Bayside Beach, swim in the Atlantic, dine at Bayview Bar and Grill, local golf packages, great restaurants, and a lot more. See everything online at residenceinnoc.com. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Do something different this summer. Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City, Maryland. 
Things fall apart. There's even a book about it. But that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Right have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Right's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting mortgageright.com TNR and MLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Hey, if you're looking for Birmingham's best pizza, you need to stop in and see our friends at Slice Pizza and Brew. It's as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap. For a great lunch or dinner, go see our friends today, Vestavia or Lakeview at Slice. Stay up to date with the next round on the website, nextroundlive.com. The latest videos from the show, plus podcasts like The Mystery Fifth Hour, Bama and Bourbon, Last Call, and others from our Double Down Media podcast family. You can start your day with the latest college football stories, plus easy to listen to hour-by-hour hour downloads of the live show. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or shop in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. Georgia won the 2021 National Championship. Alabama won the SEC title. The road back to the ATL starts next week in Atlanta with SEC Media Days, and the next round will be there live. Our coverage daily is presented by Precision Sports Medicine, also by Tommy James Law, Culver's, Wayne's Pest Control, and Dr. Pepper. The kickoff to the college football season starts Monday live in Atlanta on the next round. Okay, part of our show today is being brought to you by Rockstar's guy, Adam Mestre. I will let him tell you about Adam in just a second. But a uh, an interesting thing happening in the NBA. The Knicks and the Jazz reportedly are talking about a trade with Donovan Mitchell that would send Mitchell multiple teams changing draft picks and such and players but Mitchell would ultimately end up with the New York Knicks. Well, look, he is, uh, he's an elite player. And the Knicks, that's what they don't have on the roster right now is an elite player. I just don't understand why Utah, um, I guess Mitchell's just not happy in Salt Lake City. They traded Gobert, yep. who was with Utah. They're dumping all their veteran players and getting young players draft pick and saving money is what it looks like. Yeah, but, you know, if I'm a Utah Jazz fan, and that's a great fan base. Mm -hmm. uh, Gobert, I, I can deal without him. You can find rim protectors, you know, that are scoring 10 points a game. I mean, he demanded way too much of a salary. So I understand why you get rid of, uh, of, of him, but uh, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. Big loss. Before we go back to the Big 12 and then do our 40 and 40, Rockstar, tell us about your guy. It's Adam Mestre at MD Realty. Of all the almost 4,000 agents in the Birmingham area that have recorded a sale in 2022, Adam is in the top 8% of said agents. Adam is a third-generation realtor born and raised in Birmingham, so he knows the area. You want a guy like Adam to find a house for you. Why rent when you could buy? Buying a home is the largest financial decision you will make, so make sure you are using an agent that you can trust to help walk you through the process. Call Adam Mastray for a free home evaluation at 205-422-0589 or visit mdrealtyllc.com. At MD Realty, we make house calls. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I told you uh, some more Big 12 updates. Um, Brent Venables has the podium today, and um, – um, truthfully, sounding a little bit like Butch Jones early on here. Uh -oh. you ready? How young our team is. Oklahoma's Brent Venables pointing out that 40% of Oklahoma's, Oklahoma's players this year will have never played it down for Oklahoma. Never been on a plane. I mean, my gosh, they've barely gotten out of the town they grew up in. You know, Sark said this the other day, too, talking about his Longhorns. Is everybody yelling young. at the Big 12 yeah, this year? That's, that's, to me, that's annoying. Well, I, I, to I me, really, it's college football. Everybody's yeah. young, it seems like. I mean, at least 25% every year, right? Well, yeah, I mean, at least. Normally, yeah. the stats would show that, but, I mean, how many guys play right away now? I mean, more and more guys play right away. Young is less and less of an excuse to me. Oh, by the way, uh, I, I, I had set a trend earlier. Every every team throws the ball more than they run. So our buddy Brooks um, sent you Army. Uh, he, he sent me. Uh, and, of it's course, true. I've screwed up my computer here. Yeah, oh, I got it. Oh, what are you talking about, the uh, run to pass? Yeah, he did All the right, run to so pass breakdown for us of every team it. in the SEC. You got it? Uh, I do have it back. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Alabama. Passed more than it ran, 571 to 548. And, and, and one real quick thing. Some of those rushes are pass plays that broke, especially for Bryce Young last year, even though he was very patient, but he got a lot of pressure. So you wonder called plays 
you know, what this is like, but that is very close to 50-50. Going alphabetically, you don't have to go far to break my trend. Arkansas, 314 passes, 588 rushes. I think that, though, is a misconception about the Bryles offense is that it just throws it all over yeah. the field. They they run the football in that offense. Auburn threw the ball slightly more than they ran, 455 to 443. Florida ran the ball. Florida ran the ball more hey, than Mullen. they. Yeah, 416 Again, to 495. You're talking about some mobile quarterbacks in Jefferson and with Florida with Richards. Yeah, go to that next uh, team. You Georgia, wanna... <laughs> yes. 407 passes, 545 runs. Yeah, that's Kirby. Kentucky, 366 passes, 496 yeah, and, runs. And, 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 so really – uh, more people run the ball than they yeah, throw the ball. It's 60-40 yeah. the other way. Yeah, but but I mean, with Kentucky, and I want you to get Mississippi State too because yeah. that one's crazy. But Kentucky, um, you know, if you've got the quarterback a lot of people think you have, how much does that number need to change? 366 to 496. It's got to be more balanced. It's got to be 50-50. I, I mean, you're going to have to throw more if you've got that guy. Uh, I mean, that's – but the extreme is even bigger for Tennessee. They were 376 passes, 577 running the ball. Now, a lot of that's Hendon Hooker runs, but mm-hmm. – you know, 376 to 577. The, the Mississippi State number from Brooks that uh, Brown wants, uh, Mike Leach air raid, 704 passes, 271 runs. His run plays are pass plays. I mean, he, he has shorter pass plays that are basically their run play. They're not going to line up and hand the football off to most anyone. Forster's got it up now. The one I think that would surprise a lot of people that just don't pay close enough attention is Lane Kiffin's number. 429 passes, 588 rushes. Lane is another guy that a lot of people just talk about how he likes to throw it all over the yard. He's always been dedicated to running the football, yeah. always. I, I would guarantee if we did this exercise in the Pac-12, it would flip the other way. It would flip the passes to 60 run? 60 to 40, yeah. All right, let's do our spotlight today. It's not in the Pac-12. It's a Big Ten team. It's Iowa, and it's brought to you by our friends at Baumhauer's. It's our 40 and 40 countdown, our preseason top 40 rankings voted on by you, the viewer and listener. And speaking of the number 40, uh, Bob Baumhauer and Baumhauer's Victory Grill, they are celebrating 40 years right here in the state of Alabama. Bama. Bob Baumhauer, the first to bring the delicious taste of wings to the state back in 1981. And they are celebrating with a, an inflation sucks menu. Their featured item this week, the tailgate burger. It's a one third pound grind burger, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, white bun, curly Q fries served medium well, only $7.99. Go easy on your wallet. Try their limited time inflation sucks menu, lunch or dinner, Baumhauer's Victory Grill. Our Baumhauer's 40 and 40 team today, number 31, the Iowa Hawkeyes. And you have to to start at quarterback and i don't know if they have a good one or not yeah spencer petrus was just okay last year you look at the numbers um i can't remember the last time you had a uh an elite quarterback i remember drew tate way back in the day seemed like he was going to be that guy and never really progressed um i i, I don't know how they do it 10 wins last year um they've got 14 returning starters they do have one of the best linebackers he was second in tackles in college football last year and jack campbell coming back for his junior year one of the best players in america yeah yeah, yeah really really good uh so kirk ferentz has been there for 23 seasons that's incredible isn't it how many back-to-back double digit win seasons well i i'm looking at it i, so I would I, guess I, one i haven't seen it yeah it, it is well, one and it was a three-year span from right. 2002 to 2004 but pretty amazing how the ups and downs but you know, consistently, I would say he's an eight-win coach. Yeah, because he's got that four and eight in 2012, Lance. And once he got things turned around, it was a slow start for him, one and ten, three and nine. But once he got it turned around, that's the only losing season that he's had. I mean, I, I, I that's another job that Hayden Fry, when I was a kid, seemed like he had a pretty good team. They went to the Rose Bowl, some it felt like. I think maybe Kirk Ferentz has made us forget how difficult the job Iowa can be. Yeah, and how good will it, will it be when he leaves? Yeah. Maybe not very good at all. But but they stay on brand. When I think of Iowa, I never think offense. I think about home field advantage with the weather and the grass and defense, defense, yep. defense. And that's the way it will be this year. And you, you start to look at the schedule. They can be favored nine games. I've got them going seven and five personally. I think they take a couple of steps back. But again, 14 returning starters – very uh, forgiving schedule, and I think they're going to be favored in eight or nine games. The one thing that has become uh, under Kirk Ferentz and Matt Campbell, that Cyhawk game, feels like must-see football every year. And that's crazy to say that Iowa, Iowa State would be must-see football week two right there in Kinnick Stadium. It's yep. almost a bellwether game for both those teams right and now. It's always fun, Brown, because it's not lost on rivalry weekend. That's so right. That makes it really a lot of fun. That's Iowa at number 31. 
in our Baumhauer's 40 and 40 countdown. Yeah, look, uh, Baumhauer's has got you covered with their most affordable menu options. It's the limited time inflation sucks menu. Go easy on your wallet. Stop in for lunch or dinner. They're celebrating 40 years at Baumhauer's Victory Grill. Um, Oklahoma State defensive coordinator's name is? Nope. Anybody? It was Jim Knowles it last was Jim year. Knowles he last left year. to go. He left to go to Ohio State. He was the Broyles Award winner, best oh. coach of the country last year. Oh. Sounds like you're telling me history. Who's the uh, you history, defensive Jim. coordinator at Oklahoma State right now? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Bobby Young. I will tell you that he spent a lot of time in our state last year. Kevin Steele. Nope. K. Ivy. I don't know, Jeff. Who is it? Derek Mason. That's right. I'd forgotten he left Auburn for Oak State. I remember he left Auburn, but I forgot he went to Oak State. Yep. Because it didn't happen immediately, if you remember. He left Auburn, and it wasn't like the next day he was introduced at Oak State. That's right. So he's replacing Knowles. And I heard Gundy on an interview on Sirius XM. I believe it was with uh, Dave Archer, Big 12 Network, yesterday at the Big 12 Media Days. Gundy said what they have done is they have kept – all of Jim Knowles terminology because they have so many players back mm -hmm. and it took, he said three years to get the defense moving in the right direction. So Mason agreed when he came in, we will maybe tweak a couple of things to Mason's liking, but all the terminology will stay exactly the same. And he said, we did the same thing back when Holgerson left on offense. Uh, we, we try to keep our offensive of uh, terminology the same because of continuity. And uh, so Derek Mason will be using all the Jim Knowles term terminology with just a few Mason tweaks. Well, look, if they can replicate what they did last year defensively, I mean, in the Big 12 where you think offense, 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 they gave up only 16.8 points per game. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, and those are Big 12 points, too. Those are like dog years. Yeah. No, another point was made um, – uh, Budden, I remember, is it Chris Budden? Uh, she covers yeah, yeah. Uh, the. Yeah. She lives in Big Twelve country. She's a Missouri grad, but she it was Big Big Eight, Big Twelve back then. Uh, she made a point that the perception of the Big Twelve is like exactly what LT just said. You don't think defense, but you think about what it is now. This Big Twelve, uh, Venables is the head coach at Oklahoma. Dave Aranda and Baylor won with defense. No Oklahoma doubt. State was a defensive team they were last there year. Because of defense, right? Iowa State runs it and plays defense. It's more, it's more of a run it defensive league now than it's ever been in its existence. Well, and that's why it's going to be fascinating with Sarkeesian moving forward because he's getting skill guys. He's got skill guys this year. Yep. When we come back, uh, we'll talk more college football with you guys. And uh, in fact, Connor O'Gara has our top read today at uh, the morning rounds. Uh, he says it's going to be hard for you to make any money betting on the national championship futures in college football. That's his top read today. We'll talk more about what we're expecting when we get over to SEC Media Days. That's all straight ahead right here on the next round being brought to you in part today by our friends at Willie's Pressure Washing. Man, when you're looking for a way to make your house look better, just look first to the concrete, to the to the sidewalk, to the driveway, to uh, maybe the pool, the deck, the roof. Willie's can take care of it. Yeah, Blake and Connor came out a couple of months ago to my house. It looks fantastic. If you need to get your home business or financial investment looking brand new again, call the team at Willie's Pressure Washing. They're able to offer a variety of power and soft washing options tailored to your unique needs from residential and commercial spaces to industrial equipment and beyond. They've got the right equipment technicians to clean your dirtiest messes. Cleaning your patio, driveway, windows, and home exterior can be a back-breaking chore. You don't want to waste time doing it. Let the team at Willie's Pressure Washing do the hard work for you. Call them today, 205-963-2000. That's 205-963-2000, and tell them the next round sent you. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. If you're looking for a fun golf atmosphere that is laid back with a peaceful environment, the Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280, is perfect for you. Just a short drive from Birmingham, this 18-hole, 200-acre track with rolling fairways and ample greens is the definition of peacefulness of the country just miles from the city. Enjoy a great lunch before your round and a cocktail on the wraparound porch after 18. Come see us today, the Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280.
Summer is here, and that means it's moving season. Whether you are looking for the perfect home or you need to sell yours, Holly Mack Wilson can do it all. Call Holly Mack Wilson today, 205-901-9446, and let her work for you. Holly Mack Wilson, your dream home expert, 205-901-9446. That's 205-901-9446. Holly Mack Wilson, a trusted Tuscaloosa Keller Williams realtor you can always depend on. Hey, if you're looking for Birmingham's best pizza, you need to stop in and see our friends at Slice Pizza and Brew. It's as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap for a great lunch or dinner. Go see our friends today, Vestavia or Lakeview at Slice. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at Hydra Live Therapy. IV therapy treatments are packed with nutrients to increase energy, reduce stress and anxiety, and boost your immune system and more. If you mention the next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. You can join the IV League today. Members are rewarded with deep discounts. Make sure you ask about that. Hydro Life Therapy opens seven days a week. Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. Summer is here, and with that comes some great occasions that may require flowers or a great gift. For that, the answer is Blakely's Bouquets. Blakely's provides speedy, same-day delivery. Check them out online at blakelysbouquets.com, or you can order over the phone at 205-579-4900. Blakely's is right there in Homewood, just off Oxmoor Road. Friendly folks in the most unique and custom designs. See it all online at blakelysbouquets.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at One Man in a Toolbox. One Man in a Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in a Toolbox, they've got a background to help you with almost any project. I've used them multiple times at my home. Give them a call today. Get that free estimate, 205-823-2111. That's 205-823-2111 or online, One man in a toolbox.com the next round store is live and loaded check out the latest logo t-shirts and hoodies get your favorite team colors the next round flag shirt or grab the popular y'all can have the rest t-shirts go to next round dot store that's next round dot store Start your day online at nextroundlive.com. Get all the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. And it's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and our entire Double Down Media podcast family, all at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Drunk driving prevention is a priority at Anheuser-Busch. You can't drive drunk if you don't drive there. Encourage friends to join in the pledge to Decide to Ride on DecideToRide.com. Brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. All right, halfway through the show here, LTD and B with you 44 days away from the start of the college football season. We'll do a bulk entire British Open update in just a second, but this hour starts off as always. Uh, by telling you our friends at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken bring you hour number three. They bring you hour number three every day here in the show. And that's how consistent they are with the best lunch in town right there in Alabaster on Highway 119, Champy's World Famous Chicken. If I was there today, i tell you what I would order. I would order chicken on a stick with those peppers deep fried right there. I'd get a side of their unbelievable slaw, which I really enjoyed there. I'd go with the baked beans and I'd top it off with a caramel cake. Please stop. I am starving. That's what I would you do You just today. had a bar. Well, yeah, uh, you think that's anything like Well, Champions? I will tell you, Sterling did offer I yesterday know. to Nobody bring us food. Nobody jumped in and said yes. I would have said yes. He did? He offered to yeah. bring us lunch today? I, just, I feel guilty because, uh, you know, he's got a business to run. He's got he a does. business to run. Um, and and our, our studio t- so far today, and it's only going to get worse, has been a bit like an airport terminal. So this is probably a bad day yeah, for it. Yeah, today's anyway. going to be insane. Yeah. I've got more people coming up, by the way. 
Yeah, fantastic. That's, that's, that's great. And, uh, <laughs> and I love it. I love it. I mean, it. He doesn't even try to hide it now. No. What do you mean? I love no, it. No, that's, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. No, that is, I do. Invite right. more. See if they have friends. <laughs> I mean, I love it when people come by. Okay. Uh, who's not excited about Charles Barkley coming by in 58 minutes? Apparently a lot of people. Uh, Will, by the way, on Twitter yesterday, made his first trip ever to Champies, and he got my order. He went with the tamales and the mm. chicken on the stick. Very good there for Will. We appreciate him sending a picture. You can see the entire menu right now at championschicken.com. Highway 119 in Alabaster. The Braves lose yesterday. They get the Nationals tonight, which is always great news there. Uh, by the way, Tampa Bay beat Boston again. The Dodgers got back at the Cardinals. But the biggest story in baseball, despite the Mets Braves series, which is important to the standings, is Shohei Otani. Yesterday, strikes out 12, two for four, had big hits. He becomes only the second angel ever to have double digit strikeouts in four straight games. You don't see, you see this in Little League. I yeah. mean, again, we haven't seen this stuff since Babe Ruth. I, I was about to say, I mean, Guys just don't do this anymore, so it is kind of weird to make this comparison. But he's the only player to do this since Babe Ruth. Think about that. Yeah, and, you know, I got a fair price on him last night. That was the lock, the Angels, because the Angels as a team are really, really bad now. And it's weird where they were in April and May to where they are now. But he is the one – well, I shouldn't say the, the lone bright star, uh, spot because of Mike Trout, but Otani. I mean, you can make the argument – Best player in baseball. Best oh, player in baseball. Easily. I and, think he should be your MVP. And if he's pitching, it's a fun show. Uh, only one other angel had gone four straight games with double-digit strikeouts. It was Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. It was no. Nolan, Nolan Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Nolan Ryan did it, yeah. No, when somebody, I think it was our, <laughs> our buddy Mark, sent that uh, the tweet in. And I had forgotten when Bo Jackson hit that comebacker. And it busted Nolan Ryan's oh, nose. Oh, he stayed in the game. Stayed in the game yeah. and struck out eight. He had yeah. blood all over his jersey. Yeah. And, and was still was bleeding it. from yeah. his lips. Yeah. Licking the blood. Yeah. yeah. I loved Nolan Ryan growing up. Yeah. Loved him I, growing I, up. I changed my mind after reading up on Harrison. So I told you that. <laughs> all right. So that is uh, some of our headlines there. Big 12 Media Days uh, continuing on. Um, but Rockstar, can you go back to the Bosworth movie thing again on IMDb? Did I get it right that time? Yes, you did. First time IMDb. in 13 years That's I got right. it right. I don't need affirmation, but I, I don't think I got enough credit for pulling that movie. No, that was incredible. Okay. I'll give you no, affirmation. That was really good. Yep. So Rockstar is going to pull up a picture of uh, Boz in uh, Stone Cold, the movie, uh-huh. back in the day where LT named the movie instantly. Brian Bosworth was the, uh, the star of the movie. He played, obviously, was he a, a villain, a bad guy? No, he worked for the FBI. He's a, he's a cop, man. Oh, yeah. Undercover yeah. cop. He was top a Alabama man. cop. Villain as a player, good guy on the movie. That's what I was yeah. getting to, Brown. If, if you say top five college football villains of all time, you don't go far until Brian Bosworth's name comes out. Yeah, Nick, I would agree. I think Nick Saban's got to be at the top of the list. Nick Saban's in the conversation, yeah. yeah. I don't, I, 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 now, as we sit here in 2022 – Nick Saban is probably on the top of the list. Yeah, but Bosworth did push back against the machine. Remember I, when he was suspended from the NCAA, was wearing headbands? Yeah, I think Saban is a little bit of a different, you know, I think he's a villain, but people respect what he's done. I don't know that people really respected Bosworth. Even though he was a really good player, I think they just flat hated him. Yeah, I, I think he's got the, the distinct... Um, the distinction of being really the only individual because i think miami the brand was a villain yep it was i was but trying to think of which miami player uh, would i put my, as the face of that but really michael irvin michael irvin, michael irvin but, was. But in college michael irvin didn't stand out as much as he did with the cowboys Ooh, I boy don't know. he was he was no, still he, a lot of he was, he was the yeah. whole team was though yeah and i remember who was the little guy hill that came back down the tunnel shooting the yeah, guns yeah that one coming the cotton bowl yeah the yeah. cotton bowl well i mean you know lamar thomas was pretty brash himself yeah. i mean they had a few in that warren run. sap was yeah. Ray Lewis was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the whole program was. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, Nobody really stood out. That's why I was having, a, to yeah. your point, uh, so the Canes roster would be one. Was there anybody else that pops out to your mind? Was, I would love it in the chat room if you guys would chime in as well. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how big a villain primetime was. I think he was very brash, and people didn't like brash as much back then as they do now. But I, I don't know that prime I, was that. I think one of his quotes was only Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, the only person I couldn't cover is Jesus or something. Well, I mean, that's showing great deference to, to our Lord and well, Savior Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah. Or maybe he said Jesus, he, he could cover Jesus. I, I forgot yeah, what I it can't was. Remember it was some controversial. But Cam, prime Cam, time. Cam Newton, you can't go far without saying Cam yeah, Newton. He Cam. was he was a villain. He, he was among Alabama fans and probably some Mississippi State fans. Nationally, I don't know how big a villain Cam oh, Newton was. Oh, you don't was. think he was? Nationally? Yeah. I don't 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, I lived, I lived right here in the beast. Yeah, of the, it's, it's the our, we beast. were right here. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know why, why would have people hated him nationally? I think? I think because they heard the story that he had been offered money and just, you know, the whole Dan Mullen, Mississippi state thing. Yeah. No, I, I just thought it was the same reason because of Deion Sanders and some of the Miami I mean, Kim, players. Kim is, was confident. Yeah. Yeah. He was confident and the best player in football. Yeah, I mean, he was a phenomenal player, though. I, I, and I'm not saying he wasn't. I just, again, it was so hard to know because I lived right here in the I middle mean, of it. But do you not think that nationally right now Cam Newton is more considered negative than positive? Nationally? Yes. Yeah. I've, I've said that for a long time. Probably so. I think he – I think people started disliking him a little bit in the NFL. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's very brash. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I mean – I mean, Nick Saban's on this list. The reason you're on this list, usually, uh, you know, Brian Bosworth was still an All-American linebacker. Mm -hmm. You have to be pretty dang good to be hated. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. absolutely. No, you, I, they don't hate bad players. That's think, right. They don't hate bad players. Over in the chat room, I think Dave is dead on. I think Johnny Menzel was one of those yeah, guys. I Johnny agree. Menzel would be on the list. Yeah, Menzel would be on Phenomenal the list. Phenomenal player. Uh, uh, maybe the best player in part, football that year. Yeah, and part of the reason you hated him is you barely could stop him. I mean, that was one of the reasons you hated well, and him. The, but, and the way, he obviously was very brash. And the way he beat you is you did everything right on the play mm -hmm. except get him to the ground. That's right. And then he would beat you yep. because we, you couldn't get him to the ground. Well, what we're getting here is we don't, as a society, very much like brash, do we? Brash is generally I think we like it confidence. more now. Uh, more now than we did. did but still. No, confidence. Still, yeah. we, we like brash when it's our team. Well, yeah, exactly. Like you, oh, you're you right. Deal with it when it's your Nick team, Saban's yeah. not on any Alabama fans list, and I don't know if Bosworth was for Oklahoma fans. Cam Newton certainly certainly is one of the more beloved Auburn players by Auburn people of all time. So you can't go with your fans, absolutely. Yeah, like Bryce, or uh, excuse me, Bryce Harper, who played for your Nationals. That's right. I liked him as a National. I'm sure you did, yeah. and I would like him if he was a Dodger. But I really don't like him. I yeah. respect how good he is. But, but I did, I did laugh at the stuff that. People used to get, you know, they didn't like the fact that he would run and let his helmet fly off so his salad would blow in the wind. Yeah. You know, they thought but that it was, was a, intentional. Yeah, I mean, Pete Rose used to do the same thing. Pete was hustling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who had better hair? Bryce Harper. No, I'm, I'm no, kidding. Pete Rose got that Caesar cut, doesn't he? Uh, uh, Don. Dave, Dave and Rusty, they go Honey Badger. <laughs> honey Badger You're at LSU. Right, though, it is, is it? I'm sorry, Jim. Go ahead. Honey, honey Badger. Badger at LSU. Yeah. Was he a villain? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Spurrier too. Spurrier from Patrick. Absolutely. It's it's basketball, but Christian you, you, Leitner would jump into this conversation. Josh. You know, it's yeah. funny. Spurrier was a villain, but I think late in his time at Florida and certainly at South Carolina, I think people started to like the act. I think he kind of turned it around a little bit. I think people realized how funny he was and that, you know, while he was yeah. a villain, when he was really good, he was still saying funny things. I think I think his act. I agree. I think his act came around a little bit. Where late. he started, I wasn't a huge fan. Where yeah. he ended, I was. Oh yeah, but and I, I still am now. I think a lot of, a lot of times, I'm going to check yes that I like a lot of the villains. I mean, Tony Stewart was always my favorite NASCAR driver because he was a villain. Well, People disliked Bubba him. Bubba Watson, you like that guy? Yeah, uh, I liked him. I, I, was, um, I th that keeps going. I, Bubba Watson's never been one of my favorite golfers. Mm -hmm. You guys just dis you know downplayed the fact that he had won the Masters. We didn't downplay it. I didn't it. downplay it. I called him a one trick pony. Yeah, and then he won it again. Well, a two trick pony. Yeah. Um, but that I, was when no, the no, argument actually, started after yeah, one. His one trick pony is he could only win the Masters. Um, I completely. I just went blank. I was about to say something about Von, uh, when in doubt, read the teleprompter. Right. Vontez Perfect of uh, it says Trip when he played at Arizona State. Oh, was I a remember villain. more about Cincinnati than yeah, Arizona me too. State. I don't remember him in college at all, at all in college. Yeah, yeah. I uh, you, you talk talk about villains in college football, and I wonder how many have we named anybody that's still playing today. I don't think there is one today. I mean, Nick I mean, Saban Nick's would be coaching, the closest yeah. thing, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's actually Because, I mean, you look at the best players, you know, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud. I mean, those guys aren't disliked. Yeah. I mean, you barely get enough interviews or exposure with those guys right now to really dislike anybody. There's no brash Johnny Menzel, Cam Newton coming in this year that you really if, – if you go – I think right now if you went villain anywhere, anywhere in college football going into this year, it may be Lincoln Riley – and only because he left Oklahoma, he went to L.A. for perceived a lot of money, and he's brought in a bunch of players to L.A. and 
most of the country usually dislikes L.A. Well, they, because they, yeah, they're the, not California people. The Pete Carroll era USC team became villains, there's no doubt. And I think some of that is they were very brash and cocky and confident. But I, I think some of it, too, was the major market of it. L.A., again, I mentioned this the other day, the old school Miami and that USC team felt like professional franchises because they were from a pro town. And I, I think they became villains. And Lincoln Riley could, I think, lead them back up to that. Uh, Jameis Winston is one that jumps off from D- Dave. Woody Hayes from Trip back in the day. Yeah, thank you very much for that one. Well, he said he finished his career as a villain. That'll happen Do, when you punch see, a guy. I think he was a lot going yeah. in. In fact, I came across one night doing something on YouTube. I came across the Woody Hayes show, um, the coach's show. And mm-hmm. they recorded it apparently at night back at a local studio. This would have been like in 74, 75. So in downtown Columbus, they went to whatever their NBC 13 was. And the voice of the Buckeyes was also the local TV sportscaster. And they started with a studio audience applauding in a crowd. And it was Woody Hayes who said, you know, we just didn't want this day to end. So, um, you know, we all grabbed a bite to eat. And I brought the team by here too. So the whole studio is full of the entire Ohio State team who had beaten Michigan earlier that day. And, uh, you know, they started off by, you know, the secretary, you know, it was 1974, very Mad Men-like. The sports guy turns around. Um, would you guys get the, get the secretary to bring out uh, the, the, the gift we have for Woody? Sweetheart, bring out uh, that does gift. Does she look like Joan? Yeah. She was... and so she, she, you see her off camera hand a dozen roses to the local Herb Oh, because they're going to the Rose Bowl? Yeah, and yeah. Herb hands it to, well, Coach, this is probably the most important trophy of the day, and he hands him a dozen roses, and Woody thanks it, Pop, and thanks pop, all pops the Pops on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Uh, uh, Jameis Winston. Did we bring him up? Yeah, yep. Jameis okay. Winston. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, right after Jameis, I saw another one that made sense, Jimbo Fisher. Jimbo Fisher. Yeah. I don't know if Jimbo's a villain. I mean, if, you, well, if, if, I, if I put a meter that said – villain clown right now which one is he closer to uh he's probably in between alabama fans don't like jimbo fisher right they that's don't fair. but that's no, no yeah. but i mean we started this list off with nick saban yeah uh probably, probably closer clown. to clown yeah yeah i mean not not a lot but it's, yeah. it's, it's a little over that way yeah a little over that way i mean he I don't know. Uh, you have to. Jim Harbaugh has been more villain, I think, than Jimbo Fisher has been. I can see that. College basketball would be easy just because you just go Duke, right? From Shashevsky yeah, yeah. to Leitner to down. Hurley yeah. to J.J. Reddick to yeah. Grayson Allen. As they said earlier, Leitner, Le- they really did a 30 and 30 on just how much people hated uh, Leitner. I hated Leitner. And, and I remember what I was going to say earlier is uh, where this. What? That's really good, Grandpa. What was it? <laughs> you would say that about me. I would. Uh, what uh, what I realized in watching the documentary on Rockstar's Bad Boy Pistons is how much I wish I had liked that team more than I did back in the day. Because we make fun of you for liking those guys, but when I watched that Bad Boy Pistons, I was like, I, I do respect the attitude uh, they brought to the game. I hated attitude. them. I hated them back in the day. Hated them. I've said this before a couple of times, maybe not in this format, but I've literally said those exact same words. I... For a lot of times, I don't like the team in the moment. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I'm just going along with the populace, that that's the popular thing, not to like the team. But when I go back and watch them, I'm always like, God, I love that team. Yep. Why did I hate that team? I know. Like that Miami dynasty that was going on. Oh, I like them. I didn't like them at the time, probably because I was cheering for Alabama or an SEC team to do well. And they were, you know, they weren't doing it like we were doing it here in the SEC. But do you look back and feel the same about the Cowboys in the 90s? I don't. Uh, but I, see, I still I, hate yeah. it. You know, I don't feel the same about the, the 90s Cowboys, but I hated the 1970s Steelers. The, I did too. the Iron Curtain. Could not stand them cheered against him had to act like I wasn't cheering against him when I was at my buddy Tim Cooley's house because his family was from Pittsburgh and they loved the Steelers loved the Steelers you're over at the Cooley's a lot and I was over at the Cooley's yeah they had cable so I was over at the Cooley's house (laughs) and and Cooley and and food running water so I was over I was over at the Cooley's (laughs) and uh you know I'd have to I'd have to hide my love for Love You Blue and the Oilers but every time I was cheering for the Oilers to knock that door down they never would against the Steelers but, you know, I go back and I watch documentaries on those Steelers. I didn't like Montana's 49ers, but I go back and watch them. I'm like, God, they were yeah, so good. Boy, I, hate I wish I'd have liked too, it. But they were was, so good. was Bum Phillips a, a villain? Um, I think people just laughed at him, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, I think he would be closer to the clown than he would have been the villain. Yeah. 
That'd be a good bracket challenge. But like Bella dress like, dress like bomb bomb for a week. <laughs> it's like but the Bella Check, that's the biggest biggest cowboy hat I've ever yeah. seen. But Belichick's probably the biggest villain in sports. I would agree. Yeah. In sports? I think so. In American professional sports. Yeah. How about that? It, it might might be LeBron James. Uh, he's he's on the list for a lot of people, yeah. but yeah. Um, there is talk of maybe a Laker Nets trade. One person was saying, Do you think we could trade LeBron to for Durant? Would you like Kevin Durant with the Lakers? I mean, Kevin Durant's super sensitive, but I would rather have Durant than LeBron, no doubt. I am, I'm ready for LeBron to leave where I can go back and watch my Lakers and actually pull for my Lakers. I would ask you this. Is there a, is there a head football coach? You're Jimmy Alabama. Is there a coach that if they took over the Alabama program, you wouldn't like? So um, like when Mike Martz became the head coach of the Rams, I could not stand Mike Martz. I loved his offense. I just didn't like him. Well, you guys know it happened in real time. Um, I'm a Buccaneers fan, and that's probably where my biggest fandom goes on a day in and day out basis because I'm at work a lot in press boxes and can't out loud cheer for Alabama like I do on this show. Um, out loud cheer. But I, going into that draft, I was like anybody, anybody but Jameis Winston. And when they drafted Jameis Winston, that's uh, that's probably the low point of my Buccaneer fandom. Yeah, because you know there were there were talks. Um, the Rams were right around there because they were that bad back then, and uh, they had talked about Jameis Winston. I was like, I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't stomach it. That was the lowest point of yeah. my uh, fandom ever. I mean, I could go zero and seventeen now, and there would be something about the rebuild from zero and seventeen that I would be able to cheer for, but I can't, I could not, I could not get behind cheering for him. Yeah. I will tell you though, my, uh, I don't want to call it hatred. My dislike for Jameis is not as much as it once no, was. No, in fact, I am cheering for him to be really good in New Orleans. Well, I'm not because he's playing for New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he <laughs> has, now we yeah. each other. I mean, he has, you know, paid, a, it seems like a, a great personal debt for what he has been through in the National Football League. I just didn't like him quarterback in my team. All right, a little discussion there on villains um, because we saw earlier the Brian Bosworth movie that got us going down that road. Uh, part of our show being brought to you by the people that has LT's hair looking spot on right now. Dr. B, you're going to be a villain again if your hair keeps looking fantastic. Villain. Yeah, I, I got to get a haircut, man. Seriously. Our, our boy Roni is too busy for me. I got to figure this thing out before we go to Atlanta. But look, with age, for most comes a little hair loss. When it started to happen to me last year, I asked around. Everyone said, call Dr. Beckenstein. Uh, I set up that consultation with Dr. B and his team. They performed the genetic testing to determine the best course of treatment. It is cutting edge, and Dr. B, the only one in the state offering it. He can target an individual's treatment based on their genetics and formulate compounds and prescriptions to their profile. This is an absolute game changer. After I got my results, me and Dr. Beckenstein had that virtual meeting, went over the options, chose the non-invasive laser treatment, which I can do from the couch. It's going to help increase thickness and health of my hair excited to see those results in the next couple of months dr b has a range of cosmetic and reconstructive procedures for the last 20 years he will use that experience in his advanced training to help his patients fully understand the procedures they are considering call dr b today 205-319-0316 that's 205-319-0316 and tell him the next round sent you uh, over in the chat room charles says harbaugh and urban meyer are one a one b for him uh, Cresty goes harbaugh as well cody goes kirby smart as well now brooks goes uh Dabo taking the alabama job at one point was something he was in favor of but now he gets on his nerves uh, a lot of love over there for that conversation coming up later on Charles Barkley in 40 minutes in studio. This is the next round. Take the next round anywhere you go with official next round gear. Buy yours today at nextround.store. Wayne's Pest Control has taken pest control to the next level. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Keep your home pest free and rodent free with Wayne's proprietary smart system. Smart is a digital eco-friendly rodent monitoring solution that tells Wayne's you have an unwanted mouse or rodent before you even know about it. Wayne's smart service professionals will proactively set up an appointment to take care of that problem, keeping your family and pets safe and healthy. And right now, get $60 off smart pet service with the offer code TNR. Let Wayne's create your happy place. 866-Wayne's1 or call waynes.com. 
Vulcan Tire and Automotive is hiring. If you want to take advantage of joining in with a local growing company in the automotive service industry, this is the opportunity for you. Hiring oil and tire technicians and more experienced mechanics. If you've got the talent and the desire, there is a spot for you at Vulcan Tire and Auto. Stop by one of their four locations and the manager on site can walk you through the pay scale, great benefits, and flexible work schedule. Get paid to build your future in the industry. Moody, Trustful, Hoover, and Gardendale, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Did you know that many professional athletes have their shoes custom fitted to their feet? At New Balance Birmingham, we think everyone should have perfect fitting shoes. So our in-store fit specialists take precise measurements to determine your foot size, shape, and gait before matching you with the perfect New Balance shoe. Come see us at the New Balance Birmingham store, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. New Balance Birmingham, experience the difference a custom fit it makes today. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at One Man in a Toolbox. One Man in a Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in a Toolbox, they've got a background to help you with almost any project. I've used them multiple times at my home. Give them a call today. Get that free estimate, 205-823-2111. That's 205-823-2111 or online, One Man in a toolbox.com. Hey parents, is your son or daughter moving to Tuscaloosa this fall? Consider investing versus paying thousands in apartment rent. Lance Taylor here to tell you about our friend Tyler Bigby. Tyler is an award-winning realtor that helps parents find properties to save them thousands. Tyler also specializes in game day condos and residential homes. Find out today why Tyler is rated number one by RateMyAgent.com for Tuscaloosa County. Call 205-826-6476 for Tyler Bigby, the Advantage Realty Group. Once again, 205-826-6476. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour are not for all ages podcasts like Bama and Bourbon and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour are not for all ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. You've been wearing that thin, raggedy t-shirt for years now, and people cannot stop whispering and staring in your vicinity. We've all been there. Luckily, there's a solution to your lack of fashion and social cues. At nextround.store, they have plenty of options when it comes to a variety of shirts and hats. Once you start putting that next round gear on, be prepared to make new lifelong friends and hundreds of unforgettable conversations. Hope you like random high fives in the street, because that's what you're getting after visiting nextround.store. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. What is it? What is it? What is it? I can't see, Reed. Get out of the way. We're spinning for money because we're a bunch of degenerates. The I'm picture. the biggest gambler and I, outside of Lunsford, and I never gamble on this. You're never around. What was it? Green. Who, who won? I, I need to see who it. Green? I need to see it oh, for sure. Oh, Reed Taylor had green. Reed? All right, I'll read a dollar. Actually, I'll read. Oh, I, did he, Tyler, be honest, did he Did he stop it? Did he? Was no, it cheating? Was it cheating, Tyler? No, I watched. It was on the up and up. 
I'd like to say he cheated, but he didn't. He's the only person left in there close to the wheel, and he wins. Wait, so who won? Reed. Reed. Oh. With Green. Green Three was grand. the winner. Three grand. <laughs> <laughs> if you're playing at home, Green is the at-home winner. If you're playing at home today in our spin the wheel. I bet we can get Barkley in on this. <laughs> I bet he won't play for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I got some credit with him. Um, part of the show today being brought to you, johnstonrvcenter.com. Two locations up there. Great way to go see America. Not just the rest of this summer, but uh, football season, man. Take these things on a, a tailgating trip. You'll not regret well, it. Well, check out the Cherokee Alpha Wolf. It's a great couples coach. They start as low as two seventy five a month with approved credit and 10% down. They go all the way up to three twenty nine a month with ten percent down and approved credit. That's that uh, popular couples coach they've got there. The Coachman Clipper trailer starting at just sixteen nine forty six. That includes a lifetime warranty, by the way, at that price, which is incredible. See everything either in person, I sixty five exit three hundred four in Coleman, or exit three thirty four in Decatur, and always online JohnstonRVCenter dot com. Um, Skyler says, "Hey, nice little shot with the Harrison Ford setup. Well played, Dunaway. Thank you so much for that." Uh, Jeff writes in, Jeff Jeffy. Uh, is there a chance the movie Stone Cold takes place in the Fanville universe? <laughs> the boss. Yeah. When I said he'd given up acting, I forgot. We all agree he's a really good he's sheriff. He's a great sheriff. He was terrible in Stone Cold. And by the way, I did uh, have somebody text me. A lot of it was filmed in Mobile. Oh, how about that? I like the Fansville commercials. I don't know if it's just too. because it means it's football season or if I actually like the well, commercials. Well, it's because they overact. Yeah, I yeah. like them. You think they should merge and have Larry Culpepper come in one episode? Uh, Larry Culpepper uh, wore me out. Terrible. Terrible. They, they, yeah. did a, they did a reference to Larry Culpepper. Oh, in, in one in, of the Fansville? Around the Thanksgiving Day table, I think. Oh, yeah. I like the Fansville commercials. Now, I thought that guy was Doug Flutie, and you guys destroyed me for it that. Was not, I mean, he's not even yeah. close to Doug Flutie. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I own that I screwed it up. I uh, mean, you don't have to keep bringing it up. Jace, who uh, he and his wife Molly just had a new baby, he had to rock the baby to sleep last night. He said on social media, watching the show today, I assume with the baby again, what is the threshold for Otani to get into the uh, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame? Well, baseball oh. pitchers have generally been 300 wins, though we've backed off that. Got to back off that. Yeah, yeah. Um, because hit, I don't know if we'll have another one. Hitters have been probably 350 homers. If you're a pretty good average, you got a shot, right? Is well, that about the threshold, do you think? Probably. So Asians that are actually in the Hall of Fame, Ichiro will be there. Mm -hmm. I think it helps, you know, because they the want diversity. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, look, stay on this pace. For three or four more years, and I think he's there. I mean, because now he's a two-way player, which has to have his own category. And yeah, you know, we've never seen, uh, uh, except for Babe Ruth, we've just not seen this. You know, we've always talked about Mike Trout and Buster, who joins us every week. He's brought this up before. Mike Trout's been the best player in baseball for the last five, six, seven years, and nobody talks about him because of where he plays. People are talking about Otani. Yeah, he's not, right. I mean, Trout's no longer the best player on his team, is he? You know, All he's... around? How do you argue against yeah, Otani? No, you can't. You really can't. I mean, but he, he currently is at 112 home runs, 112 already. Charles Barkley coming up at the top of the hour, but right now every day at this time, we do trash right with LT, and it all starts when Rockstar hits that button. When a guy's banging you, <laughs> you, don't, you spin off of him. Those are the worst defenders to play against, actually, because if you can feel their body, uh, come on. LT's <laughs> Trash is come presented on. by Morgan Wright. <laughs> Mortgages done the right way. Hey, mortgage rates have risen. Market experts project more increases before year end. If you've been looking to purchase or refinance a home, now is the time to act with Mortgage Rights Lock and Shop program. You can lock in an interest rate while shopping for a home and before rates rise again with a speedy approval pre-approval process, flexible down payment assistance program, and a variety of loan products. Mortgage Right can get you into the home of your dreams before rates rise to unimaginable highs. They have the tools, information, and expert help to make home ownership happen. Call Mortgage Right locally, 205-815-9200, or visit them online, mortgageright.com slash TNR, NMLS 2239, equal housing lender. A uh, Sawanigan Lake area teacher says he used the power of music to ward off a black bear that had been coming around the school. Last Friday, when the bear was lurking around St. John's Academy, music teacher Tristan Clawson noticed that a fellow staff member was banging on a door to try to get the animal to leave. 
Quote, I thought, well, I can do better than that. Reached out for his trombone and went outside for a moment. The bear wasn't quite sure what to make of it. But in the end, he left. (laughs) Went on to say he was not. Petey, is that you? (laughs) Was not a fan of me playing. I'll tell you that. I was making a lot of noise on that thing. I wish I could say I played a tune, but I was really focused on making as much sound as I could. The trombone method, it worked. Uh, Only for a few days. By Thursday, the bear was back. I think they need to tra- check their trash cans. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? You have the, are you doing an encore concert? Rockstar when uh, Ricardo Montalban dies in uh, Naked Gun and the marching band yeah. marches over. <laughs> he has that clicker that turns Reggie yeah, Jackson on. It's, it's the USC <laughs> yeah. marching band and they're playing bomb, 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 bomb. Then a, ste- bom, then a steamroller bom. runs over. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that guy playing the drum over me thinking that. What if it had pissed the bear off, though? This is a heck of a roll of the dice. Yeah, Rockstar is right, though. What if he liked it so much he went back and got two of his friends? Yeah, you you got to come hear this guy. <laughs> He's the best trombone player we've had here Blue in a long again. time. That bear's got a better chance at acorns. That dude's got like a 22 waist. Yeah, yeah, really does. He would not waste his time on that guy. Skinny sucker. Hmm. Oh, boy, this is quite the story. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, you have to say that in trash. A man has died after drinking an entire bottle of Jägermeister in just two minutes to win a $12 bet. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's the sucker now? <laughs> this is incredible. But, um, he, but he died. Yeah, well, that's well, on I mean, him. It was a terrible decision on his party. Drink a bottle of yeah, Jägermeister? This is at a South African <laughs> liquor store. Now, the local resident who has not been named drank the whole bottle of the 35% spirit before collapsing. I don't know if you guys have. Uh, I know you haven't, Brown. I know you haven't, Rocky. Have you ever had a a big night on Jaeger? Uh, no, I, I think I topped out one night at two. And I don't think it counts if I'm going just by hot dog eating contest rules. I don't think it counts if it doesn't stay down. <laughs> so, so my, my buddy Jill, she used to uh, she used to be the Jaeger rep here in the state, and I used to drink a lot of Jaeger. And they were installing a Jaeger tap at my old house, and Bethany, my ex wife, wouldn't let them. We yeah. called that the trouble tap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I they got it approved. Going, Jaeger was, got it approved. Everything that was only going to lead to some bad decisions there. Wow, uh, Jaeger mean, on tap. On what tap, did, yeah. What yeah. does Jaeger taste like? Um, um, cough medicine. No, it, it, it tastes like licorice a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are black like licorice. the black licorice. Yeah. But I, I, I like it. There's something about um, something about the just the texture of the Jaeger. Yeah. Um, I got a, a friend of mine used to uh, play at Auburn a lot back in the day. Uh, his band was 4 a.m. And he and his now wife... Uh, used to they loved the Jägermeister as well. That was a hmm. a drink they could handle. Uh, that's that's a different level for me. Uh, not I'm, a, I'm double. I'm a double A drinker. That's big league. I don't think anybody can handle it if you drink enough of it. Oh you know, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously not. Supposedly if you drink got opium it. in it. Supposedly, really? yeah. yeah. That's always been the urban legend, yeah. right? Yeah. It really can't though. Can uh, it? This dude though, he did this for twelve dollars. They were trying to figure out who could drink it the fastest. He did drink it the fastest. Uh, people were cheering and clapping as he gulped it down. After he finished, he sways side to side, passes out, and dies. Well, that is well, unfortunate. I, I mean, twelve dollars. I mean, is that worth like a lot of money in South Africa? I would I imagine it was dollar the, for dollar, right? I would think the dollar it, goes further there. No, it was ten. Whatever their dollars is, and converted to U.S. currency, it was twelve. That's right. So it's almost so, dollar for dollar. Yeah, you know, I've noticed that a lot in a lot of places around the world now. It used to be when I was younger, a U.S. dollar would be worth a lot of money in a certain place it's in the world. Changed a little bit. It's not the case right now. Uh, Rusty says Jaeger tastes like bad decisions. Michael says Jaeger tastes like a rough next day. That's what they taste like. Uh, I will tell you I this: like they show you the kind of friend I am sometimes. Uh, I have a buddy Presley who, whose wife forbids him forbids him to drink Jaeger ever. And we were out one night after, I think it was a Motley Crue concert, and we went out to the one place that is still open like at 3 in the morning, and we walked in, and as soon as we walked in, I he had told me about this rule, and I had bought a round of Jaeger for everybody. Oh, I used to do that. We, we, in college, you know, you you talk to a girl, and, and what do you what, what do you like to drink? I can do anything but tequila. It makes me crazy. Well, let's, let's get around the tequila going here. <laughs> and he's like, I told you I can't have Jaeger. And I said... You told me your yeah. wife said you couldn't have it. It's funny how people have that one certain drink. Like our buddy AB, his wife will not let him drink snake handlers. Yeah. He's like forbidden to drink those. Interesting. Maggie just doesn't care as long as I don't come home. Anyone know the story that encouraged that, that, that 
made that rule. Yeah, there's exactly. one story yeah. at one there specific had to be a, time. There had to be a breaking this point. Was, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the one. That no, happened. but I think you get one pass. I think once you repeat that action. That's right. It's, yeah. a, it's an issue. And that, that's, that's yeah. what I think happened to you. So everybody has whatever their one drink is. There's a story. Yeah. There's one incident. It's yeah. an incident. Not yeah. a story. It's an incident. This is where it started. I always go, you always bring up that one well. time I took my shirt off and tried to fight that lady. <laughs> the one time I backed the car into the pool. <laughs> um, as we play the open right now, Scotland is a land of myths and legends, but mm-hmm. one stands out as the most terrifying. It's the Knuckle of E. The Knuckle of E? Knuckle of E. It's a horse like demon which stems from Orcadian uh, mythology. It's said to combine um, both, e- uh, how do you say the equine? Yeah, equine. Yeah, equine and human elements. Uh, the legend states that the monster's breath was believed to wilt crops and sicken livestock. Oh, that's some bad breath. Whoa. You got yeah. some long ass arms. He Look does. at that thing. So is his lower body a horse rock star? Is that yeah, what that is? It looks like it's a yeah. So it's yeah. a two headed creature. He's got creature? four legs and two yeah. two arms. Boy, he got, he's got he's got a good wingspan, but he yeah. doesn't look like he could really get to you. If you could, uh, but if you encounter that in the wild. Ooh, those eyes. So yeah. that isn't the creature that is riding a horse? No. No, that's the whole creature. Yeah, his lower body's yeah. the horse. They refer to the demon as the devil of the sea. I'd agree with that. So it's in the ocean? All right, I think yeah, it's that's both. not believable, Lance, if it's in the ocean. Because yeah, horses can't swim. Whatever. It looks like the, the, the horse's head part looks like what I would make with a lamp at camp or a fire at camp. It looks right. like a dragon. Flashlight. It's got some teeth, too. Yeah, you think somebody's got that in their mom's basement? <laughs> This is what my kids made for me at camp. Oh, terrifying. Yeah. Um, I got different styles of pizza for you guys, and we've got pictures of these. Okay. Square pizza? The grandma pie. It's like Sicilian pizza. Grandma pie boasts a thick crust, baked in rectangles, not circles. Why is it sitting on caution tape? Uh, it's, on a cone, it's on a traffic cone. Oh, okay. But uh, that looks legit to me. I yeah, I'd that. eat that. Yeah. yeah. I like the fact that it's cheese Side to side. I mean, there is there's no crust there. Yeah, uh, I do like a good crust though. But they said the grandma style pizza dough is proofed for a shorter time, producing a heartier base. Toppings are usually simple, as you can see right there. That does look good. No, I'd eat that. That uh, looks just like cheese, right? Those aren't pepperonis. That's just burnt cheese. No, that's, no, that's pepperoni. Oh, okay. Old Forge Pizza. This is from Old Forge, Pennsylvania. It's a small town, roughly 8,000 people in the northeastern corner of the state. Don't like that as much. That's cafeteria ex- pizza, man. Yeah. It really is. Own distinct style of pizza, aptly named the Old Forge Pizza. It's a red pizza with sweet, chunky tomato sauce. Uh, white pizza features the cheese and toppings inside. There's a, there, the, I don't like the sweet sauce. There's a place here locally that a lot of people swear by, yep. but it's got a super sweet I sauce. I like sweet sauce. And I do not like yeah. it. Yeah. It's it's not my favorite. It's probably number three or four. Yeah, on my list. but a lot of people. I think it's closed now, isn't it? Did it close? Yeah, it did. Yeah. But I think they're reopening. Oh, are they? Colorado Mountain Pie, Colorado mm-hmm. style pizza, which originated at Idaho Springs uh, Bojo uh, Bojo's Pizzeria in 1970s. Although diners can add a number of toppings, which really counts is its crust. Way too much crust. The chef uses honey, not sugar, to bake the pizza's signature thick yeah. braided crust. A hard pass. I think crust is what makes the pizza. No. And that's true. I think it really is. Uh, you got to let him finish the answer. Yeah. The texture and the taste is important, but you don't want too much, though, right? No, but I think a great crust, and that's why Slice is so good. I right. like the really thin, and yeah, they do, do such a good job of their crust. Do you eat the actual leftover piece of crust always, or do you? If, I, if I'm hungry after. Like, I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to gnaw it down. I'll yeah, leave the okay. crust like his bones. And, no. Yeah, and yeah, if, yeah if, me if, too. And if I've got enough pizza in me, I'll leave yeah, them. I'll, but if, right. I, if, no, 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 if, if I need something else, I'll come back to the crust. The, 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 correct, the, reward. the correct way of doing it is eating it, eating it, eating it until you get down to the crust, but yeah. you've left enough of the good part of, of the pizza to when then you could turn it sideways no. and eat that. I didn't order, I didn't order breadsticks. Or is order that pizza. how you do, do it? Uh, that's the way I do it. Okay. Yeah. And finally, the Altoona style. It's composed of a Sicilian style dough and cut into squares. On top of the dough oh, is a layer of sweet tomato sauce. It's these craft cheese singles. Man. Uh, what is that? Deli style salami, then sliced green bell pepper ring topped with yellow cheese. The cheese was at time uh, Velveeta brand. Hard pass. You would eat that I, right now if I it came in that. here. Seriously. I would try to. Yeah. I might eat a bite, but boy, that looks anything but appetizing. I love green peppers, too. I like the almost burnt crust, man. I do like that. Mm-hmm. And I like the crust. Yeah, I'd give that a shot. Now, that looks like you'd, you'd have some issues afterwards. Yeah. It does look like it'd go through you, like yeah. a screen door. Yeah, my stomach's not ro- rolling in that direction today. Uh, here we go. We got uh, forget pickup lines. Here are some good breakup lines. Okay. Are you a bank loan? 
because I've lost interest. <laughs> yeah. How about this one? Are you a dollar bill? Because you're single. Uh, wow. Uh, it's not good. You and I were happy for so many years. Then we met. Mm. Raise your hand if you're in a relationship. Not so fast there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> not so fast, my friends. Uh, know what's better than being your boyfriend? Being your ex-boyfriend. Oof. And finally, uh, a good breakup line. It's time to take our relationship to the previous level. Not nice. Not a new level. We're going backwards. Andrew on Twitter says, uh, adults eat the crust. Yeah, well. Okay, Andrew. Yeah. I do sometimes. If it's the last thing left, yeah, and I'm still mm. hungry. I mean, I'd rather have a good salad and then some pizza yeah. than the crust. My pizza plate looks like a boneyard at the end. It's yeah. just got a bunch Me of too. crust laying around. In the, uh, in the chat room, I'd love to know how many of you do this. Wade says, during my drink on Twitter at Next Round Live, during my drinking days, we used to do shots of Jaeger after every Alabama touchdown. Well, that would kill you in the saving area. I, I hate to admit this, but I'm going to do it. This is when I was really immature. I'm still very immature. But when the Lakers were on that run, I used to... Uh, you do a Jaeger after every bucket? After every three. I swear to God, this is Memorial Day weekend when they were in that King Series, that incredible or he hit the shot. Every three, the Lakers would hit, I would funnel a beer. Wow. Boy, Golden State would put you in the yeah, grave. Steph Curry, oh, yeah. Yeah. Steph Curry would have you upside down. Yeah. Um, he said he did that at old Egan's bar back in the day. It's, that, that was a tradition inside of Egan's. All right, that is uh, Trash Today brought to you by our friends at Mortgage Right. It seems like everywhere we turn these days, concern over rising cost or gas prices. Now there's even talk of a recession. If you're a homeowner with outstanding credit card debt or other high interest payments, it's time to put your home equity to work for you. Don't walk into a recession with large payments on bad debt. Our friends at Mortgage Right can help you knock down stubborn debt and gain more financial freedom. How is it possible? Home values are also on the rise. That means you could leverage your home's equity for a cash out refi to fund whatever it needs funding, credit card debt, home repairs, college tuition, and more. Reach out to Mortgage Right and learn how you can save each month. Call Mortgage Right locally, 205-815-9200 or visit mortgageright.com slash TNR. Sarah, a great female listener, uh, does shots at Alabama games at kickoffs if we are traveling with a team never failed wow how about that yeah i like it yeah drink on drink on remember the rose bowl you'll win um all right part of the show as well brought to you by our friends at the university of montevallo if you're looking for a great place to call home for your son or daughter when they head off to college montevallo is the perfect answer for you montevallo.edu to get all the details montevallo.edu and remember at montevallo you have small class sizes 14 to one student to professor ratio that's going to help your kid academically 21 division two ncaa fully funded scholarship sports and a lot more Schedule an in-person tour and find out more right now at montevallo.edu. Call the next round now at 205-734-0923. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations. But we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from. Great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sale section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. ERA King has the new Guaranteed Move program, which lets you compare instant offers with open market offers so you can choose how and when to sell your home. You can close with a quick cash offer, no showings, and no open houses, or you can explore multiple offers through a traditional listing. Available only through ERA King. Guaranteed Move puts you in control. Visit MoveWithKing.com or text MOVE to 35620. To learn more, that's MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35620. Summer of 2022. It's time to do something new. Ocean City, Maryland. And our friends at Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City is ready to welcome you. Kayak from Bayside Beach, swim in the Atlantic, dine at Bayview Bar and Grill, local golf packages, great restaurants, and a lot more. See everything online at residenceinnoc.com. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Do something different this summer. Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City, Maryland. 
Golf season is in full swing, and you know what that means for me, my favorite time of year. Ryan Brown here from the next round, inviting you to enjoy 18 holes of great golf at Ballantrae Golf Club. Just off I-65 in Pelham, Ballantrae Golf Club is one of my favorite spots in Birmingham. 18 great holes of golf designed by one of my favorite designers, Bob Cuff, and they keep the golf course in superb shape. They treat you like family when you're out there as well. Go enjoy Ballantrae Golf Club for yourself this spring and summer. 620 Golf for a tee time, 620-4653, Ballantrae Golf Club. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Things fall apart. There's even a book about it. But that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Ride have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Ride's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting MortgageRide.com TNR and MLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20-year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call. GutterCapBirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205-823-2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Wayne's Pest Control has taken pest control to the next level. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Keep your home pest free and rodent free with Wayne's proprietary smart system. Smart is a digital eco-friendly rodent monitoring solution that tells Wayne's you have an unwanted mouse or rodent before you even know about it. Wayne's smart service professionals will proactively set up an appointment to take care of that problem, keeping your family and pets safe and healthy. And right now, get $60 off smart pet service with the offer code TNR. Let Wayne's create your happy place. 866-WAYNES1 or call waynes.com. Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds. And now for over two years, they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign up fees, and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com. The latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Going to the phones in just a second on the johnsonrvcenter.com hotline. But first, it's time to tell you about Lance's Lock, lanceslock.com. Great place to head out and uh, check out all the plays every day. Uh, he's got them for you, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, hockey sometimes, uh, and some sometimes the boxing or something. Whatever sport's going on, Lance has a play for you. It's brought to you by Hemphill. How did the lock do last night? Uh, we had the Angels. We um, Honestly, though, we were one and two, so it wasn't good. But we did hit the free lock, so uh, we bounced back today. We've got one play out there. Jump on board, lanceslock.com. And remember, Hemphill Services brings you that lock every day to uh, take care of you with plumbing, cooling, or heating needs, whether it's uh, – uh, not running right, flowing right, draining right, whatever the situation is, Hemp Hill can keep you hooked up and make sure everything's fixed, fixed right, fixed at a fair price the first time out. Adam, Chad, and the folks have been taking care of Birmingham since the 1954 area, and uh, they uh, make sure things are perfect. Call Hemp Hill today, 205-229-2090, 229-2090. Just remember the name Hemp Hill. J.D. is on the phone up in Huntsville. Hey, J.D., welcome to the show, man. How are you? Hey guys, um, I hadn't talked to you all summer. Been so busy, um, but um, I, I, media day is next week, and you know Nick Saban. He usually has messages he wants to send to his team, messages he kind of wants to send around the SEC and then to college football in general. What do you think those messages are going to be next week? Um, you will get a little bit of um, don't don't waste a loss. That yep. that theme, you, you know, learning from from. Um, from the loss to Georgia, 
Uh, I think he will try really hard not to talk about NIL. Uh, what, what I think you will hear from Nick Saban next week when it comes to NIL is that, uh, to use the phrase of the Big 12 commissioner, is uh, Alabama's open for business. If, if this is the rules we're going to play by, Alabama can do for you what any other school in America can do uh, for you in the NIL. I think he will use this platform like he did last year when he brought up Bryce Young was a, uh, approaching a, to be a, being a million-dollar athlete, I think he'll use this to, to sort of do a course correction on how his comments were perceived here in Birmingham. Yeah, and I kind of wonder, J.D., what the perception is going to be like because Georgia just won their first national championship in 40 years, but it's still Alabama's conference. Now, Nick Saban will play up that underdog role. We, you know, don't waste the failure or what is, what was the exact That's pretty much it. Don't waste the failure or or don't waste the loss. Yeah, Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Learn from your mistakes. What do you think it'll be, J.D.? Well, I think there's two things. I think you're right. One of the things that he always talks about is helping players uh, create value for themselves. And if he talks about NIL, I think that's, that's the angle he'll take is that we want our guys to create more value for themselves, and you have a better chance to do that here because of the way that we develop players, unlike other places. He may not go to talk about those other places. Uh, but if he were to really say what he wants to say, uh, he would probably say something like, look, you, you can't Nick Saban-proof college football. Like, like they used to try to you know, tiger-proof the golf courses to make it harder. No matter what you do, no matter what rules you put in place, I'm still going to beat you. I've done it in the past, and I'm still going to do it. So just get ready. You know, you don't come to Alabama, you're going to get beat by Alabama. So. Thank you, J.D. Yeah, and I don't like. think you'll hear him say that, but I think that's the way he wants his guys to operate with that mindset. Yeah, that's what he's saying. If, if, yeah. he, if he was going uh, no bumpers at all, that's he's right. going to let everything just, on his no mind filter. out. Yeah, yeah, that's what he would do. Yeah. But you know how bad he hates losing to Georgia. There's no and doubt. Georgia wearing the crown right now. Yeah, it's going to be a really but, interesting season. But that guy more than anybody, and Dunaway saw this up close and personal when he hosted the coaches show, that guy more than anybody reacts to a loss differently than you would imagine. Yep. Does it eat him up? Probably so. But he also realizes the most teachable moment for a team is after a loss, not a win. That's right. And that was a massive loss, and you've had a long time to teach on that loss. And and you think about last year going into it, I forgot what the record was, like 23-0 and against former assistants. You lose to Jimbo, Mm -hmm. and then you lose to Kirby in a national championship game. Yeah, he's now lost two of his last three to a former assistant, right? But he he is the the best I've ever seen in 30 years of covering. He he wants a team at this point, and if they're up here – reading all the clippings and winning everything, he beats them down to that point. But like Brown says, after a loss, he's really good at lifting them back up and believing that they're the best in the business. Do you think he would rather be ranked below Georgia this year going into the season? Um, Because they're going to be number one. Alabama's going to be number one. Ohio State's going to be number two. But, I mean, let's don't – I mean, this Alabama team's not in a rebuild, right? You've got the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback back. You've got the best player in football in Will Anderson. You've got the best player in football back. You've got probably the next Will Anderson on the other side. And Dallas Turner. You've named, like, the kid from Iowa. There's a couple of great linebackers – in college football, but nobody's got another part beside them that takes away uh, your attention. I mean, if you're if you're always doubling Will Anderson, could, could Jack Campbell start for Alabama though? <laughs> I mean, he's great at Iowa. Yeah. I mean, he had 140 tackles so, last so year. So he's got to start in front of Will Anderson or Dallas Turner. Does, does well, he, he ain't starting in front of those guys. Does he play in the middle? Yeah, he is. He's he's middle linebacker. Yeah, yeah he, he could probably he, start he'd probably next to toe toe out. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't think he'd beat him out. I think he'd start next to him. Next to him. Yeah, they play yeah, four. Yeah. He'll start next to him. It's that other spot. It'd be perfect. That would, it really would. It'd be a perfect transfer. Yeah, I, I bet Saban would take him. All right. Before we get to the top of the hour, I'll remind you, Champy's Chicken brings you our number three. Open for lunch right now. Wonderful place to get some southern fried chicken, all the sides that go with that, but more. They got the poor boys. They got the Mississippi Delta recipe tamales. And people go on tours through Mississippi to get that De- Mississippi Delta tamale recipe that's the tamales they have at champy's chicken highway 119 in alabaster a great menu so good that we keep it 
right beside us here. Check them out online, championschicken.com, championschicken.com. When we come back, one hour in studio, Charles Barkley hanging out with us the entire show. We'll talk to Barkley about a number of things as we watch the uh, the British Open. We'll talk to him about golf. He's gotten really good at golf again. Uh, we'll talk to him about the NBA. He loves college football. We'll talk to him about college football. And he loves drinking. We'll talk to him about drinking. <laughs> All that coming up. Final hour of the show right here on the next round. Everything next round is on demand now in the podcast section at nextroundlive.com. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters. It's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Double the fun and more ways to win at Victoryland Casino and Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Come play thousands of your favorite games featuring fun bonuses and big jackpots. The Trucks and Bucks giveaway is going on right now. We're giving away two Chevy Z71 trucks and $50,000. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win. Drawings May 13th and 14th. Come win at Victoryland Casino and Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Must be 21 or older. Must be present to win. Summer of 2022, it's time to do something new. Ocean City, Maryland. And our friends at Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City is ready to welcome you. Kayak from Bayside Beach, swim in the Atlantic, dine at Bayview Bar and Grill, local golf packages, great restaurants, and a lot more. See everything online at residenceinnoc.com. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Do something different this summer. Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City, Maryland. Summer is here, and that means it's moving season. Whether you are looking for the perfect home or you need to sell yours, Holly Mac Wilson can do it all. Call Holly Mac Wilson today, 205 901 9446, and let her work for you. Holly Mac Wilson, your dream home expert, 205 901 9446. That's 205 901 9446. Holly Mac Wilson, a trusted Tuscaloosa Keller Williams realtor you can always depend on. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. Your 24-hour home for the show is our website, nextroundlive.com. Easy links to the day's top stories in the morning rounds, plus the latest videos from the show, podcasts like Bama and Bourbon, The Mystery Fifth Hour, Last Call, and other shows from our Double Down Media podcast family. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or find easy-to-listen to hour-by-hour downloads from the Next Round Live show and get the latest gear in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride. Whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. The Iron Bowl. Jordan Hare Stadium behind us that saw a classic Iron Bowl, 24-22. The Crimson Tide holds on and wins in overtime. The SEC Championship. It is the SEC Roadshow Saturday morning in Atlanta. The college football playoff. It's our Cotton Bowl special from Dallas, Texas. We are live now. The National Championship. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown with you up here in Indianapolis. We're at the playoff fan central. The next round, you'll find us where the big games are played. 
The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and Bourbon, our weekly college football conversation, while sipping on some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And in our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, LT takes off the gloves for in-depth conversations with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmont Vodka. Find these podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, nextroundlive.com. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. All right, here we go. Final hour of the show. Barkley's in route will be here uh, momentarily. Likely will walk in during this segment so uh, excuse our manners if he walks in front of the camera final hour of the show headlines being brought to you by the great folks at wayne's as uh, we get ready for uh, football season everyone to head back to school it's time to make sure you're on the best plans when it comes to anything and we got a great offer for you to switch to wayne's right now jim if you want to say a hundred dollars save a hundred dollars wayne's is a great place to do it because right now with smart pass at wayne's they're eliminating that rodent infestation Here's how it works with Wayne's. They're going to set up rodent monitoring 24-7. As soon as it spots a rodent in your crawl space, in your attic, it proactively communicates back to Wayne's. They send out a group to exterminate it. You don't get an infestation, and you don't have to do anything about it except call Wayne's. 866-WAYNES-1. 866-WAYNES and the number one. Give them the code TNR. That stands for the next round, obviously. Wayne's, they're like family to us, so they consider you family. They want you to save. $100 off your initial Smart Pest service when you use the code TNR, TNR, for the next round when you call 866-WAYNES-1. That's 866-WAYNES and the number one. Okay, Big 12 Media Days wrapping up today. It's been a big uh, discussion with Brent Venables and Steve Sarkeesian out there in Dallas today. Uh, Braves lose to the Mets 7-3. They're in action in Washington tonight, 6 o'clock on Bally's. LT's got his locks coming up a little bit later on. Uh, local kid Moody's three-star wide receiver Davion Dozier picks Arkansas over South Carolina in Tennessee uh, in that conversation there. And the British Open is ongoing round one and a Vulcan tire leaderboard update. Brown still has, is it Cameron Young? It is Cameron Young, Jim. In the lead. Yeah, um, nobody's going to challenge in the afternoon wave, it doesn't appear. It's a little bit more difficult out there right now. But Cameron Young at eight under par. The American has a two-shot lead over Rory McIlroy. Young with a 64. McIlroy with a 66. Cameron Smith, the Australian, with a 67. Those are your top three. Uh, like I said, nobody on the course is going to make any sort of run right now because uh, the the uh, – the, Sorry, the conditions wait, are a little bit difficult. Okay. That's okay. Don't How worry about being there. Can, we, can we get you a beer or anything? Uh, are we drinking already? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a rude guest. It's 12 yeah, o'clock somewhere. Rude uh, guest. I, I'll be honest. I'm waiting till 1. Oh, you are? But but we've got we've got guests over there already drinking. Nice to meet you. We're going to put you in that chair over there. Uh, and I'll we'll, get you a beer. You want a beer? We'll get you a beer in a commercial sure. break. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bud Light or uh, Stella? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stella. Charles Barkley join us here as we wrap up uh, the conversation about the British Open. And those are your headlines brought to you by our friends at Wayne. Tiger's not playing well, Charles. Yeah, Tiger is. shot a 41 on the front. Ooh, yeah, oh, he's, he's Charles Barkley. Huh? 41 on the front for uh, Tiger. And he is, I think, part number 10. So I think yeah. that's, that's where he is. Uh, as you always, yeah, oh, we can hear you. We fine. can hear you perfectly. Oh, yeah. can. Rockstar, can you hear Charles okay? Yeah, get, get on that mic, Chuck. Yep. He knows how it works. Rockstar, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always hear you, buddy. Can't hear him. You, you can't, can't hear, hear him? Rockstar? You plugged uh, in there, Brownie? Yeah. Is that better? Go now. Can you hear me there, Chuck? I can hear you now. How okay. you doing, buddy? Man, I'm great. I'm on vacation for four months. Life is good for Chuck. Yeah. So how was Lake Tahoe? You always loved that event. Was it, uh, was it fun this year? It was great. I played the best I ever played. I played really, really well. I was a little disappointed in myself the first day because I kind of quit the last three holes. I was just tired. And I was really pissed that night. So that's what, that's when you cost everybody all their money. Well, no, I, I mean I played well. I mean I was in it to the last three or four holes, but I was disappointed in myself that I did not compete. Thank you. And I learned a lot this weekend. I got to get in better shape because I played great, but 
Marcus Allen said, pulled me aside. And he said, man, I got to tell you something. I'm so pissed at you right now. And I said, what is it? He says, you are so much better than 20 more of these players, but your lack of conditioning just kicked your ass. And he was 100% correct. So I felt really good where I'm at now. I'm like, okay, I can play good golf. I just got to get in better condition. So what kind of exercise are you looking at doing? I just got to lose some more weight. I'm down about 50 pounds. You know, I've been doing that intermittent fasting thing where I've been eating one time a day. So I'm down 52, but I still, I gained 94, I think, when I got my new hips. And uh, I just got to get in better shape because, you know, that's the only time I actually really walk, too. And we walk four days in a row. Uh, At elevation, uh, too. Yeah, so, but that's yeah. just, no, no reason for being fat, man. Just yeah. put the fork Rock down. Rockstar did the intermittent fasting. Hey, just yeah. put the fork down, Chuck. It worked, man. It's I, I loved it, but it's just it's uh, when you, you stop at eight o'clock, I think you're not supposed to eat after eight. Well, I ate between five and eight. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I know. And uh, but it, and it, but I tell you what, it was only bad like the first, uh, I'll say, ten days. Yeah, it's really rough on your system because you are craving food. Yeah, but after that first ten days, but you start losing so much, so much weight and start feeling so much better. Uh, so you're not hungry right now. No. And I hadn't eaten all day. No. Wow. But you're not hungry right now. No. Are you going to ask him again? <laughs> are, you hungry, are you hungry right they're now? Trying to teach I mean, uh, they're trying to everyone ask me the same thing. No, I wasn't going to ask you that. I wasn't. <laughs> can we offer you the food? <laughs> so, yeah, is is Charles hungry about that? As you can tell, I got a sandwich at my desk. <laughs> so, what kind of sandwich? <laughs> you're a guy, you don't hold grudges at all. And I know you and Tiger were really close, and you asked how he was doing. Uh, you guys haven't spoken since, we talked about this last night a little bit, since the day after his accident. Yes, the first one. Yeah, the first yeah, one. So that was back in 09. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you still pull for Tiger, though? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. I think it's going to be very difficult. You know, I still think he's the greatest ever. No disrespect to anybody ever. And I want to root for him. I don't think he can overcome this leg injury. I just think it's just too much damage to his leg. And, you know, all these young kids out there, because of him, they're just kicking ass. Boy, and they're good. They are. You know, and uh, – It'd be interesting to see if he didn't get hurt in that car, a second car accident. Uh, but I just don't think, I just think it's just too much to overcome. You know, it's, uh, it's tough to lose a friend. You know, it's not like he's dead, but you guys were really tight. Hey, listen, it's, it's, it's it, I remember our last conversation. So I was asked to drive to Alabama for the Iron Bowl. Did it happen? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, and I was probably, so I, I don't remember exactly where I was, between Atlanta and, and on my way to hell, I mean Tuscaloosa. Um, <laughs> and I got a breaking news alert that Tiger Wood was in a car accident. And I called, obviously, right away. And, it, I, and I got him, and I was talking to him and his agent. And I says, I don't know what happened. He says, well, it's bad, he's all right, but a lot of bad stuff gonna start happening. And the last thing I said to him, I said, yo, man, do not try to handle it. Admit, I said, don't try to handle it. Because when you try to, when you, when you fuck up and you try to, like, let me handle this way, like, no, nah, it's all right to say, you know what, I fucked up. But so many celebrities are so afraid, like, like the people around them, like, I'm your PR person. Let me, let's, let's, right. let's try to make this as good as possible. I'm like, yeah, everybody fucks up. Just say you're sorry, eat a little humble pie, and keep it going. But and wait until the next person screws up because it's going to come. <laughs> yeah, if you but, wait, if you but, wait 48 hours, yeah. something will happen. But, but you know, his uh, he's such a big name. You wait for that next cycle, but the Tiger thing lasted forever. Well, because he kept trying to handle it, and, well, just, and, and, and a new girl would come out yeah. every other week. But let me tell you, if he had came out in the beginning and and just like, hey. Them other girls would have stayed down. He kept giving them opportunities to come out. If he had to say, yeah, these some things, my mistake, I'm keeping it moving on, blah, blah, blah. I don't think those girls would have came out. Because there would be no money in there it. There would be point. no money in it. You take the money away yeah, from them. Yeah. And you take the, like, they will be like, shit, I'm one of many. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, yeah that's I right. don't want it. I don't club. Club. Like, It's not an exclusive it's club. It's a club. Because, yeah. because the more I come up, the, the more dumber you look. Yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah, why am I going to pay you if I'm TMZ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I going to yeah, pay you $100,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can pay this other one $10,000. Number seven ain't going to get paid. <laughs> number eight, number nine, number 10 are not going to get paid. You know, the sad thing is he just doesn't look happy. Uh, I mean, he really doesn't. Well, health will well, do that I, to you. I, I think from an ego standpoint, 
I've never been great as Tiger, but it really sucked when I couldn't play basketball anymore. Like my last two years, I was awful. And people always say, when did you know it was retiring? Oh, time to retire. I said, when I look at this guy right here, I said, this dude can't fucking play dead, and he's kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you didn't have to look at me, no, no, but that no, would have no, been true. No, that would have been true. Yeah. It, it, it's such a humbling thing, because when you've been great at something for so long, but then when you're out there looking around like, yo, man, this dude can't play, and there's nothing I can do about it. And your ego, and I'm probably what's happening to Tiger now. I mean, I mean, I'm just guessing, paraphrasing, probably. Mentally, he think he's still the goat. Like, I can, I can do this. But I think because he's had so many injuries, the players today, man, because of him, they're so good now. I mean, Justin Thomas, Shockley. All these kids that grew up idolizing him, Rory. I mean, Rory got emotional talking about playing with Tiger the other day. How much Tiger meant to him growing up as a little kid. He's the reason Tiger started playing golf. And and Rory's like 30. And uh, so it's going to be difficult. What clicked for you, man? Why, why, why all of a sudden did you start playing good golf? Because I noticed it right out. I mean, when we were out at the yeah. Traditions at Greystone, I was like, I heard he was playing good golf, but he's playing good golf. Well, you know, my coach, he pulled me aside at a charity event. He said, Charles, and he's got some of the 10 best players in the world. He's the best short game teacher in the world. And he says, Chuck, can I work with you? And I said, Stan, man, I really, I just have given up. I've tried everything, blah, 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 blah. He says, just give me a couple days. And he says, well, what happened to you? I says, Man, I used to be a good player, probably six, seven, eight handicap. I was going to break 80 if I played great. If I didn't, I was going to shoot no more than 82, 83. And then I started wanting to get better. So I started taking lessons from every Tom, Dick, and Harry. And when I was standing over the ball, I had like Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Susie, and Jenny, and everybody <laughs> talking to me. I had a swing thought. Like, I'm standing over the ball, and I'm thinking like, what did this coach say? What did this coach say? And he says, yeah, uh, 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 par uh, an uh, uh, paralyzed by analysis. Paralysis yeah. by analysis, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. He said, do me a favor. Just close your eyes. He says, what? I said, what? He says, I just want you to hear my voice and think about what I'm telling you to do. Just close your eyes and just listen to my voice. Forget Butch, Hank. Uh, and like I said, I took lessons from probably 10 different teachers. He said, forget everybody. Just close your eyes and listen to my voice. And man... After about two hours, he said, I'll see you tomorrow. I said, what? He says, it's going to take time. And I'm almost back down to single digits right now. I'm playing better than I, I'm probably playing better than I ever played in my life. But the, name, the number one thing I got to do for the next three months before, I, see, I think I'm off for three more months, I got to really get my fat ass in shape. Because uh, like I say, there's no reason for me to get tired playing golf. I don't care if we plan on damn Mount Everest. <laughs> right. Talking, yeah, talking, I mean, you're not even 60 yet. Yeah. yeah. I, I said shit, elevation. Hey, wait, wait a couple months, I will be. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the main thing? Marcus said, he's your man. We're not young anymore. We got to get in shape. Marcus he, looks good, though. He looks great, but he says, you're so much better than me at golf right now, but you got tired every single day. But I played the best I've ever played, but I just got tired, and that's no excuse for that. That's just lazy. Any good dinners out there? Most interesting person you had dinner with? You said the nighttime, one time on our show, you said the nighttime at Lake Tahoe is better than the golf during the day. It is because we go. Uh, Wasn't it Emmett Smith that couldn't get a seat with you guys? So we go to this really private restaurant. It's like this little Italian place, Cafe Fiore. They got like 10 tables, and it's reserved for certain celebrities a night. And I get eight seats on Saturday night. And him it was actually trying to go out with my boss because she's a good looking lady. And so I'm sitting there <laughs> with Emmett, Strahan, Vince Carter, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, and we were all drinking after we played golf. And he says, I says, wait a minute, I don't have room for you at the table. I ain't got about eight seats and they're all gone. He, he says with a straight face, you ain't got a seat for the all-time Lee Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Straight hand went ballistic. He says, are you serious right now? You're going to pull the all-time Lee. Wait, 
it's a fact. Yeah, it's a fact. <laughs> yeah. just, well, do you have a seat for the all-time sack champion? <laughs> oh, man, we were laughing so hard. He pulled that card. Uh, but we got him a table. Uh, we got him an extra seat. But it's a place called Cafe Fiori. But the fun thing for me is, you know, we do karaoke every night. But me and about 10 guys, as soon as we finish playing golf, we go to the cigar bar about. Because you're done playing by three. So we'll sit around the clubhouse and drink some beers. Then I love cigars. And we go smoke cigars for about two hours before we go to dinner. And the stories are hilarious. Because, you know, the one thing about uh, all the sports guys, some of the guys you play with are flat out just crazy. And to hear some of the stories, man, it's just fun. But I, like I say, I, just to sit there and smoke a couple of stogies. Because, like, I'm on the back nine of my life. I mean, well, don't don't say that. I'm not far behind you. I'm uh, I'm not ready to make the turn yet. Uh, oh, you already turned, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you all made the turn. Oh, you uh, almost spit yeah. my Bud Light out. Uh, yeah, I've already made the turn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Never, never waste beer. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so you know, as a friend of ours says about Dudley, he's in the fourth quarter praying for overtime. <laughs> 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 no, but man, I, I I'm I'm at peace with everything. I've been here 59 years. It's only sad when little kids die. That's yeah. one of my, my philosophies. If you've been here 40 or some years, you should have done some stuff. Yeah. You know, I thought about that in the shower yeah. the other day, that honestly, other than not being able to see Maggie Harper Carter, my kids and my wife, what they're going to do the rest of their life, I've done everything I ever dreamed I would do. I would be fine. I would be fine. You know, I'd thinking, be fine. It, 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 like, I was, because I had to drive by the projects where I grew up. You know, and I'm thinking like, damn, to go from there to the house I built for my mother and grandmother and man, the life I've had, it's extraordinary. So I got no regrets. Even when things I've done stupid, like, hey, you learn from doing stupid. Everybody's stupid. Everybody want to act like they're perfect all of a sudden. That, oh, that's what drives me crazy. They like, do. There ain't no perfect people out here. Nobody's perfect. But man, I've had an extraordinary 59 years. And uh, if it ended tomorrow, I just need like a couple of minutes. Hey, big fella, <laughs> what a journey! Yep. You know, I, uh, I mean, it's it's crazy. Sometimes, like, I don't like thinking about what I've accomplished that often. But sometimes when I sit back, I'm like, man, you've come a long way from Leeds, Alabama, and it's just crazy. Uh, it's Leeds, Auburn, Philly, Phoenix, Houston, Olympics. You know and. It's just crazy some of the things I've been able to to do. Well, and even of, even off court, I mean, as good as you were, you know, there was a point where you know, in ninety two, ninety three, you were the second best player on the planet. But yeah, that was a debate too. I wouldn't have. <laughs> you know, I remember I remember at the Olympics, uh, Chuck Davis says, "Charles, can I talk to you?" I said, "Sure, Chuck. What's going on?" He said, "I just want to tell you something. You are amazing as a basketball player." I said, thanks, Coach. That means a lot to me. He says, no, I'm serious. Getting to watch you play, how easy the game is for you. He said, you're the second best basketball player I've ever seen. I said, who's bad me? <laughs> uh, he said, he started laughing. I says, because I've told this story before. At the Olympic trials, uh, John Thompson, they started with 120 players, and I made it down to the final 16 before I got cut. I remember going to the airport with me, Carmelo, John Stockton, and Terry Porter. And John and my coach calls me, Sonny calls me like a couple of weeks later and says, Hey, John Thompson wanna to talk to you. And he says, uh, and I said, Okay. And I said, he says, Charles, I just want you to know, Bobby was just being an ass. You should have made the Olympic team. You were the second best player there, blah, 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 blah. I said, Coach, that means a lot to me, because John Thompson's one of my heroes. So he hangs up the phone and Sonny says, what's surprising to me? I thought you were the best player in the country. Well, I said, well, I'm damn sure not. <laughs> <laughs> I said, coach, there's this dude from North Carolina. <laughs> He's a little taller than me. He's jet black. He cannot run everybody. <laughs> he cannot jump everybody. <laughs> it's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. He said, what's his name? I said, his name is Michael Jordan. I said, Coach, I was betting everybody there, but let me tell you something. I ain't never, I said, he's just a little taller than me. I said, I'm like six, five and a half. He's like six, six. He's skinny, 
but he going to win every running drill. He going to jump everybody. It was a beautiful thing. And, like, and the people didn't know who he was at the time, but I was like, because I was measuring myself, because it's probably like 50 Hall of Famers was at that Olympic trials. I mean, we started with 120 and got down to the, to the final. And uh, I should have made it. But, and, you know, people ask me this day what happened. I have zero idea what happened. Uh, Bob Knight was cordial to me, and I played great. But he just had – I think he had made up his mind. I don't like this little kid. And yep. it's all good. Yeah. And he was a little bit of a dick. Let's go big dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was little, right? <laughs> uh, quick break here, and then we got more with Charles Barkley. I got a rumor I've heard about Charles I want to ask. Uh, Charles, uh, great, great uh, ambassador as well for his vodka brand, which is Redmond Distilling. Redmond Vodka and Vulcan Gin, uh, eight times distilled right here. It's an Alabama product. And it's the official vodka of the World Games, which is one of the reasons Chuck is in town. Uh, locally owned and operated, their aim, clarity, and taste, color, and smell. It's vodka perfection. It's made from corn, which not only makes it gluten-free, but also provides that smooth finish. Doesn't have a harsh aftertaste. Eight times distilled, available at your local package and ABC stores. And as you said last night, available in 20 states now. Yeah, 20 oh. states. We're doing well. 20 just got, states. I just got to explain to people what gluten-free means because I got no idea what that <laughs> <laughs> It's good for you. Uh, you we're okay. <laughs> back in a moment with more Barkley this hour. Follow Rockstar on Twitter at RockstarBHM. If renting is putting a dent in your bank account, here's your sign from the universe that it's time to buy a new home. And who better to help you through the ins and outs of home buying than our friends at Mortgage Right? With Mortgage Right, you don't have to worry about becoming a short notice mortgage expert because they do all the heavy lifting for you. They're trusted mortgage professionals and they'll help you choose the right mortgage option and stand by your side every step of the way. Visit mortgageright.com slash TNR to buy before renting runs you dry. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Hey, there's nothing worse than waking up to a plumbing problem. Don't get caught in a flooded house. Call the guys at Hemp Hill Services. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemp Hill are the only ones I trust to fix it and fix it right the first time. Hemp Hill Services does it right and always at a fair price. For all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs, trust the name that Birmingham has trusted since 1954. That is Hemp Hill Services. Call now, 205 205- 229-2090. That's 205-229-2090. Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds. And now for over two years, they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie-cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign-up fees, and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Payton Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's TrackMan driving range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. When it comes to choosing a dentist, two things are critical, trust and comfort. Brian Brown here from the next round. It's why I tell you about Stone Creek Dental Care. Dentist owned and operated and Stone Creek Dental Care is the Southeast premier provider of comprehensive dental care. With more than 20 locations, including Birmingham, Chattanooga, Huntsville, Trustville, and Montgomery, Stone Creek Dental Care is able to provide a level of quality care you will not find anywhere else. From your basic cleaning to restorative dentistry, cosmetics, and endodontics, Stone Creek Dental Care covers a wide and comprehensive range of dental services for patients of any age. Stone Creek Dental Care's mission is to provide the highest quality dental care to every single patient in an environment that exemplifies the highest ethical, personal, compassionate, and professional standards, and to provide the best patient experience possible. Stone Creek Dental Care is currently accepting new patients at all locations, and new patients get a free Chick-fil-A gift card at your first appointment. So visit StoneCreekDentalCare.com to find a location nearest you. Stone Creek Dental Care. Dot com. 
The new location of Walk-Ons is now open at Stadium Trace in Hoover near the Hoover Mat. And just like the location off Highway 280, you get authentic, mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch every day. Walk-Ons Happy Hour is 2 to 6 Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons off Highway 281-19 and now at Stadium Trace near the Hoover Mat. The next round is proud to partner with Vulcan Tire and Auto, and we're excited to announce their first-class team and facilities are growing. If you are an experienced general maintenance technician looking for a new opportunity with a great growing company, go by Vulcan Tire. They want to talk to you. Not experienced, but interested in working on cars? Again, go by Vulcan Tire. They have a spot for anyone that has a can-do attitude, wants to work, and enjoys helping people. Four locations and more to come. Vulcan Tire and Automotive, Moody, Trustful, Hoover, and Gardendale, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations, but we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from, great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Uriman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sell section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. Hey, we're back with you on the next round as you uh, join us on all our platforms, video-wise on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter, all the audio platforms, including our app and live today on TuneIn Radio. Thanks for being with us. 44 days away from the start of the college football season, SEC Media Days next week in Atlanta. We'll be over in Atlanta uh, we get there Sunday night. We're there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with live coverage kicking off the football season. Brought to you in part by our friends at Storm Restoration Roofing, Greg from Pell City. Greg Nelson, he and his wife own the company. They've owned it for over 20 years. They like to take care of the local family, so they're giving you a free no-cost inspection right now. This is Greg's cell number, so you can text him or call him. If he doesn't answer, he's probably up on somebody's roof right now. 205-542-3531-542-3531. 3531 free no cost inspection he'll check your roof out and then uh, really great pricing insurance companies love him and trust him so that gets you more money from the insurance companies best warranties in the business a plus rated with a better business bureau or you can just look him up on facebook if you're like me and you don't like to talk to people just uh reach out to him on facebook it's greg from pell city storm restoration roofing brownie had a question for uh hey, Barkley. No, i'm just telling you hey, hey first of all greg out on the roof right now he go get struck by a light and it's raining like hell so <laughs> oh, is it? uh, it's, oh uh, boy it is isn't dude it? it was raining so hard on the way here uh, that's one of the reason i was coming in the leads and i apologize for that it was raining so hard in leads i had to kind of pull over to let this it was, it was crazy wow well, so, what do you think of our place by the way this is the first time you've this. been here yeah i know i love it i'm glad to be here man uh, first of all, I'm glad to see you guys. Yep. You now we've been together a long time. We have. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have. So keep doing yep. your thing, brothers. Thank you. Yep. I, um, I've told this story a couple of times, but not in our new format here. So we'll just record it here, so we have it. But I met Charles Barkley. Uh, he was a young player with the 76ers. I had just graduated college from the University of Montevallo in August. I think it was August the 18th. There used to be a dance club. I believe it was in the Galleria back then. Um, maybe it was out here on 280, but I think it was the one in the Galleria. And me and my only friends that were in town were three girls and one other guy. And we went out drinking at this club and Barkley started dancing with our group. And the girls, you know, loved Charles Barkley and they were dancing with Charles Barkley. And then at the end of the night, when I went to pay the tab, Barkley had taken care of the tab for all of us. And I didn't really know him. And I was, I wasn't it was really even for the girls. You just have to be with them. <laughs> no, no, I know that. I mean, I'm not dumb. I know that. But uh, I remember that from that night on, how nice he was to us and just was fantastic. And then when I started working, I um, always, always loved the guy. And he's always been nice to me to do interviews and treating me nice. And I just appreciate, appreciate you and what you've done for us, but especially for me, because I probably didn't have enough to cover the tab back then. I got you, brother. No, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the kind words. All right, so you, though another thing is you've always been super honest with us, and I'm about to put you on the spot here because you love golf. You know I love golf, and there is this rumor I've heard from a couple people in the golf world that the Live Tour 
is coming after you as like a face of their media, like an analyst or something like that. Is there any truth to that or is this just rumor? I'm going to meet with Liv. Uh, oh, so there is some truth. There. Truth to be always transparent and honest. Um, they called me and asked me would I meet with them. And I said, yes. Nothing is imminent. I only have... I actually don't know everything they want from me or what they technically want me to do. But you got to always look at every opportunity that's available. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question is 100% yes, I'm going to meet with Liv. Do you know Greg Norman? I've never met Greg Norman. Yeah. Is he the one that calls you in this situation or is it somebody associated with no, Greg? No, he called me. It was so Greg. Greg Norman yeah. called you. Yes, yeah. and I said, Greg, I'll meet with you. And uh, the meeting is imminent. Uh -huh. sometime in the next week, more than likely. But this has been a very slippery, interesting slope for me because uh, I have no problem with those guys going to live. Yeah. Uh, some of them are my friends. A couple of them asked me for advice, and I said, hey, man, we're all independent contractors. Yeah. We're, we're all trying to take care of our families. You and Phil are tight, aren't you? You we and Phil, Phil Mickelson? Really yeah. yeah, and I think that some of the criticism Phil has gotten has been a little over the top. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can disagree with people. You don't have to really make it personal and be vindictive and angry and mean. And Phil's my friend. Uh, that's also how this thing started. Yeah. Uh, it was the the tournament in Boston. I think it was, was, it, was it the, US, the last major. Yeah, yeah, the U.S. Open was at Brookline. So yeah. the Golf Channel guys asked me to come on. Okay. And I said, listen. These teams, two teams, going to coexist. I'm disappointed that the the second greatest golfer in the last 30 years is getting trashed and raked through the coals because he took money and and everybody's calling it blood money and all. So we all take blood money. Let's get that out the way. Everybody takes blood money. And uh, I got a nice text from Phil, but then I got a text from uh, one of my friends. He said, "Hey, Greg Norman, really want to talk to you." And I reached out to him and I said, hey, Greg, I'm kind of hectic the next couple weeks, but once I get through Lake Tahoe and the World Games, I'll have, have nothing to do. <laughs> and uh, absolutely nothing. To do. <laughs> <laughs> and cannot wait to have nothing to do, to be honest with you. But I'm going to take the meeting yeah. and see what happens. I mean, why would you not? I mean, the money is crazy. I mean, they are throwing money around. Well, you think about it, ESPN just gave Troy Aikman $18 million a year. Mm -hmm. And. They, they, and Tony Romo says, hey, Tony Romo's the one got getting everybody paid. But but you're the guy that everybody looks to and says, you know, former athlete, uh, the the entertainment, the, yeah. the analyst. I mean, you are that go-to guy. So if he's getting $18 million, what can Chuck get? And Liv is just throwing money. So I can't even imagine what they would give you. I would think low offer would be $25 million a year, maybe $50 million a year. Can't wait for that conversation. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was going to ask you because uh, you know you've been very honest with you that a lot of your business dealings, you, you know, before you even take them, you hear a dollar figure before you get to them. You've you've told your TNT discussion with us before dinner at your yeah. house when you were about ready to shut it down and they brought out the check and you were like, okay, I'll sign up for another contract. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. like chump change compared yeah. to this, though. Uh, no, so, you know what's funny though? I tell that story. Uh, I had decided to retire because I listen. I it's a lot of nights. I don't play games with like I'm very aware that I'm closer to the end than the beginning. Right. And I want to enjoy life without. I want to play golf and fish every day and travel the world. That's all I want to do. I, I mean, I've like I've worked since I was really eighteen. I've been in this roller coaster thing of kind of famous. Uh, so it's been a long journey. I mean, 18, I just turned 59, which is crazy. And like, I want to, but it's what's funny you say that. So I almost started crying that night at my house. So TNT, all the big wigs came out and we started drinking. We were playing in my backyard. I got a chipping green in my backyard and we put it for a couple hours and drink couple bottles of tequila and got a big old meal made and about two, three in the morning, they says, we just want to make an offer to you. And I was like, listen, y'all came all the way out to Arizona, do it. And then they come out with this golf check 
the, the biggest golf check. I'm like, hey, you know, I can't see a lot without my glasses. <laughs> and they're like, I said, that number looked big to me. And I said, oh, yeah, Chuck coming back to work. <laughs> 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 but what they did do, they played like a 15-minute video from Shaq, Ernie, Kenny, and all the other employees because I think it's really important when you somebody in our business because the people behind the scenes actually work a lot harder than you do. So I feel like I treat everybody behind the scenes at Turner because I know, because to this day, I never know why they have to be there at noon. We don't go on the air at 7 o'clock at night. And I want to know what the hell they're doing for seven hours. So I really appreciate and respect all the people who work behind the scenes. But like I say, I don't want to be working then drop dead. I That's right. I want to be on a golf course or down at Lake Purdy or fishing somewhere in Montana when I kill over, and I'll be good with that. I don't want to be dead. Charles died on TV, y'all. But you got, you, got, you, you got a grandson now, and I know that's something you think about, and you think about this this uh, generational money. You've already got it. Yeah. But yeah. Liv could even step that up more. I do think it's funny in our chat room. They say if Chuck ticks off the Saudis, they're going to need a big bone saw. <laughs> you know, uh, man, I'm going to tell you something. This little man... Uh, I've I held him last week for like three hours and just stared at him the whole time. Little Henry is just it's amazing though. Uh, number one to see my daughter as a mom, but this kid is just so innocent and perfect at this moment. He ain't done nothing wrong yet, and uh, it's just cool to be a grandpa. You know, that's just another thing off my bucket list. And he's from a great family. And as uh, long as she's happy, I'm happy. And uh, she'll, don't, don't. she'll be happy if you take that deal. Uh, yeah. uh, I think she's good. <laughs> <laughs> she's the only one. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But you you are, I've watched some of the live. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch it. Have you watched any of the live? They I have not. Okay. You know I don't do the, use a computer. Or, I, I don't use a computer. <laughs> you've <laughs> never used an ATM, have you? Uh-uh. No. Never in your life. No. How do you get cash? I go in my safe. <laughs> yeah. I just grab a handful of it. <laughs> I just go in my safe. Uh, what a good life. He's got people for that. Yeah, he's got people. For that. No, like, a friend, a guy asked me that. He thought I was joking. He said something about an ATM. I was like, what's that? He's like, well, you get money. I says, uh, I got a safe. <laughs> uh, I go in a safe. Uh, it's a big old safe. Too. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> so, uh, quick, but, but, okay. no, I was going to say the one thing they need, though, is the, the presentation is just kind of dull. Yeah. They need you. Yeah. I mean, because they've gone and got some huge names in golf, yeah. obviously, but they need you to, or somebody like you, to spice yeah. up the presentation. Hey, listen, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to take the meeting, and that's all I can do. I love my job at TNT. I love the people, but you have to take all meetings. Yeah. Especially the numbers they're throwing around. Right. Yeah. So there's some hefty yeah. numbers. Yes. Yeah. And if you add Charles Barkley and is is possibly rumored maybe Nick Faldo, then maybe you also have an American TV um, location as well they're right now. Get a, they're, see, they're going to get a TV deal. Yeah, 100%. Because yep. this is what I think going to happen. I think there's probably going to be five more players who are prominent mm -hmm. that's going to come over after the British Open. So this is the last major of the year. It is. I yep. think yep. there's going to be five prominent players who are going to go to the Live Tour. That's just my guess. Yeah, that the one thing some are holding on for is the FedEx Cup because it pays a lot of money. So they're going to get through that, which is the end of August, and then they'll be going. Hey, the FedEx Cup don't pay with them boys. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> but, them but, boys are making four million dollars a week. I, I know, Chuck. But if you can get fifteen million on the way out the door, you're going to do it. You have right? to win it. Yeah, I we've know. seen the plane. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, you have to win it. The cup to get that fifteen no, million. You just have to win one golf tournament against fifty people. Four million. And you get guaranteed the, money. The guaranteed I know. And the team aspect of it yep. too. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yep. Okay, more with uh, Barkley when we come back. Part of the show being brought to you by our friends at Mortgage Right and hang on behind the glass. We may go t a slight longer than one o'clock today. Hang uh -oh. on with us. Inflation out in full force, and now more than ever, rent costs are skyrocketing. Even though interest rates have risen, buying a home is proving cheaper than renting one. Stop throwing away money on rent. Turn to mortgage right. 
Rent has risen 149% in the few past decades. There's no sign of it slowing down. Call Mortgage Right locally, 205-815-9200, or visit mortgageright.com slash TNR. Follow Scott Forrester on Twitter at Scott Forrester TV. This is for the men who never settle, the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick, the type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera, and the men who never let their friends forget about a high school nickname. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. At ERA King Real Estate, they're empowered by technology and driven by community. They have the most extensive training and the most innovative tools in the business. And they've now opened their 10th office location in Central Alabama. To find your agent in your neighborhood, text the word MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35620. That's MOVE to 35620. In this crazy market, depend on a neighborhood friend. ERA King Real Estate growing to serve you done building your family a vasectomy is a safe simple effective option for birth control when it was my time to take the snip i used my friends at urology centers of alabama and there's no better time for a vasectomy it's a great reason to be off your feet and be on the couch during the game with the wife's approval it's a quick in-office procedure covered by most insurances urology centers of alabama 16 convenient locations. Call 205-922-SNP. That's 205-922-7647. Let's face it. A home is one of the most powerful assets you can have. And our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today and start living. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at Hydra Live Therapy. IV therapy treatments are packed with nutrients to increase energy, reduce stress and anxiety, and boost your immune system and more. If you mention the next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. You can join the IV League today. Members are rewarded with deep discounts. Make sure you ask about that. Hydro Life Therapy opens seven days a week. Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. That's nextroundlive.com. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Want more of the next round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. The Next Round store is live and loaded. Check out the latest logo t-shirts and hoodies. Get your favorite team colors, the Next Round flag shirt, or grab the popular Y'all can have the rest t-shirts. Go to nextround.store. That's nextround.store. Back on the show, part of the show with uh, Charles Barkley today being brought to you by the great folks at Bromberg's uh, who have been with us for years and years and years, and they'll be with you when it's time to pop the big question. Yeah, family owned and operated since 1836. Bromberg's has established that solid reputation as a fine purveyor of quality diamonds as well as jewelry timepieces and gifts. Go see the diamond specialist, two great locations, Mountain Brook and the Summit. You can also view their online store today at Bromberg's.com. All right. Uh, Barkley wanted us to... Uh, to talk a little football, I wanted to talk a little football with him. We got SEC Media Days next week. 
Um, you, you've befriended Nick Saban uh, in an interview I saw on AL.com years ago. You've always liked the guy. Alabama the team to beat for you this year? Well, that'd be Auburn. Um, <laughs> well, you know what? I got a lot of love and respect for Coach Saban. He's always treated me gracious. Uh, his, his, his man, Josh, I talk to all the time. Josh Maxson. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the guy's the greatest college football coach ever. If you can't appreciate that and respect it, especially if you played sports, you're about to accomplish a lot. You got to admire that and respect it. But I want to talk about Auburn. Okay. <laughs> you're here to talk about Auburn. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Auburn. We're the team to beat. Mm. Y'all need to leave that man alone down there. I'm a Brian Harson fan. And this is to all the Auburn people. Leave that man alone and let him do his freaking job. He's only been there a year. Just leave the man alone, let him do his job. I'm very excited. Y'all guys know I love me some Bruce Pearl. Oh, yeah. His son, Stephen, and the entire coaching staff. I love our coaches. And, man, if I love our AD, Alan Green. If they let Alan, Bruce, and Brian Harson do their job, I feel really good about Auburn going forward. And for the people who keep bothering this man, man, I wish somebody would just slap the hell out of him and say, yo, you're our coach. We're going to support you. You've only been here a year. You've only been here a year. And I just hate the fact they don't lead us. But, but Charles, to be, you know, I like to be honest with you. Some of these are, were boosters when they recruited you to Auburn. And they're still there, and these are the same people. It's not the media. It's not. It's not I, I fans. Agree. It's, agree. it's those boosters that were there when you were there. How do how do you get them to stop doing that? Talking about it, say, "Yo, man, we appreciate everything you did from Auburn." Shining a light on them. Shining a light on them. We love our school. I love our school, but y'all got to stay out the way and let the coaches coach. Y'all don't know anything about football. Y'all are just guys with a lot of money. It doesn't just make you rich. It don't make you no one. <laughs> doesn't make you the coach. Doesn't make you the coach. And you, I don't even want a coach who's gonna be worrying about listening to guys down there all the time. I would have coached like, yo, man, coach the football team. You know, you, I pay, I pay attention every now and then to recruiting. Hey, the one of the reason I was talking to Deion Sanders one time, somebody I really like a lot. We talk about Tom Brady, why he's the GOAT. He like, he never complains. You know, we talk about recruiting, and then he says, I'll take him, I'll take him, I'll take him, and we're going to win. Don't worry about what who's recruiting here. You get the players you're going to get. We're going to coach them up, and we're going to have a great strategy. We're going to play hard, and we're going to win some games. That's all coaching is. You can't sit around and worry about, hey, we didn't get this five-star, this four-star. Hey, Give me a one star who can play and we can make him a two, three star. But the people down at Auburn got to let that man do his job. I'm a big Brian Harson fan. And if they leave him alone, we're going to be successful. We're going to be successful. But what is your expectation year two? And the reason I ask, Nick Saban in year two at Alabama, undefeated SEC championship game appearance. Kirby Smart played for a national championship. Gene Chizik in year two won a national championship. So from six and seven, what do you think the the number is this year? I think we're gonna win eight or nine games. That's a tough schedule. I, too. I will That'd go. Be a heck of a season. I will go under the eight. Here we go. I got credit with you. Okay, we did this last year. <laughs> yeah. I, do, is eight a win? Eight's a win. Okay, I'll take eight right now, Mofo. Thousand. <laughs> we we'll go a thousand. We we'll go a thousand. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, got, I've, got, I've got credit. Well, wait, okay. just, just to be clear, does eight count the bowl no, game? No, eight wins. Yeah, yeah I'll give you eight on a bowl. Yeah. So you got oh, bowl yeah. and everything for Charles. Yeah. So he's hey, got eight let wins. Let me just say this here. Mofo. <laughs> Mofo. <laughs> Auburn going to win eight games. Guaranteed! <laughs> hey, I think Auburn fans would love it if they won eight games this year. I, I mean, think, I, I know Auburn's a proud program, but, I mean, that's definitely a step in the right direction. I, yes. I think eight and four is the number, actually. Uh, five, yeah. A five and oh start. It's a tough schedule, man. Five and oh start. Everybody got a tough know, schedule, brother. We're in the eight. SEC, right? Brother, brother we're in the SEC. I that's know. right, man. What you think it's we, about to get tougher, too. Oh, you know, it's so funny. You know, people talking, you know, we're talking about the live tour and people talking about 
bad money. I'm like, we got Texas and Oklahoma in the SEC. We got USC and UCLA in the Big Ten. I'm like, clearly all this stuff is about money. Yeah. So don't don't be don't have selective amnesia about what I <laughs> like. Well, I only want this in this. And I'm like, well, hey man, we're all clearly into blood money right now. I'm concerned about college sports. You hate NIL. I hate NIL. Uh, number one, I love all the players. I wish them nothing but the best. But we're gonna ruin the sport because. You just going to the highest bidder now, uh, so the little schools can't compete anymore. In the next three to five years, you talk about that, you, know, you talk about it's going to be the haves and the everybody else go to hell. And you're not even talking about like Power Five, Group of Five. You're talking about within the Power Five, there'll yes, even be another separation. Yes. Like Purdue can't compete with Ohio State. It got zero chance. Yeah. And then what's going to happen? And this was, first of all, I think there's going to be tremendous resentment on teams. Because one guy is always going to make the most. It's going to be the, the good-looking quarterback, running back, wide receiver. Nobody paying the ugly defensive lineman, offensive lineman a lot. So I think there's going to be tremendous resentment team-wise. But what's really going to happen is, but they really made this thing crazy with the transfer portal. These good teams are going to cherry-pick off the middle of the road teams. If, if they got a good player, they're like, yo, man, we'll give you X amount of money to come here. Yeah, Jordan Addison from Pittsburgh yeah. to yes. USC. Yes, but. and that's going to happen. start happening more. Yeah. Uh, they, you look at Alabama, uh, I mean, Bryce and Will recruited, obviously. But after that, their best players likely, Jameer Gibbs, Georgia Tech running back, Eli Ricks, LSU DB, yeah. uh, Jermaine Burton, wide receiver Georgia. Last year, Jamison Williams. Uh, Jamison Williams, yeah. Ohio State. Uh, yeah. Nick Saban's cherry-picking off some good, good players from – Average teams, yeah, and I think, uh, and I don't. I'm not singling them out. I just think it's going to happen more and more for all the big time schools, and I'm just concerned that we're going to ruin one. And I, I, I think college football is arguably my favorite sport. Uh, so it, it means a lot, and uh, I'm just concerned where this thing is going. And we're not even getting into the other sports, how they're going to compete. Oh, that's where the problem to yeah. me becomes. Football will survive because fo- it makes the money. Well, because there's only two sports that make money. Right. Because of TV. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I, we, I mean, what's really crazy, you know, I, I work Mars Madness. We, we, when we first got Mars Madness, we were paying $800 million a year for 10 days of basketball. And I'm like, Man, that doesn't – those numbers don't compute to me. Not that I went to class a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, how do we make $800 million in 10 days? And, and like, A lot like, of Capital One commercials. Yeah, but, like, that's $800 million in 10 days, Lance. That's a lot. It's a lot. Because let me tell you something. I know the people in this business, they're not spending $800 million to make $3 million. But – to tell you how much money is involved in this stuff, we they made so much money the first three years, we extended to a billion dollars a year to like 2035. Yeah, that's crazy, and that's the only 10 days a year that we broadcast basketball. And like I say, they made so much money in those 10 days, we extended up to a billion dollars a year to 2035. That's how crazy it is. That's why they keep coming back to you with big checks, though, to keep uh, keep people tuning in uh, to that. One more quick segment with Charles Barkley when we come back right here on the next round. Bama and Bourbon, the mystery fifth hour. Jimmy Buckets, available in the podcast section at nextroundlive.com. At Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, you can now drive the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia TI, the Italian sports sedan of your dreams, starting at $499 per month plus tax with $4,999 down, plus first payment and title due at delivery. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, 1837 Grants Mill Road, or Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com. Like financial lease, 10,000 miles per year, WAC, MSRP, $51,490, stock numbers Q0059, Q0068, or Q0074. 
Ziegler. Vulcan Tire and Automotive is hiring. If you want to take advantage of joining in with a local growing company in the automotive service industry, this is the opportunity for you. Hiring oil and tire technicians and more experienced mechanics. If you've got the talent and the desire, there is a spot for you at Vulcan Tire and Auto. Stop by one of their four locations and the manager on site can walk you through the pay scale, great benefits, and flexible work schedule. Get paid to build your future in the industry. Moody, Trustful, Hoover, and Gardendale, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. You hear a lot of interesting phrases while playing golf, like, I think you're on the beach, or the classic, you gotta hit it, Alice. One word you're sure to hear right now at Bent Brook Golf Club is, wow. Brand new carts with complimentary GPS and the bent grass greens are so consistent, you just might drain a few more putts, Alice. Tee it up and find out for yourself. Book around today at bentbrook.com or call 428-1999. It's better at Bent Brook. For one of Birmingham's best beer selection since 2016, come check out our friends at the Beer Hog. With 64 local, regional, and international craft beers on tap, there is something for everyone. Plenty of TVs to watch all the games while you enjoy some of their fresh-baked pizzas and delicious appetizers. The Beer Hog also has wines on tap and a full bar with great signature cocktails. Don't forget about the large selection of packaged beer and growlers to go. Follow us on Facebook or just stop by the Beer Hog located 2408 Pelham Parkway. Whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback. From concussions to sprained ankles, our experienced team is ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Summer weather is finally here. Make sure your air conditioner is ready for the Alabama heat. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the ones to call for all of your HVAC needs. Hemphill Services is a locally owned and operated independent train dealer, and the team can service all makes and models. Get the guys at Hemphill Services to make sure your HVAC unit is ready to help you beat the Alabama heat this summer. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, do what I do. Call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205. 5 229 right, final few seconds here, brought to you by our friends at Michelson, Charles Barkley in studio. Uh, to find out if LASIK is right for you, make the phone call today, 969-8100. Go online, michelsonlaservision.com. When you call 969-8100, ask for Amy. She will schedule that hassle-free consultation. Find out if LASIK is right for you, Dr. Mark Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Brownie, ask uh, Barkley the, the final question here. Right. Or say bye to him or whatever. We uh, only got a minute. Uh, see you, Charles. <laughs> Thanks so for he's being gonna, with he's us. Gonna, you're going to stick around, though, right? We got some stuff. We, 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 got, we got a last call coming up, uh, which is going to be Redmond. a yeah. lot of fun. I got some great questions for you. All right. Okay, so we, brother. He's Thank had, you, guys, man. He, he's you, had a Charles. few Bud Lights, mm -hmm. and now we're going to get to the Redmond Vodka and the real questions that will be coming your way soon. War Eagle to all my people out there. And stay off Brian Harson's back.
Stab his back. All Leave right. that man alone. <laughs> We're back with you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central live on this platform. All of our video platform, 4 to 5 this afternoon in Trustful with our friends at Hemphill. We'll be at Axe Downtown Trustful throwing axes. That's later on. We'll do an Ask Us Anything. Oh. That's later on. That's in the drink. That was We're, Tiger. That's on tape. That was number one. Uh, we're back oh. in a moment, or excuse me, tomorrow, right here on the next round. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America.